Okay, we should be go uh, should be live. Welcome to the stream, guys. How's everyone doing? So, we're about to invade Kislev, and it's going to be a juggernaut of a bloody battle to begin with. They've got 70 regions, and I want them all. <laughs> now, I've realized something, that we can't declare war on them until they cancel their treaties. And I was going to leave it to the last moment, but I should probably check how I'm going to do that. So... If we were to give them, let's see, which of these settlements here has the highest value? This is what we did against Ungrim, and it worked absolutely fantastically. So, Kappelberg has the highest rating. But if we ask her to cancel her military alliances, she's not accepting. All at roughly the same rate. And I think it's because she still likes me. So we need to stop that. So we need to we need to get her to hate us. And so what I'm going to do, which will cause all the others to hate us a little bit, but luckily they've got a lot further to fall than her. So we'll do exactly what we did with Ungram, but it might mean the Kislev War isn't two turns away. So what we need to do is just agent actions, whatever. We need to just get that relationship with her down. In every possible way that I can. No so with that, gets it down by th about 30. No, that was only worth 5 each. Here, actually, it's on the ice court, 15. Okay, trespassers should be worth about 10. So let's do those. These guys are still on their way. Praise be to Sigma. I am Prince and Emperor. Champion so what we do is, I definitely don't want to raid in their territory. But we just go into the territory there, and then walk out of it. And that should be worth... That was worth 10. Okay. So we do this enough times. And she will be really angry with us. So the way it works is once per army per turn in her territory. So doing this is like a huge insult to her. Even though it has absolutely no downside to her uh, faction whatsoever. See, so just with that, trespass is minus 64 because I did it six times. We already had some left over from the other one. Then we've got this guy here. Same thing. Anything for Sigma. Just trespass. Actually, you can raid because there are no armies out this way. And even if there was, you'd be able to beat it. So, it once again, done. agent actions. Just Don't anything that we can do to really piss her off. Even if it has absolutely no effect Don't whatsoever. Fit. That had some effect. Alright, I need to get another agent oh. over there. So we're going to need scouting when the time comes. Let me start raiding, Katarin. We've got to be careful about raiding. Because you can get yourself in a bad spot if she declares war on us. So if we have a look here. Like, trespasses is just as good as raiding, honestly. So that got her down to 176. So we don't have to get our relationship down to zero, but it has to get down pretty quick. Um, by a lot. In order to make this work. Another thing that we could do is break some of our treaties with factions that don't matter. So, like, Ostermark and... And, um, Ostland, I could break my treaties with them, which will piss her off. And I'll just re-establish them once the wars begins. So, Ostermark is getting a, sorry, Ostland is getting a bit pissed at us. It's okay, it's okay. We can re-establish things with prestige. So, this trade agreement's worth a fair bit of money. I'm going to cancel this. Yes. So this is, that, what I'm doing here is to piss off Katarin. Non-aggression pact, cancel. Of course. They can't declare war on me. Military access, cancel. So he's really angry with me, and you'll notice what news do you bring that has a very side serious side? effect on Katarin. And Ostermark. They can't do anything to us because they're an elect account. Get Only fucked. So be it. That would be worth a lot of money, that trade agreement. On it. And I'm also trespassing in their territory. <laughs> and we'll have a look here now. 
that she's really angry with me now. She's like, what the living fuck is wrong with you, Reichland? Okay. So now we've got her into the negative. Because these two here, they can't they can't do anything to me. I'm the boss. They can't they can't do anything about it. Ilard69, subscribe to the Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So that's gonna get our relationship down real quick. Now if we have a look, Kappelberg. It's actually not worth as much here, but we have we have to wait for these things to get down. That's okay. Because, yeah, we don't want to give them the, the fealty stuff just yet. I mean, the um, the prestige. We have to wait until the war actually begins. But we also need to check with my other allies. How angry are they at us? Okay, so Clan Angrund, really angry at us for what we've done here. But we know that we can turn this around. They are kind of angry. That's not going to be a problem. Rapance is... She doesn't really care that much. She doesn't even know about Ostland's existence. These This guy is here. They only care about Ostermark. They don't know about any of the existence. And we've already lost um, that one. If we have a look at Marcus Wolfheart. Yay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We've got another army being recruited over here. An order resolve army, because people said it was good in order resolve. These ones are making their way up. They will trespass. Soon, so basically this one's just going to grab a bunch of territory, hand it over to Ostermark, and then call it quits. So Ostermark now is actually, after all the gifts that we've given them, I guess it was ages ago, they uh, don't like us that much anymore. But it's okay, we can fix that. Can't peace with her enemies and join war with her? Um, no, this is the better way. This is the better way to do things. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. Because what we did with Ungrim, it, I learned a lot from that, and it was fucking amazing it looks really basically we it looks really stupid up until the moment we pull this off if we pull it off it just all the dominoes fall into place everybody loves us and Katarin's fucked if we pull this off correctly these ones here can also trespass so get him in there who calls this will bolster the nation by right. Get him in there. Let us begin. Get him in there. It is best to move. All right, so that's some more trespasses there. The name Getting her down to minus Sun. seventy, so she's really angry Dash with this. Now that's probably still going to be I friendly next turn. You. That's okay. We got two turns. We can we can do some more dog shit. Also, the more dog shit that we're doing to her right now will actually improve relations with everyone, because what we're going to do is get her to break all of her treaties with her, which she needs to hate us in order for that to work. Now, the worst case scenario here is that she turns around and declares war on us with these two guys. But we've got such a huge concentration of force here, it should be okay. I this guy's been leveled up yet. Should probably make sure of that. Protector of the weak, champion of the faith. I Must serve have got sufficient levels. Cool, cool, cool. We got another one over here. That doesn't have walls. No heretics will get in my way. That's it. Just be really friggin' rude out here. Really bloody rude about it. Tools of judgment ready. Seek out the heretic. Okay. Alright. I think that's all we need to do this turn. We got this guy here just patrolling this area. Maybe go into ambush stance. Out here. And just, just you know, keep an eye on Quintex and any uh, Cult of Pleasure armies that land here. Alright. I've done what I can. Let's check for any rogue armies. Yep, we're clear of rogue armies for the time being. Let's move on to the next turn, which means one turn to go. Maybe two, depending on whether or not this works next turn. I'm in turn after, so... Okay.
yeah, basically, it's a, um, uh, it's a smear campaign against myself in a way, yeah. But it it, it t completely flips on itself. Can Zinch screw you over by changing the ways? Not really. Not with this. Zinch doesn't really manipulate diplomacy. He can manipulate settlements, so I don't know what he's going to do with that. Block one of my armies? They're not really moving right now. Is Zinch still around? Yeah, Zinch is still around. He's, he's slowly losing ground, but he's still around. Little Nikolai did a $25 super share. Just want to say thank you, Legend, for all the content and help you have provided since Warhammer 2. Because of you, I was able to get into Warhammer and have 1,700 hours now. Sorry sorry to hear that I caused you to play this game for 1,700 hours. <laughs> uh, but no worries, dude. Appreciate the super chat. It's very generous of you. Here, have a heart. Appreciate that. Hey, Legend of War, you're from NZ originally, right? No. I'm clearly from Texas. Can't you tell by my accent? Remind me of the Malekith plot with short people? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That that was like a master stroke of genius, and even after that it still he still couldn't win the war. <laughs> Because Stelton here, he may have Lightning Strike, because he is very heavily leveled up in blue. I am Tsarina of all Kislev, and you are less than nothing. See, now I've been trespassing in the other ones. It all just depends on who declares war on who first. It might be a good idea to have these armies here actually move out of Castelton's range. This this coming end turn. Because uh, he might be at a lightning strike, and his army can beat any one of mine easily. I shall summon history's greatest blizzard to end you. We're not there yet. I don't know if we're going to get there next turn. She's got a long way to fall still. We have to check the other guys. So checking with Bretonia, that's fine. Checking with Clan Angren, they're the main bloody angry people. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, he's getting angry, but we've got a long way to fall. Plus they will cancel their treaties against us one at a time. And then Thorak. Yeah, they're angry with me, for sure, but you know, we got time. Alright, so what I think we should do is go into Ambush Dance now, and fall back a little bit from Kislev. And we got this one here, also go into Ambush Dance. So I got a feeling next turn's not going to cut it. If they send some forces to Fort Jakova, that is fine. But they cannot reach any of my settlements this turn. None of her armies are in range. And I have armies that are in range. Okay, these ones over here, we need to move forward a bit. I will do this. Yes, a sound plan. Sigma be praised. Sigma guides my steps. My order agrees. Seek out the heretics. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, they're pretty angry with me, but like I said, I'll re-establish relations with them real soon. It'll be okay. Alright, these forces over here, if they were to get uh yeah, if they were to get lightning striked, it would be fine. So what we do with them is we go into raid stance. In Erengrad. Over here. Step to it by Sigma. Following we don't want to be in range of the city just in case they do attack us over the end turn. That could happen. Sigma. This is the big risk here. Whether or not they'll attack us or we'll attack them. I obviously want to get the hit. I live to 
So if we have a look here. From lowliest farmer to mightiest witch. Going down to 202. We need to get it done faster. By the silver hammer, yes. Open gates. They will be judged. Those gates will open. I trust no man. Don't fret, they'll be open. Show me the Those gates will open. Okay. We got these ones over here, but we don't have scouting here now, so be a little bit more careful. I serve Sigma. I serve the Heldenhammer. I will do anything for Sigma. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Your word is my command. So looking at that now, she's going down to 242. They will be judged. Hmm. Okay. It might take another turn, because I don't think I can drop her relation any further than this right now. She shouldn't declare war on me, because I've got more allies than her. That being said, if she declares war on me, it's game over. Eh, sorry, if she declares war on me and my allies side with her, it's game over. Because they will. It, they, her turn goes first. So it is. this is a big gamble, but I'm counting on her not to realize that. <laughs> it is a big friggin' gamble. That being said, if we have a look at all of our regions, I don't think anyone has an army that's near any of them. That's something. Thing is, if this one was to jump in the underway, and if we have a look, they're, they're still really friendly with me, so they shouldn't. And if we have a look, they, they should be a little bit unfriendly towards Katarin. Let's have a look. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna say here. What if I got you? What do you require yeah, you're not allied with Katarin anymore. You must have cancelled your treaties with her. Hmm, not sure. But here it is. This is this is it. It's all in now. This is where this is the turn that matters. This turn or the next turn. Cause she's got no other enemies. I mean, she does. But this is it. This is the turn that really matters. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. Brag, Brag, Anger, and Corone. No, that'll make Katarin like us. We have to get this relationship down more. of judgment ready. So yeah, it's this you risk big by doing this. It's risk big and Okay, usually they open up diplomacy at the beginning of their turn, so she's not declaring war this turn.
It's really important, I think, that we drag Corone into this war, so they lose Albion. That's a lot of armies on those borders there, which, if I have to give, like, a lot of Nordland away and, like, Marienburg to Corone, so be it. I'll see if I can swap it for southern safer territories. I guess I could also try and recruit some armies there, but the Kislevite armies are so much better than ours. Is there a reason you not wiped out Kairos before fighting Katarin? Yep, because I can't transfer Kairos' territory to a vassal. Whereas I can transfer all of territory of Katarin's to a vassal. Um, Kairos is just not a threat to me right now. He's too far away. And it's the same sort of thing with the Cult of Pleasure. I have no way to transfer influence for the Empire into Ulthwan or the Southern Chaos Waste. Everywhere else I can do it. Except for Albion, but that's okay. Couldn't Kairos block one of your crap stack armies in some inconvenient spot and then a Kislev army could lightning strike it? If Kairos blocks one of my armies, I will disband that army. <laughs> So yes, you're right, but I've already thought about that. See, I've got too many wars, he can't block them all. Ah, uh, sorry, i got too many armies. Zanshi. We'll fix up, we'll fix up relations with Ostermark later. I don't know if he'll be able to handle that. Fucking all the way in Cathay. Zanshi. Uh, where's Zanshi? Yeah, he handled it. Okay, she doesn't like us by that much, but she's not in the negative yet. Let's see if this is enough. Oh yeah! I've outplayed you, bitch! <laughs> it's enough. And now we turn everything against her. Okay, so first thing, we have to give away a few settlements, but you know how this drill goes. You've seen me do this before. Alright, so Kappelberg. That's the first one to go. So just put in a nobody in here. Yes! <laughs> And now we have diplomatically outplayed Katarin. So Kappelberg, and we get her to break a military alliance or two. So we'll start with uh, Clan Angrind. How about that? Yep. Looks like you can do two. So how about Corona as well? Awesome, and give me some money. Fantastic. Here you go. Have Kappelberg with my blessings. What's that? You want some more territory? No problem. I got plenty. Okay, how about we go Karak Ongor? Alright, is Karak Ongor worth Holiday. anything to you? Opposition. Karak Ongor is worth, yep, that's probably worth a, of a betrayal or two. Cool. So here you go. I'll put an army in there. Uh, let's see. I only need a low level dude. We fine. Yep. Okay, you want Karak Ongor? No problem. I don't want it anymore. Anyway. Oh, let me see if I can actually trade it for some of her territory as well. None of these settlements are going to be tradable. Oh, I can get Kappelberg back. Because that's worth more. Alright, so we can go get Kappelberg back. Uh, let's see, break your military alliance with Ostland. Okay, what about Ostermark? What about Hunts Marshall Expedition? No, can't do it with any of those, but I could get money out of it. Yeah, that's fine. My people are okay, and then we trade Kappelberg back again. Oh, uh, it got rid of the barracks. Right, it might not be worth as much anymore. Kappelberg. Oh, uh, Kappelberg is not worth as much anymore.
Yeah, we're not going to get her to cancel any of these treaties. Alright, hang on. Let me see what else I could give her. Alright, Essen. Essen's worth a lot. What about... No, I can't do Karak Raziak. We can only one region in a province per turn. Alright, let's go with Essen. Because that's worth a lot. So we go... Yeah, just anyone will do it. Praise be to Sigma. I am Tsarina of all Kislev. And you are less than nothing. Okay, that gives her no military allies, but we have to break all of her treaties with everyone. Okay, she won't do that. Alright, and I can get some money out of her. 50 grand. All kiss left things. Okay, cool. And we can just take that back straight away. Waldenhof, you're next. Yeah, Waldenhof. I hang on, me. hang on. Yeah, executing Order 66 is going to happen this turn. Alright, you'll do fine. You stay there. So we're going to do Waldenhof. There we go. And that's worth... Yep, good amount. Okay, break. What treaties are left? All of these. Can't break all of them at once. That works for me. My people are good. Oh, wait. Waldenhof and Eschen are two different provinces. Eschen will be worth a bit. Upon the ice queen. She didn't break the military access pact. It didn't work. Maybe I have to do them one at a time. She has a lot of money saved up. A pleasure, and all right. Let me just check. I want to see how progress is going with that. Boyar's right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He hates her. He hates her big time. Only, only, uh, military access there. Approved. Good. He hates her. Rapance hates her. Yeah, you hate her. Nobody else really matters. And you... Because we're not dragging them into war with her. In the first war declaration. Okay, okay. What else is next? Uh, so these two provinces here have already had something done. What about Oakenhammer? Let's see if we can do that. It's not going to be worth much. What about Griffinwood? No. What about... What about... What about... What about... What about Nashrek's Lair? Is that possible? I shall summon history's greatest blizzard yeah, we can get a broken treaty with that. What does the Emperor beat? Okay, and then... Acceptable. Nashrek's Lair. Absolute. I dedicated all to your destruction. Okay. Break a military access treaty with Clan Angrand. Shit, she has a you lot of money. Okay. 
It didn't work. It didn't break the military access. I still got shitloads of money, but it doesn't seem like breaking military access works. Right, well, everyone hates Katarin now. And she has no military allies. Let's just get rid of this trade agreement here, Corone, if I can. Alright, so what settlement... Let's try Kappelberg again. Break trade agreement with Corone. It's not gonna work. I can only recruit one lord per city, so uh, per per um province, so I can't give that one away. Maybe needling, I might be able to do that one. Let me just see. My power is absolute. I did okay, needling, we can do that one. Alright, this will be the last transaction. So needling. And you are less than nothing. Break your trade agreement with Corone. And give me 300,000 rubles. <laughs> or whatever you <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's on now. Now, do we are we within range? We're within range to strike here. We are within range to strike. Exceptional. This suffices. Very well. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here we go. Now if we have a look here at him. Okay, here we go. In the names of Urson, Saliak, Daj, and Tor, I condemn you. I have great <laughs> All right, we're at war with Kislev. No reliability penalties. Now, the next thing, we have to talk to our allies. Hunt Marshal Expedition. I don't want them getting involved. Iron Brow's Expedition, join war against Ice Court. Snappy, I've got work to do. Do it. Already done. <laughs> Okay, then who's next? Clan Angrund. I hammer, I should slay you where you stand. Do it. All right then. Corone. Ah, my lady speaks unfavorably of Sigma. You worship a false god, clever. Do it. I got a fair bit of recovering to do with this. It didn't go as smoothly as it did with the um when listening and fair in judgment. Speak. Okay, okay, whatever. So yeah, she's at war with Clack or whatever. Leave her be with that. Oh my god. Yeah, she doesn't she doesn't hate us, that's fine. Okay. All right, now for the real bloody war. This one's a big one. Okay. This is a big war here. Seek out the heretics. Now, every bit of host Oh my god. All every bit of hostility that we do will um will improve relations with everyone because Katarin is universally hated now. So, onwards. Start with something easy. Oh, Rising later. fortress over here. Probably have to fight it. Oh, I don't... I won't be able to... Fight it. I don't have a siege attacker. But I can get one. Because this guy's trait's nothing special, right? Just get an Empire Captain. Confident. To battle. Here we go. Zin should be proud. Yeah. So we've got some real hard fighting. We've got to knock off all of her armies. But unlike with the Dark Elves, she's not going to be able to recruit that quickly. Ah! 
Hmm, another confident one. The Empire. Immediately get a siege attacker with the Griffin. That's the only advantage to having this one, really. Actually, I think it would be better to take less attrition out here. Okay, let's do this. Welcome to Ostermark Fealty. Oh, that's actually a good point. Um, don't worry about Ostermark's Fealty, I can fix that easily. Legend, why don't you use some prestige? I pressed the wrong button. I just used up a hundred thousand prestige. Both of them, it's going to be fixed real quickly with both of them. So, like the first time in the campaign, I've even needed to use uh, fealty uh, prestige. Can you sell Nordland to Ostland and confederate it later for a buffer state? Yes, I can do that actually. Uh, if the settle if the settlements come under threat, that's what I'll do. Because yeah, Katarin isn't at war with Ostland. Anywhere where our armies get close to our territory, I'll just sell it to one of the elect accounts. Yeah. When did we revive Ostland? Ostland's always been there. They never got wiped out. I don't think. Alright, so we've got 70 settlements to take out, and we need to do it all today if we can. Let's see how we go. Actually, 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 these guys are do just fine climbing up the walls. Because you can get so many of them up the walls really quick. Don't need to go through the gate, which takes ages. Song of Ice and Life. Because <laughs> I've used life magic lots. This would be great for knocking them all off the walls. Ah, oh, so good. <laughs> they fall off the walls, they die. Look at these guys go. Just life bloomed them for a little bit of extra health back. Gives them about 40. Alright, off the walls. Start fighting big groups of them, please.
Cool. The Empire endures. Oops. By Ulrich's wrath. Good stuff. This one. Shouldn't be too much longer. They've lost about half their army now. Yep, they've been army losses. Just because of buyout blood gives them 30 seconds extra. Not going to make any difference, though. Good. Okay. First victory against Kislev. First settlement taken out. Yeah, if you just set up to the stream, either on YouTube or Twitch, welcome. Big Kislev war today. We've been preparing for this for not that long, actually. But what ended up happening was Vashnar's conquest showed up. I declared war on them, and Katarin didn't back us up. So it cancelled our alliance with us. And I figured that that's actually a pretext enough for me to go to war with her. Because everybody was very angry with her for doing that. I thought, this is it. This is our opportunity. So I latched onto it, cancelled all my other treaties, made her hate me, made her cancel all of her other treaties... <laughs> And now, everyone's at war with her, except for maybe Thorak. No, no, I think we got Thorak. No, no, it was Rapunzel that didn't join the war. And the lizards, but fuck the lizards. They're being a bitch anyway. They don't like Hunt's Martial Expedition. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. We gave her a bunch of cities. We need to get them back. Yes, my lord. Watch the quarry. <laughs> so yeah, we had to get our relation down enough where she would be willing to accept breaking treaties. And then you put a lord in the settlement that you want to trade and then declare war and then you just take the settlement back because there's no garrison because we're not the same faction. They don't restore their garrisons. These settlements do go down a level, so that sucks, but I think it's well worth it given what we managed to get her to do. What does the Emperor bid? Protector of the weak. Champion of the faith. So yeah, this one didn't end up doing anything. So she should be at 69 settlements now. 70. Did I not give back one of those settlements? Yeah, Joyshank's gone. Forget about that. What did I... She should be... at 69 settlements. Unless she... Oh, she took that settlement. That was a ruin. Okay, she was actually at 71. It's all good. It's all good. All right, Castelton's here, isn't he? No, Castelton's there. Okay. I'll freeze off your fingers. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Huge concentration of force. Absolutely huge.
Don't think there's any military out this way. True servant of Sigma. <sighs> Wish I didn't get that other one wounded. Seek out the heretics. Just don't have enough intel out here. That's Sigma. not an important settlement. Go for Karak Vlag with this. I don't Warrior intend to do a hell of a lot of damage with this uh, bunch of force. It's just to do a little bit. See what we can do and then back off. Pull them back. Alright, well we've got some fighting over here that's relatively easy. I wish they had left some armies here for me to kill. Look at this. This will probably go and conquer Albion. Maybe even land here. Maybe. We'll see. It'd be pretty funny if Kislev destroys Corone. The Empire. Got plenty of intel here, that's not a problem. But she's pulled out all of her force out here. So this will just be rolling over them. Alright, I think Volkmar should go for the most difficult target, which would be the Frozen City. You can't quite reach it, but that's where you should go. Moving out. Raise Sigma. Toddy, you yes. go to Nagra. Sixty-nine settlements remain. To the provinces. Do not waste my potential. Sixty-eight settlements remain. Uh, it seems like he still gets his winds of magic drop down to a hundred. But yeah, whatever was happening to Volkmar seems to have stopped, unless me loading up the game. Let me look. Yeah, look, Volkmar is retaining his Winds of Magic. I don't know, that seemed to have been fixed. Okay, don't need to sell those regions this turn, because I'll always take attrition anyway. Now, Erengrad, obviously a very valuable city to her. I definitely want to take Kislev, but I'm really friggin' worried about a counterattack from Kastalsen. So there's four full stacks here. Actually, could we possibly block him? There's no way, he's level 50. Because it looks like he's got Lightning Strike. Champion of the faith. It's for Jack over here. So that's easy. Like we've got a lot of armies, but they're all shit, except for one of them. This one here, which is full of captains. I mean, even this one, I think, would struggle against all of this. I think it would really struggle. Except for, you know, those aren't going to be a problem. So what I kind of want to do is send all of these armies to go to Kislev and just win that situation, sell it to Ostermark, and just leave some force here. But yeah, that's 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 a scary situation right there. I gotta be careful with that. Then we've got these guys here. Right. Can't reach Castle Alexandrinov. Can get to Joyshink. Doesn't don't worry about Joyshink though. Who should take Eric? Oh, honestly, I think Carl Franz should take it. An ice switch bows to no one. In the name of Magnus. My orders are to move. Carl Franz should do it by himself. Yeah, easy. But we shouldn't hold on to it. We should immediately start giving to Ostland. So this is where people were asking, why does he still have Ostland? For this exact moment. This is where we've wanted Ostland all along. So now, we re-establish treaties with Ostland. Is that all the money you've got? Affirmative. And you may have Erengrad. There you go. I will. We've re-established the treaties that we broke. What? And now, they're not going to be capable of hitting Karl Franz from there. Let's see, Igor over here. Imagine if there was an army over here in ambush stance. Maybe I should send this one. 
No siege attacker in the army. He's got lightning strike, right? I serve the Heldenhammer. Yeah, he's got lightning strike. We could clear out some of these armies a little bit. This would be good practice for him. Alright, but if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need some equipment. So, these guys are all on horseback. Should they be on... Okay, let's give them some equipment. Alright, what we want is stuff that's actually going to help the entire army. Stuff like Helms of Discords. Actually, what would be better is Glittering Scales, because that's just a passive. I don't have to click on it constantly. Uh, weapon would be good for Tormentor Sword. We've only got two of those, so that's fine. Take it. Talisman. The White Cloak of Ulrich. Got heaps of those. And Enchanted Items. Van Horseman Speculum. Don't take Carl Franz's. Okay. Persians are strength of shit. We can fuse some of those. Armor of Fortune is... Yeah, it can be better. Need rune Fangs now. Wands of Jet. Shit. Fuse. I'm not going to sit here fusing for too long. Be here all day. Got so many items. The bloody Rune Fang. Potion of Tough... No, no, no. Potion of Strength. Fuse that. How much magic do you have? 90. That's a concern. The other option here, because we don't actually border them on this front, is to just not actually engage them this turn. Draw them into Ostermark and attack them there. Yeah, you don't need to be here. You can go. I need you to keep an eye on stuff over here for me. Because yeah, this is this is strong bloody stuff here. It's not worth the risk in most cases. And if we have a look, they can't even reach Fort Jacova. Jacova, whatever it is. So we could take this easily, remain in ambush stance, and just see how many armies come down this way. Let me just see if they're willing to go to war with the Ice Corps. No, I'll have to give them a settlement to get them to do that. I'm not saying that should. You're raiding Erengrad? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. I started to begin the turn doing that. What orders? So many friggin' armies. And Kislevite armies are pretty strong. I need to make sure that I'm the attacker. So what we need to do is just move in ambush stance just a little bit over this way. Just a little bit so that I can launch the attack. And if they go and occupy Joyshenk then they're in a trap situation. My right by Sigmar's crown. Tools of judgment ready. And we should get a witch hunter over here for you. Ready, that friggin' three. Sigmar. Who calls? Show me the accused. Go and check out stuff out yes, that way, please. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should take this settlement so I can recruit another um witch hunter. For the Emperor! Right here. Champion of the Faith. Don't stay here. Ready. Yes, blessed is this action. I will do anything for Sigma. True servant of Sigma. Come then, only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it worthy or no. <laughs> 460,000 for that settlement. Make it a bit more with... 480,000, he's been, he's been saving up, he's a big boy, he's been saving up. Right. Don't forget to give Ostlin Joyshank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hang on a second. Hang on a second. 
Yeah, actually, that's a great Welcome idea. Welcome, my countrymen. Of course. Good thinking. All right. Taking these settlements over here is going to be pointless without being able to transfer settlements over to them. If I have to give like all of this stuff over here to Ostland, that's no problem. I don't really need the money. But yeah, it's this here. It's it's the threat of Castalton's lightning strike that bothers me the most. I was really hoping to just do one big invasion here. Like, four full stacks versus four full stacks, I'm not sure if we would win. Because our last stuff's fairly basic. Fairly basic. Don't have much magic. These are some good armies. It would be good to... Like, if you have a look at her strength ranking, it's very high. Like, we're sending everything that we've got against her apart from one army. Actually, two armies. Praise be to Sigma. Do we wait here for them to invade this direction? Or do we like hit? I could, I could probably have two of these armies go to Jacoba, no problem. Like I said, they cannot reach us. No higher power than I. Yeah, do that. Shields us. Heldenhammer. By the way, the stream quality is capped at 720p instead of 1080p. I don't know why that is. I didn't change anything. Isn't it automatic on Twitch? Order to serve. Bunch of Empire captains. An ice witch bows to no one. Limited magic. Arch I, uh, they're not actually that high level captains. Uh, 24. Hang on. Let me just pick a random one. See if they've got all the right points and stuff. Because it would have just been... For the most part, didn't get blade shield, which would have been good. Extra melee defense is useful. If it was warrior priest, I wouldn't worry so much. Because they're all of their uh, abilities. Much better than Empire Captains. Awaiting orders. <laughs> I serve the Heldenhammer. Cast evil out. Ten P on YouTube, Twitch is seven twenty P for non partners, but I am a partner on on uh, Twitch. I'm a partner. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay. Yeah, let me change this. All right, all right. So we've got Fort Jakova, which I will give immediately. Let me have a look at this. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think we should set up a trap. I think attacking this, it's just too concentrated. And given that their armies are just so much better than ours, we need to um, need to be careful. Because I can only send four of these armies into battle at a time. Maybe I'll keep this one out as bait, right? I reckon if you stand right there... They will send an army to attack us. 
So Matt sent all three, and these guys will be able to assist. And if I don't like the odds, I can just back off and they won't be able to catch us any further. Alright, I need to sell Jack over. Welcome, my countrymen. Yes. Well, we're not going to be short on funds. That's that's not going to be an issue. Shit. It might be quicker to just disband this army and re-recruit it from scratch. <laughs> Hang on. Merge. Then transfer. Hang on. You merge as well. Ready to serve. I will go. So make this one here full stack again. Yeah, because this guy is in, in camp stance. Warrior of Sigma. Oh, I only put 19 in there. Too late. It's okay. Praise be to Sigma. Here to serve. Going to channeling stance. Your word is my command. Ready to serve. Serve only the ice court. I'll freeze she off your feet. She should move just a little bit My closer here. Begins. And I think this guy here needs to generate more winds of magic for the army. Can't you bait them with a lone lord near the bridge? Other armies ambush stance? No, that'd be a terrible idea, dude. They got lightning strike. That works in like the early stage of the campaign, but everything's level 50 now. So that gives us a lot more capacity for magic. Still got the... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, biggest concern is obviously the stuff at Kislev. I did originally want to just strike at Kislev, but I was hoping that Boris... Uh, uh, Boris... Uh, Kostelton would be right there, but that's not the case. At least he doesn't have Boris. I know that. Um, we just got to be really bloody careful with what we're doing here. True servant of Sigma. Because, yeah, there's no settlement she can take away from me this turn. So that should be fine. Alright, let's check how things are going with our allies. Oh, man, I can't even see what's going on with, with him anymore. He's usually fine. Uh, check with this one. Oh, God. Only true vengeance will make me happy. Look, he's at 414. That should be fine for now. It is going down, though. I don't have time for words. The Dowie need me. Yeah, okay. So the trespassers against Ostermark. He's not forgiving us for that. Because we didn't... Uh, it didn't make Ostermark hate them. That's fine. He'll forgive us slowly over time. We can always just... Uh, buffer that with gifts. Don't have to worry about the Bretonians too much. Okay, okay. Now, if these armies start coming through this way, that could be a bit of a problem. So we do need to make sure we've got adequate intel out here. Just get another battle wizard. Because, yeah, this one might, like, force march to here. If they're going to do that, maybe I should recruit an army here so that I could maybe force march them over here and actually launch the attack against them. I've already recruited a lord there. So that's not going to work. already disbanded that dude. Yeah, look, if they come in too close here, I'll just have to sell Kappelberg and Griffinwood over to Ostermark. I can get them back later. It's not that important. Most important thing here is make sure we don't suffer a defeat. Because, yeah, these armies here, they are not good compared to what they've got. Like, one of our armies versus one of their armies, we won't win. We have to isolate them. They're just too concentrated here. 
Unfortunately, I haven't destroyed any of their armies in this battle, uh, in this turn. But if we take away their settlements, they'll start having to disband some of their troops. Just have to do it rapidly, though. So we both might end up losing ground. But as long as Empire factions are the ones that are on top, we should be fine. Okay, let's move on to the next turn now. Let me just check over here. Yep, and check over here. Make sure that there's no Zinchi bastards on the way. Yep, plenty of income. How's this coming along? Yeah, Thorak, even if he did hate us, he's kind of busy. But this is good to see. Huge invasion of the south, southern continent. The southern chaos wastes. We also need to check for any... Yep, none of that. Are you bordering Kataran to the east in the chaos waste? Minimap looks like it. I just captured this settlement. So I've got an army in here. There's... I don't think there's any armies out this way. And I'll be selling this to Ostermark next turn. So it'll be fine. to mark some more money. Alright. Alright, here we go. Because, yeah, when we when we initially attacked, um, uh, what's it called? Malekith. Malekith was hugely distracted, and he didn't have any armies on the border. This is the complete opposite. Huge concentration of force. We're massively outnumbered. This isn't like the Malekith fight at all. Alright, here we go. Wait, if he's in that stance, and he's able to get to there... How does he have that much movement? Surely, he, he might actually be able to force march here. What orders? Shit. I, may, I maybe should just back off a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Because honestly, it's just friggin' scary. This is really scary forces here. An ice witch bows to no one. Oh yeah, they're barely paying anything for their army as well. Very scary forces. Okay, let's move on. We'll see what happens. Uh, TZS subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Can you revive the changeling? I don't know, actually. I don't think so. Let me guess. Teleport stance? No. Yeah, good old freaking Thorek. Every time a Zinch army dies, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> Or a Lord of Change clips his wings. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, they're, they're moving out. They're playing it kind of defensive. That's why we need to see what they're doing every turn. Castelton's in ambush stance. Why is it 720p 60fps? I have no idea. It, I didn't change any settings. I have no idea why it's doing that. So this is just Twitch. 720p on Twitch for some reason. Alright, well... We survived that turn without any defeats. Uh, we didn't do the sort of big massive attack that I was really hoping to do. But we definitely got the upper hand on her. She lost a few territories. 
And every time we take away some territories, we can deprive her of income. Hopefully these armies will start coming down fairly soon. It's 1080p for me. Maybe refresh it if you're on 720p on... Um... Yeah, it's 720p on YouTube, but for some reason on Twitch it's... it's... Sorry, it's 1080p on YouTube. It's 720p on Twitch at the moment. I don't know why. Brothers from across the Yeah, I would, but I'm a little bit preoccupied. Okay. Another turn. Let's see what we can do. So Castelton was discovered. So that's good. By the comet. From Zavastra, they can reach Kappelberg, which means it's time for Kappelberg to be sold. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. Maybe I should bring Ostermark into this. Because that way I could get these territories here off them. I'll need to sell a better settlement than that. All right. Yeah, because if they take Beckerfen, then I can get it. Then I could summon the Elector Counts. We saw an army make its way up to here. Uh, William, dear Tudor, Super Chat, how much does Clan Angren hate you? Um, I don't know. Thanks, Super Chat. Um, I'll have a look in a second. Good old Kurt, dear $10, Super Chat. Great content. Watching for years now. No worries, dude. Should probably take a break if you've been watching for years nonstop. <laughs> Thanks, Super Chat. Alright. Yeah, he, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's going down. I can't see what it's going down to because the UI is too big. We can check that by doing this. I did this yesterday. Oh, other way around. It is heading towards minus 271. We can, we can um, give him some gifts to fix this. Because the broken treaties with Ostermark will not expire quickly. But the military actions against the Ice Court will improve things. So we'll see what it's like at the end of the turn. And I might... Might have to send him some gifts. Ready. Oh, look at this, they didn't. True servant of Sigma. Servant of the faith. Alright, I can reach Castle Alexandrinov. There are four sir. armies here. Now these two armies are pretty bloody good. And then there's Carl Franz here as well. Carl Franz can lightning strike. So if I was to lightning strike this army here. No flying units, yeah, because Kislev doesn't get flying units. Could a Reichsguard army handle this? They've got Bitterness of Winter. Three uses of that. That could slow me down on the approach. They've got some fast units in that army. So, Griffin Legion, 45-46, no anti-large, versus 64-48. Our stats are better. There's a cheaper. I Got a better law of magic, I that's for sure. Only the ice court. Thing is, most of these units are fairly fast. Giving them a pretty big advantage. And then, of course, if we lightning strike, we're going to be tired. So I think what we do here... I think what we do is... All-out attack on Castle Alexandrinov. Just all of us. You've got the most magic, you're launching the attack. Off you go. The Empire. 
I don't imagine we're going to be able to auto-resolve this. Now, there's actually five forces here, so it's possible that one of their main armies will actually not show up in this fight. Champion of the faith. And if we attack you. No peace, just war. Alright, how many armies? Three versus three. A fair fight. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. We'll not control a large army, and instead of making this um, a big old clusterfuck, we'll have this army fight this one. See how it goes. And then when we're worn out, we withdraw our units and start bringing in these guys. Alright, here we go. Any banners? Alright, let's do this. Because lightning strike isn't the key. Epic battle incoming indeed. Placemate, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is this is a big fight here. And the thing is, there's still two more armies after this. So, you know, need to do a good job. Need to make sure... Like, if our armies get totally wrecked in this, <laughs> then that's not good. That's not good at all. Need to make sure all of our reinforcements coming from the same location. This will be crazy. This is going to be... This is going to be a fight. This is going to be fine. So we just need for Karl Franz to destroy this army here without his entire army getting wiped out. Not that I can't replace it. I can. Your FPS won't be happy about this. No, no, no. It's on not control large army. It's it's only going to be 20 versus 20. It's going to be three, three fights, essentially. So you guys come stand over here. Here we go. Big fight. Big long fight. All right, you guys start moving. Here we go. Death frost upgraded. That's fine. We can heal that. I reckon Karl Franz would be best off. Um, one one did a five NZ super chat. Good luck, legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right, I think. Okay, those bullets. How much damage are they doing? Not that much. I think we're best off taking out some of the Griffin Legion rather than going for the Lord. Go for the Griffin Legion over here. Because these cavalry here can pin down my cavalry. So what we use Kyle France for is to take out the most dangerous units, not necessarily the strongest. And yeah, if one attack can take out four of these guys, that's pretty good. And with no anti-large on these guys, they can't really do much damage to Kyle Franz. And if we don't do any magic damage to them, they shouldn't all out attack just yet. Laura Vife will be MVP. Yeah, then that'll be such a change from usual. <laughs> Kevin Lauder became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So these Griffin Legion did 200 damage. I will not stand idle. Cool. It's not yet. Okay, this one is anti-large, but it's really squishy, so we can kill it pretty quick. Just get these other ones out of the way first. Good old Kurt became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. This is my command. Okay, you need to fight this one here because that'll do a fair bit of damage to you. If you have a look, that hit there. Yeah, it did a bit. But yeah, you kill them super quick. Then what we should do. This one got hit with Death Frost. That's okay. We can just do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this? Is this anti... No, it's anti-infantry. Still hits pretty hard. We 
Alright, pull him out of that for now. Good thing they can't heal it. I think. Alright, go get rid of that snow leopard. Now, when someone. When we kill one of these creatures. Yeah, reinforcements bring in, which will be a lord. We need to go take out that lord immediately. While he's isolated. He doesn't want to fight. You call yourself a boy R? More like a girl R. I'm not proud of that one. We are Sigma's heirs! Ooh, war bears. Take position! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> yes. Like I said, I, I immediately thought that was shit. Alright. Alright, alright. I think now is an okay time since they've got some units kind of semi blobbed up. No, no, they're not shooting at us though, so they're moving out of the way. Because, yeah, this will get them to start chasing us. Take the ground. Let's go. At speed. The Empire Which means we can pick off stragglers or pick off ones that run ahead of the pack. Okay, here they go. Alright, you guys start running. This is a pretty good map for us. It's nice and flat. It's not very big. Nice and flat means good terrain for her cavalry. So how much damage is done in total? Yeah, a fair bit. We need to take that out. Carl France is almost at his max regen now. But he has done quite a lot of value, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. So destroying these heavy war slaves is pretty good. Need to actually destroy it because they're not sitting inside of a settlement, these ones. We have to fight them again, otherwise. There's a light war sled there as well. Alright, they're being kind of skittish about how they want to attack, and that's fine. They've probably got the, a bit of a speed advantage, just a little bit. Good, light war sleds coming into melee there, that was very silly of them. Anti-infantry going up against the large. I think what I'll use is Awakening of the Wood, because it's cheaper and it's harder for them to dodge. So a guard coming in. Hey, killing their lord over here would be good. Alright, you guys come over here because it looks like Carl Franz is quite isolated from the rest of their army. It should be easy to take him out. What, hang on, what's this lone Tsar guard over here doing? Advance! Another snow leopard. Advance! 
Watch an order! See to it! Let the wind of life blow! No lasering! Nice sled, so I gotta be good to hit. Be staying there. Okay, if we got warbear riders incoming, we don't really want to fight them unless they're really isolated. Enemy lord's just about dead. That's good. Enemy lord's dead. Good. Okay, too much coming in over here. We're gonna get out. Too much. Go, go, go. Get out of there. Okay, unfortunately, Warbear Riders are actually quicker than horses, but I just gotta get them away from the rest of their army. This guy here's gonna get caught. Come on. It's harder to pin down smaller heroes. Okay, have some of this. Bit of Sigmar jizz on you. <laughs> Happy to fight them, just not amongst the rest of their army. Okay, I think that initial engagement went pretty damn well. Alright, we've got armored Kossars over here to deal with. Twitch only seems to be 720p max. I can't really do anything about that. If you are if you really want 1080p, you can always go watch on YouTube where it is 1080p. I didn't change any settings. I don't know why that's happening. I really can't justify spending any time trying to fix it. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, we've isolated all their bear riders over here, so this is good. Now we start to surround them. In we go. You need to go take out that other general over here. seem to be going down pretty well there. My rule is absolute. My goal, Maraz. Reichsguard Got to finish with the Griffin Legion. Pull out of that fight there. Good. Another Lord is wounded. That is good. Okay, Carl Franks needs to take out this one here. Pull these ones out. Okay, this one here is in really bad shape. It's time for this one to leave the battlefield. Another incarnate elemental of beasts. Ready for battle. We await your order. Okay, you just chill over there. Right scar. Take the ground. Fleet. Onwards. The power of life. 
life is mine! We are Sigma's house! Get them out of there. Okay, we're getting too close to the edge of the map here. That's not ideal. I need to get away from this location. Good, the incarnate elemental of beasts is decaying. Yeah, they're, that's a straight up nerf. Them becoming a, essentially a demon. Alright. Okay, a lot of dangerous units have been taken out so far. Carl France is in pretty bad shape. But we can withdraw him in good order. Soon. Keep moving. Get away from this edge of the map here. We do not want to be fighting here at all. Guess you can come and fight with us. Okay, while they're shooting at Carl Franz, pop that down on them. Oh, they moved out of the way. God damn it. That, that's pretty good AI there. I gotta give them credit for that. They're good at dodging spells. Get rid of this damn Griffin Legion. Piss me off. So yeah, they wasted 17 of my Winds of Magic. We did a little bit of damage to them, but not enough to make any real difference. Get out of there, go around to the back of this location. Damn it. See, this is where it becomes a problem. You find a whole bunch of, like, Griffin Legion that just won't get wiped out, and then the Ice Guard come in and dish out... Actually, not that much damage. Try again with this. Because we've got plenty of Winds of Magic, that shouldn't be a problem. That did a bit more damage that time. Still, I've done three casts and I've only gotten a little bit of damage with that life wizard. So they've done a good job in wasting my winds of magic there. Good thing I got heaps. Alright, another winged lancer coming in. That should be no problem. That's a weaker version of Griffin Legion. Come on, don't, don't keep going back. This is why you got to give the order over and over again. Because if one unit gets stuck, they just go back. I've just got to get these guys away from their infantry, and then I can fight them. Because I can beat their cavalry, but I can't beat their cavalry while they're getting supported by their infantry. And that's what they're counting on doing. Formation march! Sage wizard! Go! Ready! Going! It is done! Take the ground! Okay, here's a okay opportunity I can see. Let's do it. This one here is about to get shredded. That's a really bad situation for them. And we got war bears coming in from the rear here. We need to pull out of this. I don't want to get asked by beers. Be beers? Bears. These are still fine. We obey. The Empire endures. Give our guys a little bit of a heal. I think they've earned it. Right, draw the bears away, then you can fight them. Don't fight them among all those ice guard. By Ulrich's wrath, no lingering. Sigma calls. So Carl Franz has done forty-seven thousand in damage. Definitely done his worth. Ready for war! 
probably going to dodge it. Maybe not. Okay, these ones here can go and fight that war beer. <laughs> uh, this one here is done for. Get it off the battlefield. When they drop below 30, that's when I tell them to leave the battlefield. Okay, the war beer is getting smashed. It's not a beer. So, yes, you get the hell out of here. Good, yeah, if you can surround a war bear like that, it gets absolutely annihilated. Watch out, watch out. They pin you down, then the other one gets in. Okay, we've nearly defeated a full stack, so if we could just defeat two more units, which I think we've done, then this army will have done its worth. Get out of that, come on, friends. Need more guys over here. The Ice Guard is definitely a huge concern for us here. This one here hasn't taken any damage. Ah, oh, a new wizard came in. Right, right, right. Well, that means this one here. You can just leave the battlefield. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, just, just leave. Okay, more reinforcements coming in. Okay, we're struggling against these war bears here. Yeah, by our blood is really useful in this situation. They pin us down just a little bit longer. Makes cavalry armies kind of ineffective against Kislev. Heavy war sled. Should be able to catch that, no problem. Okay, we're a bit close to the edge here. Shall I join in? But there's no anti-large here, really. Just charging in. Take out the heavy war sled, actually. Ready for war. At once. Okay, this one here. Oh, there's actually quite a few that are Go. below Go. half strength now. Get them out. That's not going so well there. Pull them out. You, you're done. You may leave. That was almost done. Okay, you, you're done. You may leave. Okay, this one here is... I don't like how it's grayed out sometimes. Obviously, if you've got questions, now is not the best time to ask them. I'm sure that there's some in the chat. Just, uh, you know, wait until after the battle. I'm not going to pause to deal with it. Because I've got to keep my eye on things here. Try to make sure our army doesn't get destroyed. Get that one out of there. It's anti large. Okay, 
17, you've definitely got to get off the battlefield, like, now. Time for the entire Reichsguard force to, to get out of here, like now. Time to bring in these guys. Come on, you can get out. Just need four of you to survive. Just four. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Okay, good. They're getting out. It's time for the warrior priests to do their thing. Okay, you... Yeah, if you can get over here. Alright, alright. So that is Army 1 used up. Shit, get that guy out of there. Alright, that is Army number 1 used up. So now we're on Army number 2. Well, we still got Karl Franz. And I think his warrior priest. But I don't think any of our Reichsguard got wiped out. Okay, the really damaged dudes, get them over here. Another wizard. Friends may have to be withdrawn from the battlefield soon. It's not going to hurt us in a long term effect. Okay, I think some of our third. Yeah, some of our third army is starting to show up now. They've just got one more army coming in as reinforcements, so we're almost done here. Where's the other one? Over there. Faith in the comet. To battle, brothers. Death to the faithless. Strike out. Hey. All things must wither. Alright, I'm going to withdraw Carl Franz from the battlefield now, because he's pretty worn out, and it'll be good to bring in someone else. It'll lower my morale temporarily. That's okay. He's got no more healing left he can do. So he's spent. But these guys have still got a lot of fight left in them. Carl Franz is out. Okay. You're in. You guys are going to have control group one because you're all. You're both lords. And this is now control group three. Okay. We'll go in together. Alright. What we need here is a regrowth on this dude. And that one for that matter. Okay. Things are calming down a bit now. It's a lot easier. So much easier to deal with the hero stack than the cavalry stack. I can actually restart. Imagine you've just been unpartnered and 720p is how you find out. Let's, let's find out.
Mm, doesn't say anything in my emails about uh, Twitch being unpartnered with me. It'd be a bit weird to get unpartnered about a week after I got partnered. That would be weird. Like I said, I just I can't explain exactly what happened with that. Sorry, just don't know. Some reason they love shooting my runesmith here. Don't know why. To get all my guys together. To no. By oh crap, we're out of magic. It would seem that we are completely out of the magics. Okay, we'll then withdraw them off the battlefield in a minute. Get him out of here. Hook those dwarf and legs. The empire is yours. Get them. Ready for war. Chant the battle. Okay, still bringing in more guys. Alright, I got no more healing left to do. Okay, this runesmith is actually doing pretty badly. I'm gonna get him out of here. Get him off the battlefield. We still have a lot of reinforcements left, and they have just brought in the last of theirs. But yeah, we've got things in a bit of a mess, so I don't have all of my my uh, Grand Soulfires all synced up. Should probably try to sync up those two up at least. By the way, you ran out of magic faster because France had 165, but the other army had 200. Yeah, but I need, I wanted to make sure that France was the first one to fight. It's fine. We, we won anyway. We It was fine. We only ran out of magic at the very end of the battle. We can heal in the next one. Holy moly, what a fight. Alright, well, we did it. Why do I keep hearing...
How do I keep hearing Flock of Doom? So, if we have a look, Carl Franz's army is pretty beat up. No units got wiped out. But considering what's been done to this army here, just that one alone is a worthy trade-off, but the other armies aren't in great shape either. These two will be able to recover very quickly because they're hero spams. It's not an issue for them. We'll also be able to do the post-battle loot option to re replenish our casualties. Excuse me. Replenish our ca uh, casualties. You can get captains to heal cavalry, right? Yeah, but it's not going to be much. It's going to be maybe like 5 to 10%. I don't think they're just going to restore to full. So yeah, that had to be done. We've got to fight a lot of battles manually against uh, Kislev. Really bring their armies down as quickly as possible, but obviously make sure we can actually win the battle. Because the incarnate elemental beast was doing Flock of Doom to you. Well, they were all dead for one thing. So yeah, we can get 8% back, like I said, between 5 and 10%. So that army, okay, one unit left of that. This one here didn't take much damage. And not too much damage done on that. All right, get the replenishment. Yeah, because we don't need the money, that's a bit of sexy now. I am Prince and Emperor. Purge the heretics. No higher power we killed all of their lords. Okay. So the next step to is to Emperor. fight this manually. Probably. Because I imagine Order Resolve would wreck a whole bunch of Reichsguard. Yeah. Now in this battle, I actually don't want Karl Franz to show up at all. And we do want to control large armies. Because we can't heal Karl Franz, but I can heal these... Well, I can actually can heal Karl Franz. I can't heal his cavalry is what I mean. Alright, so yeah, we want two armies to come onto the battlefield. Easy way to make sure that Karl Franz doesn't show up is move his reinforcement side to the other side of the map. Has anyone sided with Katarin? Nope. No, of course, I diplomatically screwed her over. Okay, cool stuff. Alright, so which one's Carl Franz? That one there, we want that to take as long as possible. We just don't want them showing up at all in this battle, because I just can't heal them. Use this battle to try to recover if possible. A little bit. Just wait for reinforcements. Looks like we're going to have to suck up some damage from these guys, because there's no way I can catch them. Then again, they can. They can, doesn't mean they will. Which they did, so that's good. Taking out the war bear riders nice and early. Very good. So this guy here is getting shot a bit. Okay, we do this to get some armor. Just wondering, do you still accept SYDBs? Yes, yeah, so I'm just not doing them at the moment, that's all. It's not like I'm never doing them again. I'll get back to them as soon as I'm done with this campaign, which will be two or three days. Ready for 
Alright, now we can bring Carl Francis' forces in, which... Yeah, we want them coming from here. I just want these ones to come in first. Okay, those little Groms are doing a hell of a lot of damage because it looks like they're hitting multiple units at once. I need to go deal with them. But these ones here also need to heal. Alright, control group 2, off you go. Alright, um... Make them then control group 4. Yeah. Alright, we gotta get around the army and try to get rid of those little Groms before they run out of ammunition. As for the Runesmith, you just stay back here. I don't really need you. Actually, you guys just hang back. Just The closer you get, the more accurate they're gonna be on us. Little Groms appear to be a weakness of our forces. Luckily, I can heal their damage easily enough. And because we're in a tight formation, it actually makes them easier to hit us. So we should probably try to dodge the shots while we're moving these guys around. Little Groms are really accurate. Best I can do is just heal the damage being done. Maybe if I can get them to aim for the wizard instead, while these guys are making their way around. So I didn't have to deal with the little groms in the previous battle. Okay, so you gotta get around there, kill those little groms. They are proving themselves to be pretty annoying. Running through the forest here will be good. It'll slow us down temporarily, but also provide us with some cover. Actually, how about you leave the battlefield and get Carl Franz in here? That way he can start getting some healing in. Here you go, friends. Have a bit of some of this. God damn, I'm trying to dodge and they predict so well. Little Groms are really bloody good. Get him over there just for now. That's an order. Shield. No lingering. For held and All right, at least the little grums are t getting taken down. They used up like seventy-five percent of their ammo, though. God, get out of that. Update is out, Warhammer 3. There's an update. Alright, let's have a look at what the update entails. Just, uh, just give me a sec here. See if I can get it up. Okay, let's have a look at the community notes. Okay. Okay, okay. So, a buff for the Celestial General Lion. Big buff. And a buff for the Celestial Lion as well. 
Patriarch no longer has access to the Brazier of Dars. Okay, okay, that doesn't matter. Replace regrowth in Barona's Time Warp in multiple. Okay, that doesn't matter. Fix an issue where Chaos Lords of Zinch Mark of Chaos costs were not being reduced with character rank. Fixed an instance where the mission chain to unlock blue scribes will sometimes not progress. Added wounds passability to the Frostworm unit. Well, they didn't. Well, and you're going to nerf the Frostworm, huh? <laughs> well, this unit is too weak. Let's make it weaker. Uh, the blue scribes now has access to Law of Hag spells. Uh, fix the Castle Lord of Zinch not using one of the head variations in campaign. Uh, fix an issue where some of the newly added ancillaries... Let me zoom in a little bit, as you guys might have trouble, especially on Twitch at 720p. Fix an issue where some newly added ancillaries were being lost during game... Yeah, that was weird. I've seen that happen. Fix the Drugina skill. Speak to the frog. No! No! Why? You gotta ruin fun. Uh, whatever. The demon... Pri that I knew that was gonna get fixed. Yeah, th that was obvious. The Demon Prince of Zinch will now receive the Ascended Lord trait. Okay, yep. Fix position VFX. Okay, whatever. Fix issue where Change Bringers, Chaos Lord, and Exalted Hero of Zinch do not have the Disc of Zinch. Okay. Fix issue where the Gate Master could sometimes start a battle with the ability Bulwark of Gate. Okay. Added an initial 30 and second delay to Feral Rage 1 and 2, preventing Rampage from triggering immediately when the battle starts. Yeah, I heard that they fi fucked up Rampage. Xiao Ming's unique skill that gives bonuses to melee units now also apply to Celestial Alliance and Great Moonbird units. Fix an issue preventing Exalted Heroes of Zinj from being able to attack other flying units. All right. Remove the effects of Yuan Bo's unique skill, Armies of Celestial Court, that had become innate to some units. Spell resistance for Jet Lions. Okay. Yuan Bo's unique skill, Armor of Celestial now grants flammable attacks for Great Moonbird. Okay. Fix an issue where the Celestial Lion was receiving bonuses via Satan skill tree that were only intended for Jade and Jet Lion units. Okay. Gate Master had an arcane item slot despite not being a caster. Nah, well, no big deal. To avoid overlap with the Exalted Hero of Zinch, the Iridescent Horror's hero actions have been changed to the following. Hey, look, replenish troops now for Zinch. They, they needed that. And constant growth. That's also good. The other stuff's pretty unchanged um fix the beastman skill breakneck charioteer is not applying okay fix for cut i mean this is a hell of a hot fix fix the cast right fix the warriors of chaos skill hammer into anvil what about the warriors of chaos technology what well, come on man what about the warrior of chaos technology it better be down here somewhere it's not, that's not it Fix the Warriors of Chaos skill, speed and mouse not applying to Hellstrider units. Fix an effect that reduced the recruitment cost of green skin troll units not applying to all types of troll units. Uh, fix a number of effects that were not applying to all three types of Necropolis Knights. Fix instances of Norska monster hunt chains aborting. Yeah, that was, that was annoying. Astankias, no, I don't care. The Hagwitch skill, well, okay. Fix the number of buildings that were... Providing the wrong values when damaged or ruined. Yeah, I've I've seen that where some buildings they like get stronger if they're um, damaged. Uh, fixed cases of Norska faction leaders having blank names. I've seen that. Not a big deal. Fixed aerials porthole being too zoomed in. Okay. Fixed issues of Sister Twilight Quest Battle. Whatever. Fixed issues number of centicles of Zinch was uh, would get excessively large. Wow. Added, okay, fixed a issue where the, okay, fixed, okay, tentacles, okay, the changeling is out, the changeling is a touch too immortal to play against, so we're making some tweaks to make him easier to catch. When the changeling loses a battle, if there is a trickster cult within that region, it will be revealed to the settlement owner. That feels fair. When the changeling loses all of his armies, the trickster cults will be revealed in the, the settlement owners. That seems fair. Um, fix an issue where the changeling armies could become hidden, despite being in raiding stance. Additional effects, okay. Okay. Yeah, they still haven't fixed the Warriors of Chaos tech tree. Oh well. Here's what it is. The Empire is yours. Shit, what am I doing? Get this. Hang on, they haven't finished with Ready that little grom, have they? Like. 
Enigma calls. Charge. Attack. All right, they're done. Get them back. I need to get them healed. They're really worn out. Well, you know, we had some fun while it lasted with the regeneration stuff. Who here thought that was really going to last forever? Okay, these ones need it the most. Two over there, and let's get these two here as well. Fight over there is going just fine. Cool. So while they're fighting, not taking much damage, we'll recover over here. Because these guys are just really worn out. And this is hardly the end of the war. And they'll be getting little bits of healing from Life Bloom because of this. Yeah. Tiny little bits of healing. You guys are doing great. Ready to serve. By Ulrich's wrath. Pass the foe. Battle awaits. Attack. Watch. Feel life flow. Guys, done. Bring in someone else. Go! It shall be. For the empire. Throw it. Going. Yeah, we're definitely not going to recover the full. But uh, this is this is looking pretty good. I imagine they're going to get army lost pretty damn soon now. They just don't have much left. And as long as we keep recovering, they're not gaining any ground on us. Right, so this one and this one has now recovered as much as it... Actually, those three have recovered as much as they can. Yes, sir. Quickly. Take the ground. Moving fast. There's the army losses. Good stuff. Magic we got left. This guy's full health. Got it. All these guys are getting some heals as well. Even if we cast this on the ground, everybody gets a bit of a heal.
I think Carl Franz recovered a hell of a lot as well, because he was quite badly damaged in the previous fight. Okay, so that little fight at Ka Castle Alexandrov, that was really good for us. We were a little bit damaged, but no units got wiped out. And there were f four full stacks here. Two of them should be utterly destroyed. One of them's in okay shape, but their lord is killed. And the other one's only got one unit left in it. Is the Winds of Magic UI bugged? Not really. It's it's because we've um, got a runesmith in the army. We're not really supposed to have that. So playing as a changeling is not that OP as before. I don't think that will be that big of a deal if you're playing as the changeling. Yep, good. So she's wiped out. Good stuff. Carl Franz. Yeah, he recovered to full, so that's good. Good. And no attrition here. Good. Protector of the good, good, good. Yes. Alright. To unite the provinces. France needs some time to recover after that. That was that was rough for him. Not that particular battle one before. Okay, so I don't want to be sitting inside the settlement because they might put a lord in here to get a uh, lightning strike. I trust no man. Which would only be a problem for Carl Franz. So what we want to do with Franz is just just chill back over here a little bit, and then sell Castle Alexandrinov. Yeah, these guys don't have unlimited money. Okay, we're finally expanding Ostland. Okay, okay, so. That was the easy stuff, to be honest. That's the easy stuff. Then we've got the hard stuff over here. So, you know, we've got them possibly marching towards Wolfenburg. They, can, they can't reach it. I don't... If I give up Wolfenburg, though, that will mean... Um, we'll lose an elect account position. Let me see what Wolfenburg does. All right. That's Hockland. Uh, not really that important. All of these factions are dead. So it's okay if we do lose it. I could put an army in here, but if they send two armies over here, I can't really do anything about that. Did I leave defenses? I did not. That's not going to get built in time, even if I put a noble in there. I die before betraying Kislev. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! I serve Orson. So we can see here that Castelton has got a bit of an advantage over us. He is able to reach us where we can't reach him. That's a problem. So this over here, a lot of money being spent for no gain. Just because of Castelton. Can't really progress on him. Alright, then we need to scout a little bit. I think we should be sending these ones up through here where there will be significantly less enemies that's what i think protector of the weak tools of judgment ready but we can see here for sigma. that it is safe to get to Karak vlag for the Sigmarite time being at least there's no rush with this this is a case of just pick out little targets and then give them to ostermark that's all so until we get some more uh, scouting over here so this they writhing will fortress will be handed over to Ostermark. And this the army provinces. will... It doesn't need to recover this turn. It can stand here. To it. And maybe channeling? Nope. Alright. Then, um... Yeah, hand over the writhing fortress. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Also, every gift that we give to Ostermark is going to make Clan Angrand happier as well. <laughs> that is 893,000 gold. I have never seen so much for a settlement. Legend, you don't need that much money. Hang on. I kind of want to get him to go to war with the ice court. Because if I do this, then Katarin might take Bekafen, which means I can get Bekafen. Betchafen.
I'll, I'll only get 600,000 after that. <laughs> uh, AJMB97, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Okay. I'll do that. I want you to join war against All right. the Ice Court. All right. It is time. Seek out the heretics. Because, yeah, this is our opportunity to try to get at least the Ostermark portion of this stuff. And we'll need to put an army at Wolfenburg for sure. I think a Huntsman army might be best for that. Look at all these beasts. Let's get someone that's that's new and it'll level them up. Huntsman General, base camp for now. We hunt our enemies. Flaming attacks Once could be good. Are uh, Frostworms weak against fire? Hmm, they're not weak against fire. That's weird. Huntsman General. Yeah, look at this. The archers have 179 range. So does the Huntsman. That's weird. Hang on, don't go... Yeah, go some local. Hang on. Get, let's get four Luminarchs, and the rest, the rest of them. But yeah, imagine that, the Frostworm got weaker in the latest patch, which I haven't updated the game yet, so that's not going to apply. None of it's really going to make any difference to this campaign here. Praise be to Sigma. Don't want to update it for half an hour. Okay, can't just sit around here doing nothing. There's also an army up this way. Champion of the faith. Which I can't reach. If I can't reach it, they probably can't reach me. Also, um. Okay, here's what we should do. Just stand over here in ambush stance for all of them. Wait for them to attack Vitevo and Fort Jakova. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait for them to attack here. So play this one defensive. Hang on. We should really try to be in high ambush success area. So, like in the forest here. Because you got a much lower chance of being discovered if you do it in here. It's much lower. Praise be to Sigma. Sigma lightens my steps. True servant of Sigma. I serve the Heldenhammer. I will go. True yeah, just wait for Castelton to occupy these settlements so he can't escape us. I will do anything for Sigma. Honored to serve. You just gotta be careful because he can reach us, but it'll be right at the edge of his movement, so I can Sigmarite Arch Lector. I go if I need to. Your word is okay, good. They're all in the forest. Do you know what else might be good? What if we switched out our lowest level lord here for a cunning character. Champion of the faith. Praise be to Like this guy uh, here. Let's let's switch him out for somebody that's cunning. Okay. And that way everybody. Covering ground. Shit. Forward. Move out. On the trail. Yes, a sure fire. Oh, local owned region. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. 
Alright, so yeah, we just wait for them to come in. Because they're now at war with Ostermark. Hmm. But yeah, if they take Beckerfin, we can get that Elector Count position. And maybe... Okay, so in order for this to work, we need to get Beckerfin. I may also need to get them to go to war over here as well. Oh, then again, I could just confederate Ostland later. Okay. Okay, so that's all fine. We've got this one making his way over here pretty quick. So I think we'll also need an army here and here. Just get whatever we can. Which is not much. The other area is a bit more urgent. <laughs> That's a bit too much. Get someone who's yeah, this one will do. I will marshal the bed. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cause yeah, they're in different provinces there. They will be judged. Cause otherwise I'm gonna have to give these all of these territories out here to Ostland, which is not what I want to do. But it's not a big deal if I have to do it. Why not recruit a lord and fake recruit? AI loves to attack you when you do that. Uh, what if they got lightning strike? Let's just... Uh, look, what we got going on over here is fine. Okay, then we've got progress over here to... The Empire. Do. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Seek out the heretics. Alright, so what's this? No higher power That's not that dangerous of an army. We should be Praise no problem with that. Alright, let's take Sigmar the frozen city heard, and then get our guys, other guys over here. Are you kidding? Good thing we get lots of replenishment, right? Alright, now looking at this, so they're down to 63 settlements. We've knocked them down by 8 so far. But it's really about knocking down the armies. Alright. Gelt, if you're taking a tiny little bit of attrition... Oh no, you're fine, you make it for the most part. And you just need to hurry up. You force march over here. Okay, we need to sell these two settlements over to Hunts Marshall Expedition. There's no reason we can't do business. So it's called Dagroth and Nagrar. Dagroth, right? Okay. All right. All right, looking good. Yes, blessed is this action. Yeah, lots of intel out this way, and there's just not much army. So all we have to do over here is like hold the line while we wrap around them in all their other locations. Although taking away Kislev proper, that is going to cripple them the most, especially taking away all these really good landmarks, especially at Prague, because of this one here, Global Recruit Duration Minus 2. Yeah, stopping their Global Recruitment would be awesome. Uh, but given how much damage we did to them here this turn, they're not recovering that in a single turn. No way in hell. And we just got to play things by ear. They're not able to attack any of our settlements this turn. So that's good. Alright, and then we'll just do our regular checks. Everything is fine here. And... Yep. Yeah. 
slow going progress, but some progress is happening. Good to see Crocker landing there. No one coming over here, that's good. Alright, checking for another enemies popping up. Nope. Okay, let's move on. Command, I wouldn't worry about it at this point. So yeah, getting these guys into Norska and ripping this to shreds and giving it all over to Ostland will be really useful for us. But I'm definitely concerned about all of these armies getting at my soft underbelly here. And if I, if I have to drag Ostland into this war, I will. Because if we if these settlements are owned by Ostland, then less likely to occupy, the more likely to sack and occupy. Because if we have a look here, get ooh, no, 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 no. if we get her to join get him to join war against this, I do need to give him a settlement. Pretty much anything will do, but these are all major settlements. So maybe at the Tower of Crack, that'll be where it happens. Because, yeah, giving her targets to, like, attack and sack could be good. Alright, and let's see how this turn goes. I don't think there's any way for them to make any serious attacks on us. I'll freeze off your fingers. Yeah, these armies here will probably just run away. And we'll make our way up to the Tower of Crack. And rip Norska to pieces. Okay, let's move on. Hans Marshall Expedition slowly losing interest in Confederation. No, it'll be fine. Don't worry about that. It'll be fine. It varies from turn to turn. No. Well, I hope they counterattack. Come on, I need to see what they're doing. Knocking out Castalton for a couple of turns will be awesome. <laughs> so it took four full stacks to get casualties medium against him. Worth it. Or should we fight it manually? Well, you know, we're probably going to get medium casualties anyway. Plus, if I fight it manually, he won't get wiped out. Yeah, that damage is fine. We can recover that pretty quickly. Good. And knocking out Castelton, that was the main one I was worried about. Good, they're backing off over here a little bit. They're not backing off there. Good, you're not coming towards me. Good, that's it. Retreat. No. Go to Pack Ice Bay. Leave me alone. Yeah, I figured they'd get try to run away. Good. Good turn. Taking out one of their armies relatively cheaply. They have allied units from a dead faction. Yeah, when the faction dies, it doesn't um, delete those units. Is there anything that can be done about Wolfheart's stuck army? No. The only thing I can do is confederate him. And if I confederate him, it ruins all of our plans anyway. There's nothing that can be done about it. What if Marcus became the last enemy to fight? It won't be. It doesn't matter how big he gets. It doesn't matter. Shame we don't get replenishment in their territory. I 
There's still an army out over there, but we've spread them out a little bit more, so that's good. We've now got a defensive army here. Wouldn't be able to beat them in a fair fight. Their, their units are just way higher tier. Good to see Ostland coming out this way, I guess. You dare give me all orders? Right. Bring me to my men. Just thinking how we can go about this. I, I reckon I could attack him Keep your by coming out in the water there. That could work. But then I'm out in the water. So that's not ideal. Of judgment ready. Nothing out here looks like they can attack us. Protector of the weak. I serve the held and hammer. March on the witches. It's not a walled settlement, so it should be easy for us to take. My order agrees. Step to it. Show me the accused. Tools of judgment ready. Fine. Okay, good. All right, we should be fine to go and capture Karak Vlag. That shouldn't Your be an issue is at all. Should be able to order resolve it with this, right? Not with one army. It should be valiant defeat. Yeah. So two should work. For the Emperor! Protector of the weak. Right, you're gonna have to in regular stance hammer. and just take attrition this turn. Fate anyway, whatever happens to these armies doesn't matter, they can just global recruit to get more units. Yep, it's fine. Warrior of Sigma. Oh, right, you're not going to take replenishment. Okay, so that's good. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Okay. The nation calls. Good. So they are down now to 62 regions. Every time we take a settlement from them, they get a little bit weaker. That's exactly what we want. Alright, over here, can we make it to the Burning the Monolith? Nope. I can't. So, go into the stance the here. They will be judged. I will marshal the men. Yes, for now. Okay. It is treason to command me. I am ready. Are you? What? Okay, well this seems fine. So we'll be handing the frozen city over to him. Speak, but be wary of what you say. I speak for the Empire. Yeah, that's just gonna fluctuate from turn to turn. Ready. Alright. Uh, who should be sitting in here? This kind of enemy would be pretty easy for Gelt to deal with, I think. It'd actually be pretty easy for my... Toddy army. Volkmar the Grim. Sigma grant me strength. Onwards. Yes, my lord. The yeah, get Boris lost. to do it. Will bolster the nation. And I think um, he comes in as reinforcements anyway. Yep, good stuff. Good, that way if that army attacks us, should be easy. And we want to send Balthazar Gelt up back into the uh, northern chaos waste there. Swing him around over this way to go to the Shard Bastion. Step to it. Uh, I guess he can take attrition for one turn. That will work. Show me the accused. There's no armies out here, so no. might as well force march. Shaman, There's nothing will. out here. Yes. That's nice safe for us. Good, okay. You, Hold. Ooh. They're unlikely to land with both of those armies. I and even if they did, we'd probably beat them anyway. Plus, I Seek might be able to block Tools of judgment ready. that one. I don't know if that's a good idea. But then I can come out in the water and beat them. 
Yeah, just stay out over here. Just get some. Okay, there's there's more than I thought. Now, like like I said, we can handle it. All right, frozen city needs to be handed over. What do you bring before the scouts of the empire? Agreed. Does the enemy AI avoid walking through other AI factions region when going for the player when it's not at war with them, i.e. buffer states? Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It, it's on a faction-to-faction -faction basis. So factions like Greenskins don't give a shit, but factions like Kislev might. But for the most part, the AI is not very respectful of not of like uh, military access, for the most part. Alright, Carl Franz really does need a bit more time to rest. But yeah, let's have a look at the strength ranking of Kislev. We've definitely knocked her down a peg. That's good. Now, don't forget about this either. What orders? It's not possible for him to attack Arno. Arno. Good to see Bretonia coming in to assist. I was really hoping that they would actually go and smash that. Alright, so we've got 14 units there, 5 units there. I could force march over here and transfer those units over. Giving us 18 units. Plus the 15 in here. They would need... Like, one full stack should be able to manage against that. Should be able to manage. A little bit of a concern having that many cannons. They're just not going to perform that well in that situation. Champion of the faith. They're unlikely to land an attack. It's just unlikely. Alright, get rid of this guy here. Recruit another army here. Just can basically keep feeding more troops to there. The... Okay, you know what we actually need? Not great swords. We need halberdiers. I know they're not fantastic units, but... A lot of large units here. No higher power than I. Hmm. The other thing that we can do here, elect to count state troops. But like I said, they've got one stack going up against nearly two full stacks here. Even if they've got higher quality units, the, the tactical situation is in our favor in that location. And the AI is skittish, so they're unlikely to make that attack then. No higher power than I. This guy's high level. I don't think we have that much to worry about, because this would be worth a lot in balance of power. Do you know what they might do instead? They'll come around over here to try to get to Dieterhafen, where we don't have a, uh, a good defensive situation there. That's what I think they're going to do. Uh, yeah, you'll do. Okay. Then we want to get Huntsman General, I mean Huntsman Units, and some more Huntsmen. And some Artillery. This will be a field battle if it happens here. And then lots of Halberdiers. What does the Emperor bid? Now? Okay. I think what I'll do is recruit another lord. A yeah, you'll do. And we'll get some elect account state troops and also some regular recruits. So get some of these. And get some of these. This will really deter them from launching an attack. This guy does not look like he's got lightning strike. I will do anything for Sigma. Okay. That keeps... Oh, God, there goes our money. That's okay. We've also got an army down here keeping an eye on this stuff here. They will be judged. Hmm. How's things going with Marathi? Okay, so Lothurn... Well, this is humiliating for the elves. Lothurn is owned by Clan Angrand now. Which they are... How friendly are they? It's going down slowly. <coughs> Excuse me. That's fine. And Bretonia is fine and fine. Fine, fine, and fine. Good. 
Alright, that is fine there. I thought it was supposed to be an ambush desk. It doesn't seem like Marathi is going to live that much longer. She is falling to pieces. Just slowly, but she is decaying. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Next stop is, I guess, another turn. Okay, we haven't moved these guys, actually. But, uh, yeah, we've got a couple of turns without Castelton, so that's nice. Huntsman General. No lightning strike there. Huntsman General. No way you can make that attack. Let's see if I can block him. No, there's no way. What? Ready to burn them. True servant of Sigma. So some of our armies are a bit damaged. If we go into encamp stance, yeah, it helps a little bit. But yeah, there's not this massive concentration of their forces anymore. So that's good. Huntsman General! Where's my Praise be single entity? Okay, this guy here, he's in good shape. Why don't I? Okay, I got an idea. Good idea. I'm going to sneak Your him. Word is my command. I serve only the ice court. Serve I'm gonna sneak him to about here. Moving out. I go where I'm Okay, needed. so there's a decent chance he'll remain hidden, but we're gonna have an opportunity to attack Kislev. What we do is, trust no man. yeah, and then we can just bring in these other armies and disband them. Yeah. All right, these other ones go into encamp stance. So they can replenish a little bit. Move them up just a little bit. I will do anything for Sigma. My journey begins. All right, and then over here. We need to be making progress towards these settlements. So, how are we going to do that? I am prince and emperor. True servant of Sigma. Right, I think we keep Karl Franz in just regular stance and just make his way over to Tower of Crack. He should be able to handle that on his own. Onwards. Let's go. Then this Protector. army here, you're in good shape. I want you to kill this army off here. Death to the faithless. Yeah, whatever you reckon. What's the point of the runesmith and the army? Not much, but you know, you get rune magic, which gives you access to the rune of speed and rune of wrath and ruin, which you know, they're not too bad. They also increase your weapon strength in your entire army. So not, not a huge deal, but you know, deprived clan Ingrin of a hero. All right. What we need to do is just immediately charge on in so that the little groms if they're going to shoot us, they're going to get friendly fire. Good, that's it. Shoot at my wizard, because I can dodge that. Yeah, those little grom shots, they're pretty big. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Well, I got the healing off, but it shattered my hero. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Pull off. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back now. Pull back now. Not. We haven't lost the battle, but we have to be more careful now. Pull back immediately. That's a very bad start. It's a very, very bad start to this battle. Double 
We lost our fucking healer there. We're okay, we're okay. Nothing to be panicked about. We just need to be careful about how we go about the rest of this battle, that's all. Yeah, losing our healer, not good. That provides us a lot of strength. We have to be very careful now. No more half measures. The little groms are a huge problem. So that needs to be dealt with. We're okay. Come on, you gotta get out of there. We're okay. They're on force march, but they're not tired. Okay, get in there. Just had to get away from all of these infantry here. Stay in here. Yes, General. For Helden Hammer. We're okay. This is my wizard. Really sucks, but we're okay. Ready for war. Ready to smite. The Empire endures. Ready to serve. Taking position to battle. Oh Fucking buy our blood is a problem. Okay, look, if they're... Got to find out who they're targeting with the little groms. We have to waste their ammunition. Get rid of their da most dangerous units first. Hurry up. I got three little groms. Good. Every shot of theirs that we waste is a big deal. Formation, march. Take the ground. Take the ground. Curse the foe. Take position. Moving. God, they bounce right into us as well. To battle. At once. On my command. Kislev is proving to be a very difficult opponent so far. That is a lot of damage. With speed. Quick march. It's a good thing our guys have so much morale. March. Damn wizard. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I do not fear death. Damn it, this is a cornered map. Alright, I've got to waste more of that ammo. You should do it. But yeah, I need you to be the only one in range. Death 
to the faceless! Shield of faith! Ready for war! Awaiting your command! Okay, they're all gone. We're back. Because, yeah, getting to them is going to be harder than wasting their ammo. So let's do that. Okay. All of their fastest units have been defeated. So we're okay. We're okay. You can leave the battlefield. No. Fight to the end here. Let's go. Quick march. Faster. No lingering. All right. We're okay. Detachments move. Don't forget, he's still playing our music. Bounce power's in our favor. Most of what remains is infantry. Still got 12 shots left on Way easier to dodge with one than with all of them. Alright, we're okay. We're okay here. That's it. No lingering! Faster! Quick march! At speed! Going! Quickly! But yeah, seeing my wizard get sniped like that, <laughs> that, that gave me a big old panic attack. Uh, Baybeck Nam did a five pound super chat. Game on, gamer. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So if we have a look at the little Groms, that one has done 4,000 damage. We've only got 4,000. This one here has done 4,000. This one here has done 3,000. That one has. Okay. Stay in the forest then. Quickly! Sigma Shit. Oh god, I thought they gave me a different one. Without delay. Yes, General. Yes, General. Good. Hit the trees. Oh god, they freaking still hit us. No one's out of ammo, that's good. Only one more with ammo. Let's get around there. Oh wait, it's still got ammo. Still got ammo. Get back in there. Thought they had zero. Few more shots to go. Five more on that one. This gives them a chance to rest as well. We've still got some pretty healthy warrior priests. Now, when it comes to their archers, we'll probably need to waste the long range archer ammo a little bit. And really utilize soul fire as much as possible. Is he losing it? No, it's just that it's not going as well as I thought it would. We're okay. Oh, no, there's things to come back. Two shots left. Thought I was done with those bears. On, one more shot. One more shot. There it is. That's the last shot. Alright, you stay in here. You're done. For this battle, but don't leave because I need the bounce of power. Okay, at least no more little groms left. They definitely did their worth, but they could have done a lot more. Right, we still gotta destroy the little groms, because even though they've used up their ammo, they're still pretty good in melee. And still have a fair bit of bounce of power.
But against all of our guys here, don't stand a chance. Good. Got our revenge on one. So these ones here, they have done a little bit of damage. Okay. And they're glaives, so we probably want to stay out of fighting them for now. Hitting on the soul fire. That's what I'm thinking as well. Okay, I'm going to put this in control group 5. This guy... This guy's now control group 1. These are control group 2. No, that's control group 5. Where are you? No. So, control group 5. Come out over here. Control group 5 is the really damaged ones. Catch with the control group three. Okay, control group two are the ones not so badly damaged. So we want to keep control group five, uh, three, out of it for a little bit. Okay. Okay. How tired are we? Still fairly tired with our guys, which is weird. We've caught them in force march. Strelzy have done a little bit of damage. Eager for battle. With haste. As you say. Quickly now. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Charge into the Strelzy before they do a lot of damage. Pop down the bomb, get out. By the twin tails, puppet. Okay, this will work well if I keep this up. I did a decent amount of damage, mostly for free. However, we've got a unit over here. Trying to get us. Hey, we're tabbed out. <laughs> tabbed out. Okay. To battle! To battle! By all rich rough! Moving fast! This one here, so little health left. At speed! Take the ground! The Empire endures! Take position! Yeah, these are not the units that I want wasting ammunition. I could just withdraw them from the battlefield. No lingering. But you know, that's a loss of bounce of power that I don't want to. I'd rather them get wounded. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just get out of there. They get slowed down because of their wounds and bloody slow down attacks. You stay behind a little bit. To combat. Get them out. Quick march. If I can get these ones around over here, that could be good. Taking position. Move out. Going at speed. Fast. Still playing our music, so I still feel pretty hopeful. Take the ground. Overall damage on that unit's not so bad. Alright, you guys get going. But yeah, if I can get them around over here and fight that, there's definitely a unit we want to bomb because they're anti-large. So their melee attack's not that high, but the anti-large is 17, which is not too bad. Okay, move it. Nice isolated unit, and these guys are ready to roll. Taking this unit out of here is going to be a big win for us. Ready to serve.
Good, they are not doing their worth. That's exactly what we want to see. And it should shatter. Okay, time to leg it. Alright, so that ended up working out pretty well, using this one as a distraction to get one of their units lured away. Okay. This is, I'm feeling pretty hopeful now. We're, we're pretty good. But, whew, i got to be more careful about Kislev. Holy crap. Alright, wait for that to recharge. Yep. And the Streltsy is still out there. Because that'll do a ton of damage to us. More than the, uh, the Ice Guard. Quickly now! I'd love for these guys here to recover their fatigue. They're exhausted. But the problem is... Oh, look at that. They're nice and fresh. Just don't have enough time to recover. Just gonna have to go with it. Really pile on that damage reduction while they're shooting at us on the charge. Don't worry about the Cossars, they're not important. Go for the guns, because they are important. Wait until they stand back up before we pop down another bomb. if I got any items. Not yet. Actually, we might be fine to just stay in the fight now. If they keep the Ice Guard Glaives out of it, none of this is anti-large. And we'll just bomb them. This might even cause the army losses here. So they're in Force March. The enemy's on Force March. I'm not. I'm the attacker here. We got this. Bit of panic at the start. I don't think any units got wiped out. Even the wizard should be fine. So I didn't see him get knocked out. He just shattered because he took so much damage so quickly. But he should have got that regress through. He should actually be at about half health still. So just keep, keep an eye on this. When it's about to run out, that's when we pop it down. That way you can have it running constantly. Would a stack of warrior priests with heal wizard beat a stack of exalted heroes with a noble demon lord? Not that would happen, just curious in your opinion. Nope. Nope, wouldn't stand a chance against that. There we go, we've won. No, a... Exalted heroes have way more combat potential than warrior priests, and Nurgle magic is way better than life magic for healing. You just pop down one fleshy abundance, overcast it, everyone's fully healed. There we go. Oof, we could have lost that battle. So we should see that the... Yeah, the wizard's okay. He's fine. No one got wiped out. We're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we took out a pretty important army. Would you win if the priests weren't on horseback? Um, hard to say, because if they were, weren't on horseback... 
the little Groms wouldn't have been able to shoot them when I was in combat. So it's hard to say. But yeah, losing my wizard early on the battle, real bad. Because we could have walked out of this with nearly full health. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Right, no replenishment. If I land here, take attrition. Praise be to Sigma. Then there's this one here. Can't let that get away. And she's not going to. Yeah, this guy's got the easy job. The Empire. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Ever onward. Bring me to my men. All right. Yep, that's all fine there. Affirmative. They will be judged. All right. I think that's the end of my movements for this turn. This will bolster the nation. All right. Looking at how things are going now, they have sixty-one settlements remaining. So we've taken away ten regions from them. We've. How's their strength ranking though? Still number one, but we're catching up. Champion of the faith. So yeah, I'd be curious to see what happens over here over the end turn. I kind of really want them to attack Bechafen. Bechafen, I don't know. Our paths have crossed. This guy is just a scout for us. Seek out the heretics. March really important the we can see what's going on out here. The Empire. So these ones here, I'm not sending them anywhere near an army. They're going to turn back around and come up to the easy area up here where there's just, there's just no armies for them to deal with. Easy pickings. Low-hanging fruit. Okay. Check on Zinch, as always. See what's going on. Bothers me how Thorek is doing such a bad job of this. He could have easily finished off Zinch. Did you sack that? I don't know. There was an army there. What are you doing, Thorek? Get on with it. Good to see that Krokgar is gaining ground out here. That is good to see. Got to pay attention to this over here. I don't need that anymore. Oh, death. Yeah, after we're done with um, Katarin, I'll definitely go to war with Tlacqua, but just not right now. Okay, moving on. These are from the settlements that we sold off to Katarin. I forgot to build them back up again. Okay, cool. Moving on. Yep. 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 <laughs> what are we doing? Yep. The new patch notes 4.2.1 now out. They made it easier to clear out the changeling. Yeah, well, that's of little use to me now since I've already cleared out the changeling, but that's good to know for future campaigns. This is another reason why I didn't want to go to War with Tlaqua. I want them to keep fighting Zinch, because I don't want to fight Zinch at all. I'm glad I don't have to fight the Demon Prince. I don't want to fight more. They just keep switching their armies around.
Yeah, it looks like they want to try to take on my, my two piece of crap armies, and I will... Yeah, any armies that go up in the north, that's fine. It's the ones in the south I'm most worried about. Castelton's already back. So she's excuse me. <laughs> she's not at war with the Hans Marshall expedition. So what we do here is don't worry about our armies up in the north too much. Just keep taking the territory away, giving it to the Hans Marshall expedition. She can't reclaim it. Eventually, her armies will have to stand and fight or disband because their finances are going to drip away. Also, another thing with Kislev, every single time we take out an iron resource, all of her global upkeep cost goes up. So really important, we grab those iron resources, take it away from her. Especially considering she doesn't have supply lines, so it's especially um, crucial for them to get iron resource. Which, if I look at this, there should be two iron resources in Norska. There's one over here, which is kind of Norska. So I think she's got about three or four iron resources. There might be one over here somewhere. Did you go... Sorry, did you already go over there... The patch notes at Legend of War. No fix for the Chaos Dwarf tech tree in notes. Yeah, I know. I saw that. <laughs> Wait. Sorry, not Chaos Dwarf. Just Chaos tech tree. Ch undivided Chaos, yeah. Okay, cool. Another turn where they didn't do anything. Mm, that's fine. Do not waste my potential. So, it's only 300 income from here. Not a big deal to take this off them, but it all adds up. Better in our hands than hers. It shall be done. Okay, I need to bring some of these guys over. We've got heaps of witch hunters. And if they want to continuously wound our witch hunters, that's fine. It's just a swarm of intel. Because, yeah, the AI, they don't have Fog of War. Yes. They can see where all of your armies are. Alright, these two will head over to Fortress of the Damned. There's actually a walled settlement, so that's interesting. It's only a walled settlement for um, Warriors of Chaos, but apparently not. I see Sigmar's hand in this. Yep. I go yep, it's fine. His name. It's okay to take a turn of attrition, I think. Moving off! It's fine. Show me the accused. Is that where heretics lurk? Seek out the heretics. And Shagrath has to be sold Do immediately. Do not assume that a hunter does not understand negotiation. All right. There we go. Well, for the first time in a while, he doesn't want to confederate. Look. The Emperor's thing is, I could just threaten him. Actually, that would be really bad if. It's fine. There was one army that went into ambush stance. Yeah, I saw it. It was right there, and they got pulled out of ambush stance. So it's fine. Awaiting orders. So there's still an army sitting over here. Can we reach that one? Praise be to Sigma. No. Well, at least Castelton is up here now, where it is not near our core territory. Good to see that that one decided to back off. It is forbidden. Got Petonia coming in to assist. Ready to serve. This guy needs to get back on land and not take attrition. Guided by Sigma. Oh. Your word is my command. Right. Maybe he's in hostile waters. Awaiting orders. No, he isn't. In his name. Okay, that was weird. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. I'll freeze off your fingers. By the comet. Rip. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. 
warrior of Sigma. All right. I will do anything for Sigma. I command. Carl France is just about fully recovered. So what I want to do here so, is give Tower of Crack over to Ostland and get them to go to war with the Ice Court as well. We Empire. should be able to auto this. But we won't give them to it this turn, because otherwise I'll be taking attrition, so stay there for just one turn, I think. Because I don't think we're going to get to counterattack. And even so, that army doesn't seem that dangerous compared to what we could potentially have been going up against. Step to it! Tools of judgment ready. Forward. Okay. In his name. So I want these two to stay here and keep fighting against Kislev while Karl Franz goes in and just rips apart Norska. See, once we've taken the Bay of Blades, I could send this army to Longship Graveyard. As long as there's sufficient intel, which so far seems pretty good. Show me the accused. Yeah, keep just keep an eye on them. Okay, her strength ranking is just about equal to us now. See, I really want to attack Kislev, but I don't want there to be a massive counterattack right afterwards. It's probably three full stacks there, essentially. Servant of the faith. This army's not that good. All right, over here. Protector of the weak. Okay, just slowly make our way through. That way we get more replenishment, because I'll give Karak Flag away. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. <laughs> wow, he's got a lot of money in the bank. Yeah, he's at war with them, so I don't need to... Oh, hang on, what if I... What if I asked for a different settlement for this? Does it really matter? I don't think it does. Yeah, just... The only one I want is Ostermark, the one settlement that I actually can't trade. Is a Vekafin. Indeed. All right. Oh, my money. Yes, my lord. It is for the best. Seek out the heretics. Good. There's just nothing out here. Easy pickings. It's not worth much, but tradable resources are worth a fair bit because it increases their global incomes. If we have a look at what that is here, we can see. Uh, it says minus 17, but we have to keep in mind this is a minus 50 region for them. So if we have a look at a different region. I serve only the ice court. Plus 65%, because there's other bonuses in there as well. The Empire. Right. Does Marcus not want to confederate due to the strength ranking? Maybe you need to stop feeding him. Uh, no, it's probably because um, he's recently expanded. So if I just give it seven turns between an expansion, he'll want to confederate. Don't worry about Marcus. It'll be fine. It's not going to be an issue. It also could be the fact that I'm at war with a very powerful enemy and he is not. It fluctuates. Don't worry about Marcus. I will do anything for Sigma. Okay, now that we're in encamp stance again. Praise be to Sigma. Get back up to full strength so we can march up here a bit quicker. That's good. They will be judged. So they might still come over here and occupy Karak Vlag, but what we're doing here is we're spreading their forces out everywhere. Wesman, subscribe for nine months. Have you watched? Sorry, have your witch hunters found those snowmen they trust in Kislev yet? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Alright, I'm thinking, why don't we take out Igorov? There's an army sitting there. I just can't reach it from here. If I could just manage to get through this turn in ambush dance, I could bring in one of these armies to support Force March, and that'll be fine. These ones here just stay here. Actually, stay here in ambush dance again. 
See if they strike it off the mark. Oh, hang on. Some of these guys are still a bit damaged. The land provides ambush positions. Ever vigilant. Your word is my command. Your word is my command. Yeah, that's fine. All right. And we need some intel over here. I think they sent an army there. Yep. But they keep just switching back and forth, being indecisive about it, and that's fine. That is fine. Becca Fanny is currently poorly defended. Yeah, if they want to keep a concentration of force here, we'll just gut their economy elsewhere. So their number of settlements now is at 58. Cool. Alright, any new enemies? Nope. Okay, check the core spots we need to look at. Yep, this all looks good from this angle. They will be judged. This all looks good. Just need to make sure that Zinch isn't making some surprise attack somewhere. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've moved all of our armies. Let me just check over here. So Shard Bastion will be sold. These need to move over to Silver Tower Sorceresses. Sorcerers. So that's worth a fair bit of money. Deprive Katarin of that. Yes. I trust no man. It is time. Show me the accused. Tools of judgment ready. By the silver hammer, yes. They will be judged. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Looking good. Unthinkable. Now. Yes, blessed is this action. Okay. Oracles of Zinch are getting pretty weak. That's good to see. That must be their last army. For now, I mean, they'll recruit some more. That's why we need them to be a bit more aggressive, finish them off, at least take out this side here. You need to get about 2.1 billion gold for the overflow to go. Yeah, look, there's no risk of overflowing. Okay. What on earth are they doing? <laughs> well, that worked out very nicely. And now their armies are stuck here. Fantastic. Oh, you couldn't have asked for a better result out of that. <laughs> Good stuff. This war is so far going pretty well. Can we suicide? No, no, they got ambushed. One of my, a couple of my armies were in ambush stance. They were going in for the attack. They didn't see them. I gotta be careful. What's this? Kislev armies are very strong. Huge concentration of force there. Why did none of their armies enforce? Was it an ambush? Yeah, it said it was ambushed. And the other two armies came in because that guy was coming in to launch an attack on somebody that they could see, but they didn't see the other one that they couldn't see. They ambushed him. And in an ambush situation, your allies don't reinforce. Now there's two stacks there. When I have, you know, six stacks. Well, obviously I can only bring them four at a time. And we'll just get rid of them. Because one of them's on force march. They can't run away. Yeah, she's every single turn she is losing more forces than she can possibly recover from. 
Why isn't there armies on the minimap? You have to click this and it shows the armies uh, during your turn. So depending on what tab you've got on, the minimap has different um, pins on it. The AI has no fog of war. It doesn't have fog of war, but it if you go into ambush stance, it doesn't see it. That's why ambush stance is so powerful. It's how you can hide from the AI, despite the fact they can see everything. So something's going on over here. Just joined a bit late. How did Awesome Mark drop to 9 fealty? Don't worry about their fealty. I know how to cheese fealty very easily. Don't worry about it. It's super easy. When I want to confederate them, it'll be fine. Remember what we did at Whistleland? We'll just do the same thing. Doesn't matter in the slightest. Alright, we're back to full strength here. Just make sure that they're not recruiting any armies here. Let's go to Karak Dum Dum. Chaos Waste Attrition. Oh, no, it's not. It's Storm. Well, if we don't march by regular march, we are going to not be able to make it there in time. Before these ones arrive. So, yeah, they got two armies sitting around here. Yeah, we're a little bit damaged. A little bit. Make sure this one makes the attack. You go into encamp stance. Here. Or, hang on. There. Combat awaits! Okay, any units that get wiped out, just, it doesn't matter because they're so easy to replace. This is what we our ability for. to replace our troops is much better than hers. Especially shit units. I'll still just get. Ah, oh, no, get rid of good. good, taking those two full stacks out there should mean <laughs> she wants peace, <laughs> but we're now stronger than her. What orders? So Sigma this war not going so well for Katarun. And the army that was there is no longer there anymore. Maybe it's on ambush dance. I didn't see it go anywhere. Your word is my command. My journey begins. Hmm. Must have been imagining things. Good. Core Kislevite territory being taken away. Who calls? All right, where do we want to go? Six hundred. So that one's got salt there. Let's deprive her of salt. By Sigma's right. Tools of judgment ready. And then hand that over. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. Empire's blessings, yes. All right, good stuff. Then over here. The Empire. How many of them I have lightning strike? No higher power than I. Katarin's on a war bear. I imagine what happened is that Katarin was at level 50, or at, was it like level 40, before the patch 4.2 went through. And so even though she has the mount in her skill tree, she didn't switch it automatically. I think that's what's happened. Let us begin. Seek out the heretics. So? Very well, I'll move. All right, Shard Bastion, hand what it over. What do you bring before the scouts of the Empire? Good. Agreed. He doesn't want to confederate anymore, Legend. 
to the provinces by Sigma's right. Blasphemy! All right, so what I think I'll do is stay right on the edge of Katarin's possible place that she can attack and see what she does. If she lightning strikes us, good. Her funeral. If she doesn't, and they bring all four in, then I can back off and not worry about a really tough fight. If it seems like that's going to be the case. Like, this is my strongest hero stack. But uh, we'll see how we go. Meanwhile, Geltz just goes take on the easy targets out here. Iron, there's an iron resource, right? But she didn't build the iron there, so she doesn't get the reduced upkeep cost. I bet she did over here. Ready. Man, the AI is dumb. They will be judged. I really, trust no really dumb. Protector of the weak. Keep your own counsel. I'll freeze off your fingers. To untamed lands. Sir, tense up. Alright, let's have a look around here. Fire? Moving would be wise. The trees tell me much. Let's get it done. Move out. Okay, it looks like we can maybe make the attack on Zavastra and then just disband this army. And then because I won't need it anymore. Flame on. So on march. Okay. And these ones here. Huntsman General. Move into position so that you're ready to strike a Kislev next turn. There is not enough force left to repel us. But just like in previous turns, we need to merge quite a few of these armies. So merge this one. And replace the units. Merge. And replace the units. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I serve the Heldenhammer. Okay, good stuff. Where next? Good, good stuff. Warrior and yeah, you can stay at Eager off for the turn. That's fine. Good, 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 good. This is going really nice. All right, so there's an army sitting around over here. Champion good, we've the mostly recovered. Summon the Elector Counts. All right, Carl Franz, probably gonna need to go through here and encamp stance. Uh, maybe he can spend one turn taking attrition. That should be fine. Raise your weapons. In fact, if you force march, we'll be able to take it next turn. There's there's no one here, so it's fine. Okay, Tower of Crack needs to be given to Ostland. And I want them to go to war with the Ice Court now as well. Is that all the money you've got? Come on, you get more than this. So be it. Okay, good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right. True servant of Sigma. Sigma lightens my steps. We should be in range to strike my at Fort Stragov next turn. Is that where heretics lurk? Yeah, if she can attack me, I should be able to attack them. She'll likely run away. Or she'll attack us. Does she have lightning strike? I no. Only the ice Probably not. Show me the accused. Good. All right, she is down to 57 settlements. By the silver hammer, yes. Show me the accused. I will march. All right, we're men. ripping it to pieces now. Seems like uh, seems like they want in on this action a little bit, and that's fair enough. If they can help me out by taking out an enemy, like a full stack, then that's oh, yeah. fine. Wow. I was hoping that Cataran would focus on. Albion and actually damage a future enemy, but no, she put all of her effort into attacking me. But that's fair enough. All right, all of this seems fine. I went. That's what happened. He keeps getting wounded by this hero. Weak. Be quick about it. She's getting close to wanting peace. Then down here, just making sure Zinch isn't pulling any shenanigans, which doesn't seem to be. I mean, he's really got his hands full dealing. How did that happen? Hmm, whatever. 
Yeah, they really got their hands full dealing with all the lizards and dwarfs. Tools of judgment ready. That army seems to be leaving. Yeah, they caught a whiff of Rapants coming in. I serve the Helden Haber. Okay. I'm not at war with Tlaqua, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, that's all we need to do this turn. Just check for. Yep. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm sure there's still some tough fights to be had. But I guess they're getting all their armies together to sort this out. We also need to check that our relation with this one is not too bad. It's still going down. Still going down, but it's not that bad. Still going down, but it's not that bad. They're not likely to cancel any treaties just yet. Okay, that's fine with those two. Who do you want me to kill? I'm probably not going to do that, but okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Yep. No one's in a vulnerable position. No, it's all looking good. If all goes well, this army will and stay at Kislev or just run the hell away. We'll capture Zavastra and Kislev next turn. That that will really cripple them. Yeah. Once they've lost all of Kislev proper, none of this stuff here matters. They're just nowhere near as good stuff. Like they're making hundreds of gold, whereas these are thousands. So we'll have to start disbanding armies. The loss of Karak Vlag for our team would be fine. They'll probably sack it anyway. Moving on. What? The nation calls. Seek out the heretics. The nation calls. I trust no man. Who calls? Yes. Show me the accused. What? Speak. I will hear you now. <laughs> Be warned, my mood is dark. It's like, how about we not go to war anymore? No, no, I got you now. You've been played. I want all of it. All of it's mine. Alright, what are they going to do? They're going to try to hold on to Kislev proper. They failed there. Okay. Oh, well, looks like they're going to attempt it. Let's see if this is going to be worth fighting. Is she going to use Lightning Strike? I don't think she's got it. Ooh, decisive defeat. One little Grom, two little Groms, no little Groms, three little Groms in total. No flying units. Well, I got flying units. Lacking missile units there. These are anti-infantry. Yeah, we got a lot of winds of magic. That's great. Decisive defeat, though. That's what I'm really concerned about. 52 million defensive gum up. Anti infantry. Don't spam in the chat, please. These units here won't count for anything. The biggest problem is going to be single entities like these ones, not these. Frostworms shouldn't be a concern at all. We've seen how silly they are. This third army here is shit. Two legendary lords versus two legendary lords. 110 wins of magic. I mean, she's going to have a lot of death frost. I'm going to do it. Alright, here we go. 
She didn't bring all four armies, which is what I thought she would. So I'm going to do it. This is These are my strongest armies. These are the ones that, in order... Like, they only would struggle against Marathi with mass amounts of damage. We've got a good amount of healing. They, don't, they lack missile units to knock us out. We've got flying goon squad to take out the little groms. We're going to fight in the trees, so all their large units fight like shit. We've got battle prayers that are just... Mwah. We've got a lot on our side. We've got a lot on our side here. And we've got a Mortis Engine, the Nordland Rune Fang. Okay. Faith is my shield for the twin tailed comet. Flash shimmering for Helden Hammer. I'm leaving room for Boris there. Actually, the other. Okay, no, that'll be fine. Problem with this spot here is that we're on a little bit of a low ground. Just a little bit. Oh, you want to do that, do you? That's a bit of damage resistance. So that would have cost her how much wins of magic? So my flying goon squad, their job is... Where's my other wizard? There it is. your ward save like 21% okay bit nervous about this. It, I think the frost worms disrupting our units a ton is going to be a bit of an issue. Yes, sir, quickly. At speed. Little Grom's dangerous against single entities. Very dangerous. Very friggin' dangerous. Honestly, having time to just generate Winds of Magic is fine. We've got way more than they do. Way more. Toddy's got regen on his own due to the Midland Rune Fang. So, that for some reason, they're just not attacking. They're the attacker in this scenario here. They have to attack. They've also got an ice elemental bear thing. It's not that big of a deal. Ready! Okay, little Grom's are targeting him. No 
I'm not trying to waste their ammo, it's just seeing if I can get in there. I don't have any fireballs. I don't want to waste Katarin's magic. I don't know what... Okay, I think they're playing it like this because they've got artillery and we don't. So they're like, they feel like they can just do this. Everybody gets healing with that. I think, I think someone just got hit with the cannonball there. Yeah, they did. Come back. Alright, I think we need to use up their ammo to get them to advance on us. Okay, another change of plans. I want to move this force up to here. I want to move them to there. I think this is a better forest. Whoops. Have to waste their ammo then. It's okay, Boris gets his a little bit with this. So yeah, I want my flying goon squad to be taking out... Shit, what happened there? I think one of their rocks hit the trees and hit them. <laughs> it's not good. Alright, taking out the little Grom's ammunition, having them done minimal amount of damage. Not no damage, but minimal. Is good. The fact that there's another full stack coming in. Actually, the easiest full stack is the one that's in reserve. I don't think they got hit. I think they were just in danger of being hit. Ammo looks pretty low. Yeah, four shots left. Then they should advance. I don't want to risk going over there with my wizards and getting freaking killed. Still generating loads of wins. Okay, they're out of ammo. And she's using Death Frost upgraded, which. Prefer it if she, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. This is it, this is it. Oh. She's constantly using Death Frost. Damn it. Doesn't have unlimited wins, I don't think. Damn it, Toddy's already used up all of his regen. So Katarin's a big problem. I would love to snipe her, but I gotta wait for the other armies to be engaged first. How healthy is everyone here? Pretty healthy. Advancing slowly. Does fire damage not blocked by fire modification? Uh, f flame resistance, yes, which we don't have any of. Ready. Yes, General. Just want to land on Katarin and beat the living shit out of her. They've seen us, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. And now we see what happens. I mean... Here we go. A lot of single entities. We need to freaking kill Katarin. 
speed! They're still being skittish about getting in here. Okay, if they come in one at a time like this, that is perfect. Okay, taking out an incarnate elemental of beasts that easily, really good. Really, really good. There are still more, and also that was all of our buffs. Well, some of our buffs. Okay, maybe take out these heavy war slits with them. Okay, we got a dude over here that's pretty badly damaged. He needs a regrowth. just in time. They can handle it. quite well. Everything's okay. They're playing our music, but still a lot of enemy reinforcements to go. Be. 
Not yet, went for a bigger bomb. Delton, I don't know if he's in there. Can't see him. Oh, this one here. Well, that would be okay. There's Costelton. Everyone needs to focus on him. of reinforcements to come in. Katarin's in melee, which that's good. Toddy's having a hard time. I gotta get him out of there. Mm, I'll have to get him out of there. He's really in the thick of it. Okay, looks like we just took out Katarin. It looks like we've got this. Everything's looking okay here. Tells below. Yeah, I just didn't want to waste it on, on like single entities. It doesn't do much damage to it. Loads of single entities in this fight. Okay, get this guy out of here if you could. Okay, my warrior priests have finished. I gotta get the... Uh, the Empire Captain's out of the shit now. Let's go here. Just just go sit over there. You're out. For now. Same thing with Toddy. You're done. Get out. Toddy, get out. You've taken too much damage. Oh, they're shooting at my wizards. Toddy can't get out. He's too big. If he gets wounded, he should recover pretty quickly. But yeah, my Empire Captains, they're falling apart, because they're not as strong as these guys. Alright, try to pull all of them out, that might be easier than trying to just pull one out. Toddy's out. This one here is having a bit of trouble though. Oh, he's out. Okay, yeah, you can leave the battlefield if you want. You go. Go for it. Still got a couple of guys in here, but they're actually in decent shape, so that's okay. Then 
that these guys have a bit of a rest. Come over here. Oh, that one might actually get wounded. Yeah, get rid of this bloody light wall slate. How much damage has that done? Probably thousands. Yeah, it does. Okay, that guy got away. That's good. Yeah, you should get away as well. Toddy. Uh, yeah, you get away. It's fine. Ooh, this one here's in bad shape. I need to get over there and heal him. Alright, all their reinforcements have come in. So that's a good sign. Yeah, we would not have been able to take on four armies, I think. But three? Seems like we can manage. Alright, all of this infantry and shit coming in here. That is just asking for a dwellers below. Good. Okay, yeah, we use them to take out the straggler uh, sleds out this way. We won. Army lost them. Whew. The Empire. Oh hell no! Go out of here, Frostworm. Hell no! <laughs> Don't let it get away. They've just got to get that last little bit of a fuck you in there, don't they? Whew. That was a bit of a concern, but it wasn't wasn't tough. It just didn't know how that one was going to end. Wouldn't it be more effective to use regrowth to heal badly damaged units? Yes, if something is particularly badly damaged, but it's actually more efficient to use, in this situation here, Earth Blood because of Life Bloom. So, Earth Blood only costs us three wins of magic because both of our lords have got um, Yuan Bo's defeat trait. So, every time that we use any spell whatsoever, it'll trigger Life Bloom, which will affect everyone on the battlefield by 1% health. So, when you've got 40 units, what's 40 times 1? Essentially a 40% heal, you know, across the rest of the battle. So it's actually, it's, it is more efficient to use um, Earthblood. Like, you'll still get Life Bloom even if you use Regrowth, but it is more expensive of a spell. She is never going to financially recover from this. For one thing, she's wounded, so she can't be active for a little bit, and her army is absolutely decimated. We should be in encamp stance, so it shouldn't take us too long to recover from this damage. See, if I pop this down, this guy over here, you know, he gets a little bit of a heal. Plenty of bat magic, now he's both. Yeah, I need to get over here and heal him. The warrior priests are pretty much all at maximum heal, so it's all for the... Um, I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Now, we don't want to overcast it because the cooldown will take longer. Plus, we might miscast and hurt our wizards. Huh? It must be somewhere else. What happened to the lemon streaming site? Uh, so that's D Live. D Live got bought out by someone I can't remember who, and made a bunch of changes. And basically, all like eighty percent of the user base left, and it basically just became a site for gambler streamers. So I left. The 
Yeah, DLive's one of those examples of a site that had a lot of potential and then just sold. Made hundreds of millions, millions, I know. Just got bought out by a billion dollar company and then just cashed out to the bank. And so when they did that, I was like, okay, you know, had a good run here, but it's over. It happens. It happens. How is this battle not over yet? Okay, that'll do. Is it kick now? No, DLive is still around. Soul Week, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Oh boy, that was a big fight. We got a few big fights today. Am I being gaslighted or what? Does fire damage ignore physical resistance? No, fire damage does not ignore physical resistance. Fire damage, the only thing it does is do extra damage to units that have weakness to fire. That's it. Fire attacks are not that good because there are very few units in the game that even have fire weakness. Like, for example, you'd think that ice units have fire weakness. No. <laughs> so fire attacks do no additional damage to Frostworms, what they do do is units that are currently regenerating, if they're under flaming attack, they will regenerate half as quickly. Uh, but there's a lot of units in the game that have fire strength. So for example, Chaos Dwarves with their Black Shard armor, it's like 25% fire strength. Using flaming attacks against Chaos Dwarves will actually weaken your attacks. So in many cases, flaming attacks is detrimental. It's not as detrimental as it was in Warhammer 2, but it is still there. Azulo did a 2.49 Euro Super Chat. Hi, what in your top three funnest factions and why? Um, I don't really have a top three, but I'm just going to say Corn is probably the most fun for me. Uh, just because I, I just like being really aggressive in my campaigns, and that's what I get to do. Appreciate you. Okay. So, so, what I mean by fire does nothing to ice. So, kiss. you'd think that a lot of these, like, ice bears and frost worms would be weak against fire, but they're not. One more fun than Skaven. In Warhammer 3, I think so. In Warhammer 2, Skaven was number one. But I don't know. I play Skaven in Warhammer 3, and I'm just like, eh. The AI just doesn't throw enough armies for me. At me. Because <laughs> I like to just... That's how you make food, is by devouring shitloads of armies, enemy armies. But they just don't throw enough at you. They've sort of toned down a lot of the Skaven cheeses, which, fair enough, but kind of makes them... Just not as good as in Warhammer 2. Like, it's still fun, don't get me wrong. It's still great in Warhammer 3. But I prefer them in Warhammer 2. So it looks as though we didn't get Katarin's defeat trait. Is that right? Because that was definitely the first time we fought it. Look at that, we're at full strength. Did we not get Katarin's defeat trait for Volkmar? No. Malekith, he reached his max... Max skills there. Oh well. Not that that would have mattered that much. Let us begin. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Okay, this should be fine. We'll, we'll have plenty of time to recover. There's no enemies on the way. I trust no man. Not likely. All right. Looking good. So Katarin now has 
56 settlements. But her armies are getting absolutely demolished. Yeah, Toddy takes a little bit longer to regenerate. Oh, that's nice of you, Ostland. You're going to do that? No, let me do it for you. <laughs> I didn't think that I should go be aggressive to Katarin. What does the Emperor bid? Into the fray! <laughs> and once I've captured this, I don't need this army anymore, so I'll just disband it. Battle positions! This is ours now. I'm pretty sure there's a bug that they fixed it in 4.2. What was the bug Sir? that they fixed in 4.2? Sigma's god, Ulrich. Zavastra. Oh. You really have no money. Well, there's ways to find money. On it. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you want of me? Onwards. Yeah, sorry, I'm just not sure what bug you you mean. Protector of the right, Karak Doom. Tools of judgment ready. They didn't take Karak Vlag, they're stuffing Show around. Keep this guy here, keeping an eye on Seek stuff. Where's that go? Oh yeah. Your word is my command. Do you think Gotrick and Felix? So reinforcing lords getting a legendary lord defeat trait. No, 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 dude, no. Katarin attacked. Um, uh, sorry, Katarin attacked Volkmar, when we didn't get her defeat trait. Neither Boris Toddbringer nor Volkmar got the defeat trait. Uh, defeat trait. But um, Toddbringer was the reinforcing lord. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. He's had his cap. He's got 40 traits. I'm sure if I download the mod and show you, it'll show you 40 traits. It shall be done. It shall be done. All right. Good stuff. To the provinces. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, there's no armies down here. Anyway, this one here would be out of handle. You know, one stack sent against him. Toddy got it? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He got victory over Kislev, not victory over Katarin. Look. Victory over Kislev. Achieve victory over Kislev multiple times. The last time he got a trait was Hag Butcher. Defender of the faith. The nation calls. Good. Praise be to Sigma. True servant of Sigma. Champion of the faith. So rather than wait for them to replenish, just recruit new ones. What orders? By Sigma. And then we'll hand that over to Ostermark. This is why we didn't confederate Ostermark. I live to serve All right, this looks like Protector it's time to capture Kislev. anything for Sigma. The Empire! The fact that they're starting to recruit here. Yeah, we definitely want to put a stop to that. My Sigma. Why do you think they put in a traits cap? Uh, I think they put in a traits cap because they like to limit how much fun people have. <laughs> um, it's probably... 
Look, I don't know, but I can suspect the, the main reason is to save on, like, storage space. Like, the more things that the game has to remember, the more likely it is to crash. And so, the, and like, the more memory that is required for your computer. So that what they do is they limit the amount that each value can hold so that you don't blow out the number into ridiculous numbers so that the... the, the um, um, so your save files don't blow out of proportion, I guess. That's the only reason I can come up with. I don't think that they would have done it because they thought that would make the game better. Especially given how many, like, totally rubbish traits there are. Champion of the faith. Sigmar is with us. Thanks for the clarification clarification for fire damage. Like three people trying to reassure me that fire damage bypasses physical resistance. No, well they're wrong. Okay, I'll tell you what bypasses physical resistance, magical attacks. That's it. So you can have magical fire attacks. So for example, Sisters of Avalon have magical fire attacks. It bypasses physical resistance, but not because of fire. It's because of the magical attacks. So that's way way to think about it. Magic bypasses physical. Nothing bypasses ward save. Fire does extra damage to units weak to fire, and less damage to units strong to fire. If your attack doesn't say anything, then it means it's physical. That means physical resistance blocks it. If your unit doesn't have much armor piercing, then armor will block it. Armor bypasses armor. Sorry, armor piercing bypasses armor. No there is nothing in the game that bypasses ward save. It's completely... Praise impenetrable. This is why if you can get someone to 90% ward save, it's rare if it's possible. 90% ward save makes them practically unkillable the because it blocks flaming attacks, missile attacks, magic attacks, everything. Pyrrhic victory? Oh well. <laughs> Worth it. Just human wave here, just to True obliterate their friggin' armies and, and cities. This is going very nicely. She's really weak now. Ever vigilant, I serve the Heldenhammer. I go where I'm needed. Champion of the faith. Yeah, don't let him run off and pick up some more reinforcements from somewhere. That's pretty good for the small bat scale battle. So what's the point of fire damage apart from things weak to fire? That's all it's useful for. This is why I never prioritize flaming attack. That and units that regenerate. So for example, if a unit like a Vargulf is regenerating and you attack it with fire, it'll regenerate half as much. If you use flaming attacks to Vlad, his regeneration is halved. So flaming attacks are good against Vlad. Unless, of course, he has fire resistance, in which case you would only use a little bit of flaming attack just to apply the effect. That's it. Just slows down the rate of regeneration if, a, if something is on fire. That is all it does. Tools of judgment ready. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Kislev. Honored to serve. And these, uh, these settlements are looking pretty damn abandoned now. I trust no Their armies must be elsewhere. Hunt them out! I command here. Do we not have any scouting up this way? Fight for our nation! Uh, is there a reason why the quality on your Twitch stream today seems to be lower than the days before? I have no idea why, sorry. I don't... I didn't change any settings. I have no idea what happened. Let me just... Let me have a quick look and see if I can change that. Because I don't know what happened. Does anyone know how... If I could just, like, put a, um... An effect to make it. It says it's unstable. Average stream bitrate too high. Let, let me try something. I'm just gonna stop the the Twitch uh, stream for like five seconds, and see if I can just tweak it a little bit.
Right, so with that Twitch, let me know if that's made any difference. Ten eighty now. I didn't change any settings. I just turned it off and on again. Yes, for now. All right. All right. Cool. Whatever. Sigmarite Arch Lector, servant of the faith, cast evil out. Looks like I'll have to fight this manually because I doubt that other army is going to um improve that order resolve much, but that's okay. This doesn't look difficult apart from the little groms. One army's not going to beat two. Protector of the weak. By Sigma. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that saves time. Shit. Legend of an IT crowd enjoyer. Who isn't? Of course I'm an IT crowd enjoyer. By the comet. Champion of the faith. I serve no master. Right. Yes, Go to Fort Ostrov next turn. Okay. Awaiting orders. Let's bring our guys up. Oh. anything for Sigma. Your word is my command. Force march him back down I over here a little bit. The Helden Hammer. Huntsman General. Not possible. Ready to serve. Nice. <laughs> Real Secret nice the there. That is going very well. Actually, you really need to come back over this way. We don't have enough scouting in this area. Real good. Alright, how would we go over here? Right, we haven't done this stuff yet. Show me the accused. The righteous hammer of Sigma. By Sigma. Alright, let's see if we can make it to the city. Force over here. Good, we've got another helm of discord. That's always good. So yeah, there was one army that didn't quite make it to the fight. And this was the remnant of that other one. They're taking attrition because there's chaos waste up here. Look at all these damn heroes. I doubt we'll be able to auto resolve the whole way to the Fortress of the Damned, but let's just see how we go. It would be good if we could, because that'll allow us to wipe out this army here. Okay, I'm good. Orders. Yes, a sound. Point. I will probably have to fight this manually. I doubt I'll be able to order resolve it. Yeah, I didn't think so. But there's nothing about this is dangerous. It's just that we're. Our bounce power has been tanked because of all the damage, which we'll recover before we even go in there. So, shouldn't take too long, but I gotta fight it manually. But yeah, the degree to which we have just ruined all of her armies, holy crap, I didn't expect to do it this quickly. Do you think the new Kislev units help Boris early game by much? Yeah, I think so, because yeah, he, he really has some lacking in terms of roster at the start. Zinch finally got a hero for replenishment rate with a new patch. Yeah, do you remember that about... Oh, it's probably about two years now, there was like a um, 
a the original roadmap for Warhammer 3 and on that roadmap it said replenishment update for Zinch and Slanesh. It only took two years to get it. <laughs> it only took two years. That's not so bad. Alright. What kind of defense? Yeah, no defenses here. So this is easy. It's easy. Just gotta heal. Your damage. Is All right, let's get a bit organized. Control group one, control group two, control group three, control group four, five. Oh my god, look at all these control groups. Doesn't make sense to sit here with this many damage units when they're just sitting there. Get some replenishment in us. Take the most damage units out, focus on them. Hey, hey, we got a tech with 5% replenishment in the Zinch tree in one patch. Yo, yo, oh, 5%! Whoa! Rolling in 5%. Who eats so? Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the six. No, it's dude. Yeah, I didn't know why that happened, but I thought, you know, just turn it off and on again, see what happens. And it worked. Finally managed to make my Prime work. Well, I appreciate it. So all their reinforcements are in. Oh, okay. This one's actually f fully healed now. Okay, warrior priests, let's get going. So with them, we don't go through the gate, we climb up on the walls, because it doesn't really matter that much if they get tired, and they fight really well up on the walls anyway. Okay, some of these guys here should be pulled out. Fleet footed. Do you know how quickly you can get these guys up on the wall as well? So quick. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Control group seven should go into control group four. And control group six should go into control group five.
Andrew Matthews, 421, subscribe to Prime. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, nothing to be too worried about, I think. How bad would be Empire without Jade Wizards? Way lower potential? Oh, so much lower. Holy crap. Yeah. Given the power creep that's happened, if they didn't have Jade Wizards... Yeah, that would not be very... Uh, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, it's... I don't know. Luckily, they do have them. Alright, I need to go and kill that little Grom over there with the Flying Goon Squad. Kislev has no flying units. Every faction is missing something. So you've got like... Slanesh has no ranged units. Um, Skaven have no flying units. S Sorry, did I say Slanesh? Slanesh has no missile units, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, Kislev's got no flying units. Dwarfs have no monsters or cavalry. No fast units, I should say, apart from flying ones. And the Empire, they don't have any good units. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they got good units. Alright, let's bring them in, start using some magic. Empire doesn't have any wizard lords. They'll be, I reckon they'll be getting that in the next DLC. I'd be very surprised if they didn't get that. Ugh, God, I hate listening to Empire Captain's voice. It's like they got freaking Mickey Mouse to bloody voice act him. Four, subscribe Prime. Thanks, dude. I don't know if I read that out before, but appreciate Ready that. We're at 941 subs, guys. Only 59 to go for 1,000. Which okay. doesn't matter if we don't get it, but I'm just saying.
to smite. For Helden Hammer! Here we go over here. Good to get out. Okay, we're going to be taking out things that are too quick for our foot troops to deal with. Alright, I'm going to take them out and put them into control group 3. Yep, that makes sense. Offering battle prayers. Curse the Technically, Gilt is a wizard lord for the Empire. Yeah, but no generic wizard lords for the Empire, obviously. I reckon the DLC will bring in generic ones. With all eight laws of magic, including metal. Maybe not metal, because... Otherwise, Gilt's... Well, Gilt's still a pretty special metal wizard, because he's got the law master of metal. And metal magic seems be a lot better in Warhammer 3 than it was in 2. I remember Warhammer 2, I would just never get metal magic. But now I get it all the time. Depending on the faction. Okay, we should be done real soon now. Just waiting on that army losses. Killing the general might help a great deal. Oh, there's a little Grom over there, so that one would be worth a lot of bounce of power. everyone just a little bit. Okay, I think they've been army lost. Nope. Wait. This one's just straight up unbreakable. She must have an item or something that's just making her unbreakable. She's done them by her blood on her. Because yeah, they got army lost. Cool, I think we're actually in better shape after the battle than we were before it. Of course, close victory. But that's another full stack. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there's hardly anything left of our army. Good. It was the garrison they barely used any of it. Oh, good. That's <laughs> fantastic. So that army there, they'll probably just run off and die somewhere. Ice witches and ice lords can get the trait for unbreakable while training. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, she's dead now, so. Fat load of good did her. Final transmutation is decent, but way too expensive for, on anyone but guilt. Yeah, I agree. It's only really worth doing when there's a lot of single entities in an area. Yeah, look at that. Most of the army got destroyed. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Well, with most of our armies destroyed, I think I think there are quite a few in Kislev itself. Oh, not Kislev, Norska. Actually, I'm not sure about that. They took out the army, and then they just walked away? I will marshal the men. That's right. This is a weird place. You can't actually land Move. there. You have to land here. Moving on! Praise be to Sigma. I will marshal the men to the provinces. Ooh, not going well for Kislev. Bad miracles at a five dollar super chat. Really enjoying these long campaigns. Thank you for the content. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Do you think that auto resolve should show how much your units are going to get hurt? Precisely how much I mean? No. Honestly, I think that auto resolve gives too much information as it is. It's too, it's too convenient currently to auto-resolve. 
it should be a bit of a gamble, and it currently isn't. Bring me to my men. They really need to try to incentivize people to fight more battles manually, but yeah. What? Uh, maybe maybe it should be available to people playing on like easy difficulty, but definitely not legendary. All right, so we don't need you anymore. Sigmarite Thank you very much. And we don't need you, because there's no Sigmar. threat to that. They will be judged. You dare give me orders? They will be judged. Yes, blessed is this action. We'll stack in the middle of Norska. Address it's me fine, they sir. can't attack us this time. Sail back over there. So I transfer these two settlements over to Ostland next turn. Not this turn, because otherwise I won't get any plenchment. I'll actually take attrition. But yeah, giving Ostland these territories here. Great. Just great. Show me the accused. Indeed, it shall be done. Good. Let's see if I can block that one. Champion of the faith. Mm-hmm. I trust no man. Champion of the faith. Seek out the heretics. I live to serve. This the is going great. Yes. All right. So looking at Katarin, she now has forty-eight settlements. We have knocked off thirteen settlements from her. But really, it's the loss of all the armies that is truly going to hurt her because she's got no ability to counterattack, or very little ability to counterattack. Marathi is on her last legs, it seems. Seems like they're focusing on taking out all the uh, Black Arcs first, which is not what I would do, but, yeah, whatever. For the wisdom of the oh shit, they're at war with each other. Casting the runes is thirsty work. Let's drink and talk. Hmm. I'd totally get involved if I wasn't busy fucking destroying Kislev. Maybe I should get involved. Oh, there's a full stack coming up this way with tic-tac-toe. Yeah, stay out of this. I'd love to get in on that action, but... Later. Wait until we can dedicate some real resources to it. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, let's, let's have a look to see if there's any more heroes available. Like, better heroes. Disciplined Warrior Priest, nice. Let's go sit over there. Nice. Whoop, disapplied. Nope. There you go. Cunning. No, I don't need it. That's all. Okay. Moving on to the next turn. Yeah, this war is going fantastically well. Yes, my lord. Okay, moving on. Yep, yep. We're gonna do it. What? Come on. What are we doing? Yep, we're gonna do it. Sivenzia <laughs> did a five euro super chat. What's your opinion of Warhammer Two armies in Warhammer Three? Since Carl is Carl is using a Reichsguard army instead of artillery and gunmen. Um, I think they've done a fairly good job in making a bit more incentive to build variety in your armies a little bit with Warhammer 3, just a little bit more incentive. Um, there's definitely a lot of quality of life improvements in Warhammer 3, there's no denying that. But I also think that there's areas that are significantly more buggy in Warhammer 3 than they were in 2. Will you break up with Lewin and conquer Albion? Later, yeah probably. So yeah, they have a tendency of sacking settlements, even though I'm not anywhere near them. They just sacked it. Which, that's not gaining you any ground. Still quite a few armies left to go, but we're now more powerful than them. Main thing here is just to capitalize on it. Now, I don't think that taking any territory away from her is going to have any of her units disbanded now, just because of how many armies she's lost. But what we need to do here is be aggressive before... Well, they recruit and build back up. 
She won't be able to be as powerful as she was before. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. No. I think knowing precisely how much you're going to get hurt would probably make me more likely to fight the battle if I think I could do much better. Fair enough. Fair enough. Did your manual crocar gambit work out? Yes, it did actually work out. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, captured quite a few territories from Zinch before they counterattacked and took him back. <laughs> but he's constantly sending armies over there to at least try to defend it. He still owns some territory there, which he would have just sat in that island for ages if we didn't do that. Who calls? All right, we need to make sure that we're not getting caught up in our back too much. True servant of Sigma, I will go. As we push up through here. Karak Doom will of course be handed over to Ostermark. I'm totally fine with just disbanding this now. If we encounter any forces, so Karak Doom. There you go. thousand. <laughs> Holy crap. All this territory must be making him bank. Absolute bank, if he's able to pay me that much cash. Hey, look at that. He's actually coming out to try to help. A little bit. Can't quite make it to Prague. Yeah, we got to stop armies, uh, like, recruiting new armies. Seek out the heretics. Don't fret, they'll be open. Is it time? I command here. My orders are Carl Francis, move. no scouts up this way. That's not good. But we'll have some scouts over there pretty soon. Now, march on the witches. Summon the Elector Counts. Sigma compels us Because, yeah, this is, like, it's a good army. It can't take on two full stacks, though. Mm, I don't know if this one can take on Altar of the Crimson Harvest. This will bolster the nation. Mm. Okay, so both of these settlements need to be handed over to Ostland, Bay of Blades, it and Longship Graveyard. Sons of the Empire this day. So he's broke. Um, Okoa did a five pound super chat. What has been the closest call to losing the campaign? As you say, I reckon that massive battle we fought two turns ago against Katarin. That one was like decisive defeat and order resolve. I did a good job. Oh no, no, sorry. The battle before that, where my life wizard got sniped at the very beginning of the battle, the one that was out here, uh, that was that was very risky. That one. It is good to see fellow and then sons of the graveyard. This day. They'll eventually get their money in order. Affirmative. What do you make pay? I am prince and emperor. Well, wow, Scrooge he is. Hey, money numbers go up. I'm a gamer. What do you expect? Comet. War calls. I thought Lewin was going to get that. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, I need to check to make sure there's no army coming out this way, because otherwise I'll just abandon this. So this one will sail over to here. They'll meet up with this one, and we'll go and attack Altar of the Crimson Harvest together. I should actually be able to sell... By Sigma's will, Pack I, yeah, I can, because it's part of the same province. Even if it doesn't technically border it. So that's good, I can give that away to them next turn. Oh, 
protector of the weak. Your word is my command. Jade wizard. Okay, we need to sell Fort Streghoff, or as I call it sometimes, Fort Stroganoff. <laughs> of the faith. Legend, how do you feel about blatant power creep as... Hang on. Hang on a sec, dude. Blatant power creep... Sorry, the, the chat's moving up as I'm trying to read it. Um, as Women 3 progresses, for example, compare Kiss of Light Warriors to basic Empire Spearmen. Both are tier 0, but the Warriors blow Spearmen out of the water. Yeah, okay. So, that's a good question. I don't really mind that much about power creep. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, because as the game evolves, if you keep adding units, like let's just say you do a DLC, and it's like Hunter and the Beast, and you add in two units that are kind of shit, right? You add a, um, a war wagon and regular archers. It's just shit units, right? And you do that every single time as a DLC. It doesn't really give you much incentive to buy it. So I understand from Creative Assembly, from a business point of view, why they want to do power creep. You it just have to, to do it. Um, the, the way to balance it out is as everyone gets more powerful, they need to get more powerful together. So with the Empire DLC, they will need some stuff to be able to match what Kislev gets, at least on the campaign map side of things. But yeah, in terms of um, like multiplayer balancing, it's obviously going to throw it out of whack. Um, but I don't care that much about the multiplayer since I don't play it. Okay, so... Like there's, there's ups and downs basically to having power creep. Ups and downs to it. And you just gotta... As a, as creative somebody has to think, what what's best for the uh, company, I guess. So it's not it's not an area that I choose to really give them a lot of criticism for because, like I said, I understand why it's done. I live to serve the emperor, champion of the faith. Your word is my command. My journey begins. True servant of Sigma. I will do anything for Sigma. Anything? Oh. Oh. Oh, you can make it. Moving out. Uh, but if we do, we'll get counterattacked by this one, so maybe best wait for the rest of the reinforcements to show up. You just go channeling stance and just chill out. Over here. What does the Emperor bid? Forward. Okay, Kislev. Probably could actually hold on to it. I trust no man. Help them out. So the Boca Palace. Not really essential for us. All right, hand it over to Ostermark. Only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Actually, hand it over to Ostland. What? Come then. Only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Yeah. So be it. Is Kislev 10 slots? No, just 8 slots. Alright, looking at their settlement number now, 46. Take Prague to cripple them. Yeah, but I don't want to take it and then get attacked. Uh, Howling Citadel or Tower of Torment? That settlement's worth more. Yeah, go for go for the Howling Citadel, I think. On much. It is for the best. Right, I don't think you need, need to worry too much about attrition. Empire. It's fine. Seek out the heretics. Good. Tools of judgment ready. I don't agree. They will be judged. Is it time? Go 
Good stuff. Okay, so this settlement here, Monolith and Festival, needs to be handed over. Come in peace. Yes. All right, how are we going over here? I am the supreme patriarch. Yeah, you'll need to stay in encamp stance this turn because I'll still get there in the same amount of time and what hand over the Tower of Silvered Sorcerers. Yes. Good. This will bolster the nation. <laughs> what else could they do? You know, it's like fair enough. What, what else can they possibly do? Show me the accused. To the provinces. All right, send Volkmarder here. I was considering going down south into Norska, but let's take it. Take out the Northern Chaos Way stuff first. PvB or co-op campaigns? Whatever you prefer, man. Any plans to make some Twitch emote? Um, I had some old ones from ages ago. I'll think about it. It's just that I'm pretty much like entirely focused on this at the moment. So I'm not, like, this is this is what my day is like. I get I get up. I like check my emails. And then I start live streaming, and then I live stream for like ten hours, and I go to bed. Then I get up, and it's just it's repeat on repeat like that. Um, yes. I don't really care that much about emotes, but I know a lot of you guys do, so I should get onto it. Tools of judgment ready. So, onwards. All right, House of Princes. No, don't worry about that. They will be judged. Oh man, so good. This war. It's just Let gone so well. Should probably sell Igarov. Yeah. By Sigma's will, come in peace. It's not worth anything to me. And who knows when Indeed. an army might sneak around over this way. Alright. Well, that appears to be all I can do this turn. We still own Fortress of the Damned. Oh, we need to give that away, because this one here... Yeah, no, 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 no. Fortress of the Damned. There you go. I have important matters to attend to. He's not at war with... the, um... with them. Oh my god, with Kislev. Agreed. And that is by design. I probably could have gotten him to join war. Let me just see if the I can. Expedition will hear you. Well, if I give him a settlement here, he'll do it. Fearless. All right, let's have a look at how things are going with Clan Angrant. Uh, it's slow. Hell. It's going down by about fifty per turn. The broken treaty side of thing, it's decaying fairly slowly. But all the military actions that we do, it's sort of adding a bit of a buffer. Hmm. Just leave him be. Still got time before he'll make any drastic choices. Alright, I think I've made all the decisions I need to make. These guys will move on to Hell Pit next turn. It'll take them two turns to get there. I serve the Helden Hammer. That's fine. And, you know, this huge freaking blob of armies make their way to Prague. And then maybe hold the ground there so they don't attack us at the settlement. But you have to check to see if there's any like lightning strikers, which there doesn't seem to be. Although what they can do is they could, on their turn, replace it with Castalton because his wound time is like one turn. And then strikers. That's all we actually need now. 
Okay, I think we're done with the turn. Let me just check to make sure Zinch isn't doing anything real Zinchy. This is good to see. Good to see that he's solidifying himself somewhat. Zinch is not getting any more powerful. There's more reinforcements on the way. Then again, these guys here, they're probably looking to take out Tlaqua. That's what they're doing. Show me the accused. Seek out the heretics. That's I don't think he's strong enough to decide to attack us anyway. He wouldn't be able to reach Al-Kalabad this turn anyway. All good. Just got to give me a bit more time, then I'll deal with Tlaqua. I just need to actually get down there. Because, yeah, the closing up of this war is a huge frontier that gets closed off, and it might mean that we can actually confederate Ostland. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. All right, we're done with this turn. Let's move on. Forgot to sell a settlement in the Chaos Wastes. Uh, no, I got it. of judgment ready seek out the heretics they will be judged, they will be judged. uh steckers subscribe with prime Close thanks dude man. appreciate the support You really like Turin's PvP videos? Turin is the guy to go to for PvP, for sure. Uh, but there's also some really good uh, PvP smaller channels coming up. Uh, Human by Yes Yes is doing a lot of good work, I think. Oh, sh Must have just arrived there. Batman or Superman? I'm more of a Batman kind of guy. I find Superman to be a little bit boring. Maybe what I'll do is sack it, because there's actually quite a lot of concentration of force here now. Welcome, brothers, from across the Grey Mountains. Okay. Superman is only boring in the movies. He's very interesting in the comics. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But I, I tend not to read comics, so there's not. I got nothing against comics. Just you can't. I don't have time to do everything. Man, my guys get constantly wounded. <laughs> Alright, so this army here wants to just keep globally recruiting. I imagine eventually... Let me have a look here. Eventually, it'll just sail back to Norska. So they're just, they're just using up their global recruitment there, essentially. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Show me the accused. Is that where heretics cool. lurk? It is time. What legendary lord do you hope for for Empire... Todd. Um, Elspeth von Draken, I think, is what's coming. And that's what I'm hoping is coming. This yeah, and I think that the legendary hero is going to be... I always forget his name. Um, Reichsmarschall Rudolf... The Reichsmarschall... Hmm, I can't remember his name. True 
servant of Sigma. Moving out. Oh, oh no, he doesn't make it. Ever Do you make it? Would. Oh, you make it. Okay. I'm not sure if we'll be able to order resolve that. Let's have a look. Open gates. Hillbrecht. No, that's not what I meant. Okay, they're not taking it this turn. Fine, gives us more time to replenish anyway. I will do anything for Sigma. Here to serve. Your word is Hellborg? my command. Kurt Hellborg. I think that's it. Yeah. I go where I am needed. By Sigma's will, come in peace. On it. Honestly, selling a major settlement for two thousand gold is pretty cheap. Hmm. Doesn't really bother me that much if this settlement gets blown to pieces. But yeah, we can't leave these armies here constantly recruiting. I trust no man. Seek out the heretics. Rudolf Hess. Sounds familiar, but I don't I feel like that's a, that's a isn't that a Nazi? <laughs> Anyway, whatever. Yeah, I think that I'm really looking forward to the Empire uh, legendary hero, Adolf Hitler, you know. <laughs> That's Warhammer Fantasy, right? That's Warhammer Fantasy. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. There you go there. I'm not going there. Servant of the faith. Order to serve. The right. nation calls. Those gates will open. Arch Lecter. Alright. Here to serve. So what we'll do here is we'll just sack the settlement. So that this army here doesn't bloody fuck us afterwards. Following Sigma's path. I didn't even knew it was a Nazi. I have watched so many World War II documentaries recently. There is a ton of them on Netflix. They're really interesting, so... Yeah. Knowing about this stuff doesn't make you a Nazi, by the way. Oh my god, he learnt about history that's not very nice. Therefore, he's a Nazi. Oh my god. You guys hit this body on Amazon? I don't have Amazon. Uh, I've only got uh, Netflix. Okay, move this guy back down to here in Force March. And move them back a little bit. Well, I guess what I could do... Should have thought about this beforehand. I could have... I could have given this to Ostermark. I guess I and then just disband one of these armies. Let me just check this. No higher power than I. Cause yeah, what is it? I can just replace this friggin' army easily. Your word is my command. Has and then just do this. It is good to see fellow and that way they don't get it anymore. Right. Look at that, I gave it to for free. Look how generous I am. Okay, cool. So they can't reach us now. Huntsman General, ever vigilant. Very important to learn about humanity's mistakes, lest we make them again. Exactly. Exactly. Totally agree. Arch Lecter. Ordered to serve. I will do anything. All right, is this the, the the Witch Hunter Brigade in I serve the Heldenhammer. This day and age. Show me the accused. Forbidden knowledge. Whoa, I'm going to cancel you. <laughs> Kurt Helborg is I think who I was originally thinking of. 
That sounds familiar. Yeah, the Reich's Marshal. So I mentioned he would be a legendary hero. So I think I think that's who's coming. That, that's what makes sense anyway. Alright, Pillars of Skulls is taken. Who calls? Good, there's just no armies out this way. Not sure if I really want to swing back around this way. Although they, they keep sacking this settlement, but that's fine. If they ever got past Uzkalak, then I would have to start raising some forces over here. But I think they brought their armies back over here because they're... They've now lost all three of their primary settlements. So Kislev is in real top shit right now. Yes. Alright, so there's an army here. That is pretty fucking dangerous. Holy shit. Bring me to my men. Plus a nine additional no units. Fall back I... a little bit, friends. Fall back. If they want to attack us, that's fine. I'll leave it right on the edge there. Because I just don't have any further scouting. They, we could fight that battle, win it, lose most of our forces, and they attack us again. Unfortunately, I just got to wait for the Witch Hunter to get here. And if he wants to come up from Ardis, that's fine. Need to get some intel. Alright, so getting to Altar of the Crimson Harvest might be a little bit difficult. And that's Castelton there. So get back to your ports. And sell Pack Ice Bay. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it for free. No, of course. Okay. And if he wants to hang around this area here, let him. Okay, at Dietershafen, I should probably get rid of the... Get rid of the money building. I don't really need it. And build the barracks. No, I never built the, um, those. What does the Emperor bid? On march! Sigma be praised. Okay, send him I to take Blood Sigma's Mountain. Hand in this. All right, and then sell Palace of Princes. Approach. And state your affairs. Okay. See, I should make a difficulty only for you. Hmm. If they want to give that a shot. I don't think they're really interested in interacting with me at all, to be honest, but... Yes. Hmm. I'm keen to have a look, if they're willing so, to. Moving off. Tools of judgment ready. Is that where heretics lurk? Forward. Okay, we got a pretty good amount of intel out here. There's just no armies. All right, Howling Citadel should be an order resolve. No, but it's easy. Unfortunately, these armies just aren't great in order resolve, and they, they built the defenses here, and it's a walled settlement, so gotta fight it. Dieter's half and already has a barracks, though. What do you mean, Swap? Swap? Uh, the other one? Salzenmund? Downfall is an awesome movie. Yeah, Downfall is a good movie. There's a lot of good movies about, like, that general area. And just because you watch it... <laughs> oh my god, you watch Saving Private Ryan? Don't you know that's about World War II? <laughs> oh my god. You like Schindler's List? That is uh, literally about a Nazi. <laughs> There's a lot of good movies about World War II and this kind of stuff. And there's also a lot of bad movies about it. Have you have you watched Company of Heroes? My god, that is shit. It's like, hey, let's try to be Saving Private Ryan, except let's actually be absolute trash. What is the point of that movie even existing?
Band of Brothers will ask. Yes, Band of Brothers is good. I'm talking about Company of Heroes. Well, like Company of Zeros. On my command. Feel Fury was meh? I love that movie. What are you talking about? I've watched that heaps of times. I think it's great. I don't know. Maybe I just get a hard on for any movie that's got Brad Pitt in it. I mean, I'm not gay, but I'd fuck Brad Pitt. <laughs> not even for twenty dollars. <laughs> Crew is right. Brad was the right casting choice. You take that back. Don't tell your wife. Oh, she knows. She doesn't care. She'd be like, "Yeah, you go for it." Ready for war. For Helden Hammer. Alright, we've got a decent amount of wins. I think we can justify speeding things up with dwellers below that. But you, you know what Brad Pitt's best performance in any movie was? Inglorious Bastards. That's his best one, I think. <laughs> Anyway, we'll just move on to playing the game. It's getting a bit, it's getting a bit weird. The conversation. Okay, well, don't have much res uh, ready magic at the moment. They're actually doing a decent amount of damage shooting up at us, so let's get down off the walls. Because we don't have any protection when we're right on the edge there. Twelve monkeys is better, dude was insane. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen twelve monkeys. Fair enough. Should be getting ambulances uh, soon. We've done two pretty good dwells below. I reckon if we do one more, that'll finish them off. Because they're just sending everything straight to the front here, which is great. That helps to speed up these battles, because obviously I didn't want to fight this manually. Waste of time. Valiant defeat. Yeah, so this army has no units that can handle you. They're going to win. Oh, really? Hmm. 
I thought that might finish the battle. There we go. Cliff Booth versus Bruce Lee. Well, I don't know who Cliff Booth, Booth is, and I'll be honest, I never really watched any of Bruce Lee's fights, so I don't know. You like dags? Love dags. To combat. Term 7, subscribe to Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, well, definitely better than what all Resolve would have yielded. Mm. Okay, cool. That's nice and easy. So I'll swing them around over to Tribe Slaughter. Or is it Tribe's Laughter? Dunno. Show me the accused. Sigma right, Alright, it would seem as though we are done for this turn. To strengthen the Empire. Do not waste But yeah, good attention. turn. A lot of territory taken. If you have a look here, she is now down to 40 settlements. We've taken 31 regions from her already. Damn. Bless for me. Bless for me. Yeah, if Castalton arrives at Dietershafen, I'm gonna look here. Yeah, if Castalton arrives at Dietershafen, he would be able to beat us. And yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Plus, he's probably got lightning strike. We need to re recruit another army here. True servant of Sigma. All right, what do we need? Probably guns, like lots of guns, and also what gives us lots of auto resolve? Hey, what's he got anyway? I died a lot of infantry. Right, some cannons. Of the faith. And some more guns and some great swords. Okay, you go into ambush stance, because what might end up happening is he'll come down over here, stand here, and I'll be able to bring multiple armies, yeah, especially if you go into ambush stance as well, bring multiple armies to finish him off. See if we can lure him into a trap. Of course, he might just run away. That would... Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. Alright. So, Kislev's strength ranking. We've taken out about half of our armies. Probably a bit more than that, even... All right, let's have a look at what's going on over here. Marathi slowly falling apart. That's good. Zinch not invading our territory over here, right? Yep, nice and safe. Nice and safe. I did build the landmark, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yep, these settlements over here, nice and safe. Got intel over there, nice. You're nice and safe. Yep. Safe. Okay, looking good. Any new factions emerge? Nope. Alright, now we just need to keep checking on 
Clan Angrund. Okay, things are now improving with him. Okay, so we don't have to worry about him backstabbing us now. So that's fine. That is fine. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Oh, make it snappy. I've got. All right, we'll be fine. There we go. Let's double check. Champion of the faith. Okay, moving on. They will be judged. Seek out the heretics. Tools of judgment ready. Yes. All right. Let's put this back to. Let's see how many times people uh, go go nuts about that. Let's see what happens. What? When did he suffer a defeat? And this goes scro scrolling through everywhere. <laughs> so I'm trolling. I haven't suffered a defeat yet, but we'll just see what people say. Here's the thing. Every time somebody asks, wait, when was the defeat? I'll add an extra defeat to the counter. <laughs> Oh, they're going for it. Ooh. Okay, what's the map look like? Okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, 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 yeah, I think we'll be fine. I mean, I know I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just go see this here. What's this F? Oh my god, when did you lose? <laughs> oh my god, how many times can I add this to? Okay, hang on, hang on. Can I win this? Okay, what do they got here? They got Death Wizard. They got a lot of Winds of Magic. Yeah, they could Death Magic Carl Franz away with that much. If I'm not careful. How quick are these? 80 speed to our 78. Not too worried about Incarnate Elemental of Beasts. Definitely not worried about Elemental Bears. We can outrun them. I'm going to fight this, but we need to be really fucking careful in this fight. I think I really need to snipe this hag. Oh, shit, can I even win this? I mean, I've got extra melee defense. I'm at 64, 53. Just retreats, okay. Well, somebody's gonna have to deal with this. Level 50 Lord. No magic attack. Nah, man, it's fucking tough. This does look really fucking tough. You're right. This does look really friggin' tough battle. This army looks stronger than mine. Like they got no infantry. They got one unit of infantry. That's it. Bear riders are a big problem. Not as big as you might think. Look at my balls. They're big. <laughs> Did I miss the defeat? Okay, I was just kidding, guys. I didn't actually suffer a defeat. I was just wanted to see how many, many comments we could generate. Guys, did he actually suffer a defeat? Is he just fucking with us? I'm just fucking with you. I haven't suffered a defeat. I just wanted to see what, how much people would react to it. <laughs> However, I might lose here. I might lose here. We'll see. All right, what we're going to do is hide the Reichsguard just to begin with in two locations. Okay, I'm going to hide the Reichsguard in two locations there. 
This guy's not that quick, so you'll stay with him. And we'll see what we can do here. And the problem here is that damn death wizard. Do they care? No lingering. That's her there. We are Sigma's heirs. They have a lot of winds of magic as well. And I have no means of getting rid of her easily. Alright, I'm going to reveal some of my troops over here. I've got I've got more winds of magic than them. Is that overcasted? Good. The whole point of this is to try to get them to split up their forces a little bit. That's how we win this. But yeah, the balance of power is not in our favor. We have to be very careful. Now, forgive me, I'm probably not going to read the chat too much from this point because I need to win this battle. It's kind of important. All right. Pretty big map too, so that's good. Okay, now reveal them. Where is she? Where's that death wizard? Is that her there? Yeah. She is over there. Go, go, go. Go over here. We need to take her out now. Use regrowth on this one. Shit, they're not splitting up their forces enough. They're going... Oh, it's, it was Melkoth mystifying Miasma. That's really effective against Cav. Okay, just wait a little bit longer. Kill kill her. Go, 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 go. Not you, though. Just lure them away. Kill the wizards. How is that so quick? Keep running. I need their units distracted. Keep running. Shit. We're going to have to fight here. Out of here. In the name of the twin tail, take the ground. Not gonna lie. Uh oh. Pull them out. Okay, we killed the Death Wizard, that's great. One of my units ran away. Maybe two units ran away. Quick 
You stay behind, you hold them back. Okay, I got rid of both of their wizards, that's good. That one's going down. I, f I feel as though we're doing okay. You need to get out of there, bitch. These bears are really on my ass. Carl Franz over here, I think. Now keep fighting those ice guard. Gotta take out these bear riders. They're the, they're the top priority. Take out the bears. Get out of that one there. Okay, I think we got the advantage over those bears there. You're gonna need to fight those. Main thing here is get rid of the bear riders. Okay, pull them back. Take on these bears over here in a moment. Need a breather, this is a very rough battle. <laughs> okay. Alright. This is a very rough fight. Okay. I think I'm winning. It might not seem like it, but I think I'm winning. Fight the big ice bear bitches. This guy here is caught constantly. Get him out of there.
Come on, you need to get out of there. I'm gonna, actually, you're going to have to keep fighting. I'll send the wizard to come and give you some regen. No, to keep running away, keep running away. They're too strong for you. Okay, time to kill the enemy general. Not that many of them left, really. Get them! Moving now! No lingering! Now! Ready to smite! Heading up! Take the ground! To arms, man! I think I've got this. The general's dead. We got him. We got this. We got this. We'll be fine. Yes, my lord. We're gonna need some time to recover, but we got this. Oh my god! This is a rough fight! Get out of there. <laughs> Get over there, help him out. We got this, we got this. All the bears are pretty much gone now. I got way more units left than they do. We're really badly damaged. Don't worry about how many units get wiped out. We're gonna have to use global recruitment to replace this. Like that one's definitely wiped out. This is probably the biggest doom stack I've come across in this battle, uh, in this entire campaign. Alright. Their forces are starting to get a bit tired. This, notice how they're being a bit less aggressive. They've lost all their speed. Oh, hang on, be careful there. Don't worry about these ones here, because they're just demons. Just... Can avoid them. You can take on a patriarch easily. Out of there. Most of what they've got left are just demons, which means when we win the battle, they all just die anyway. They're not unbreakable anymore. Yep, he's gone. Cosmos uh, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, do appreciate that. This stream has more clutch battles than the other 12 pass combined. It really does, doesn't it? Oh my god, Carl Franz hasn't landed properly. Whew. 
Good, that one's finished. Alright, let's organize into those that are severely damaged and those that are, you know, not too bad. <laughs> There's not that many that are, yeah, not too bad. Alright. So all of these ones, actually, you can go into this category. Same thing with you. These ones here, no more fighting for them. Yep, there's playing our music. I had a feeling it was going to. All things must wither. Rip Rock's God? That's okay, just replace him. No big deal. It will be way quicker for me to replace my units than it will be for them to replace theirs. Probably still four turn recruit time. Um, Oravan did a 10 euro super chat. Reichsguard Doomstack is a better Doomstack than Demigriff Knights for France. Is this because of the Reichsguard boost or is there other reasons? Thank you for the content campaigns of Bliss to Watch. Yeah, it's basically because of how much he boosts the Reichsguard. Yeah. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Right, here we go. No, we want to have them isolated if we can. Isolate them. A lot of single entities, and our guys are not great against single entities. Let's draw them away a little bit. Shit. Okay, turn around and fight there. It's not that many of them. And I think we're just going to have to go all out here. Get these two back. That was a rough fight. You got winning for that separate though? No, we got him. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sh No, we definitely had one unit wiped out because we only had three troops left. All those people that were like, Don't do it, bro. You won't win. It's too strong. Completely annihilated them. The scary army. It was very scary. <laughs> Not going to lie. That, that was a risky move. That was a risky move fighting that battle. And the thing is, it's not like... Like, I needed really good micro with that as well. One unit got wiped out. Fuck. Oh, well. Take the replenishment, I guess. Hmm. 
Oh my god, look at these stacks that they're making. Holy crap. Why can't you just crap stack like every other faction you go up against? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is where they're co deciding to concentrate their forces. Fair enough. Just gotta take them out a little bit of time as we did before. Be peace. What that? No. Oh, you're at war with them as well. Why don't you send a fucking army over there, dip shit, dip shit? Now that you've fought them for a while, do you think Kislev on the battlefield are a scary faction to face? Hell yeah, holy crap, I'm having way more trouble with them than I was with the Dark Elves. Freeze 98 did a 100 DKK super chat, well horsed, thanks dude, appreciate that. I've never said that Kislev is weak. Even their tier 1 stuff is pretty strong. No, I'm not. I have no idea what's going on at Nangal, so I just do nothing. I can cheese the fealty later. It's not important. Impenetrable wall. Achieve victory in multiple defensive battles. Melee defense plus five for him. Good. I rarely get that trait. Very rarely. Hmm. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah. Them out. Bloody huge assassin line of heroes coming from behind Show me. me the yeah, there's one here just going crazy on recruiting. No man. Fine. Who calls? Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Sigmar compels us. Never yield. Good. They will be judged. <coughs> Excuse me. Show me the accused. All right, sell Blood what Mountain. What do you bring before the scouts of the Empire? Okay. Cool. He's making a hundred grand a turn now. It would seem. You summon me. I go where the wind howls. And we need to sell Infernius. What matters do you bring before the scouts of the Empire? Yes. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'm certainly not done yet, but we've now brought her down to 39 settlements. She's almost at half the strength she was before. So, Castelton's just sitting out over here. Okay. The problem here is that he ha possibly has lightning strike. <laughs> okay. So yeah, friends, you can stay here and globally recruit for a few turns. Four turns. At least it's higher experience than it was before. There you go. Yeah, we just don't, we need more intel in this area before I'm willing to send him out. Can always cancel it and recruit somewhere else. Okay, good stuff. So yeah, this is why. Yeah, okay. Royals bow. I shall summon him. How much upkeep am I paying? Uh, One hundred sixty-one thousand in total, because I've got twenty armies. I trust no man. Sigmarite Arch Lector. I serve the Heldenhammer. We absolutely need to stop this army over here from recruiting. No higher power than I. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. <laughs> of course. That's a lot of money for a piece of crap settlement like that. What does the Emperor bid? Seek out. Need more intel out here. Tools of judgment ready. 
Now, to strengthen the Empire. Moving off. Helen Citadel, hand it over to Mr. Mark as well. Friend and make your offer. Oh, the hell instead of don't. Of course. Right. Cool. He still got more money. No Luminox. Mm, nah, like, you can get them if you want, but nah. Yeah, I think we should just chill here for the time being. Chill, because it's cold. Just chill for a bit. Ordered to serve. So we can see this army here, they can't get to us. What they might be able to do is like sack the settlement and then push forward, but I don't think they're close enough. That guy doesn't look like he's got lightning strike, neither does that one. Another thing that we could do is like allow them to occupy Prague and then recapture Prague again, just the same thing. So what I'll actually do is go back over here in ambush stance. Since most of our armies are at full strength, more or less. Just leave one of my armies that is... um in real need of replenishment. Time for action. Laying the trap. Ready to serve. Your word is my command. Praise and yeah. me to Sigma. Okay, what we can do here is True servant of Sigma. Speed things along. Cool. Alright. They will be judged. It'd be great if you could succeed here at Hell Pit. Ready. No heretics will get in my way. I will do anything for Sigma. Runes of spite and death. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. So, right, we got through it. I serve okay, we should be able to auto this. Where are the steam tanks? They're in the northern chaos wastes. Sigma. I don't bother. We're selling it next turn. Yeah, they can't get to here. So, a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Cover really quickly. And then we'll swing them around in through this area here. Praise be to Sigma. Hmm. I was hoping he might be hanging out on the water. Yes, my lord. Yeah, he probably won't land an attack. Probably won't. Of the faith. Get that built straight away. Because yeah, that's a it's a pretty dangerous army. We've got nine additional units on him. Because what he could do here is land here and attack at lightning strike. That would not be good. Um, and if I sent both of these armies here to attack, I don't think we would succeed. It's just too strong. They will be judged. Fine. My order agrees. But yeah, both of my armies here can beat that one for sure. And this one can force march over here. So yeah, it would actually be three armies if he hangs out by the coastline, which is something that they are prone to giving a shot to do. They are prone to doing that. Otherwise, it's going to be a very difficult fight with what we got there. All right. Orders. Do not I think that's pretty much everything this turn. Who hasn't moved? So they've moved. These ones here can't really do much. Captured Hill Pit. That's great. Seek out the heretics. For Sigma. My order agrees. Yep. Force March for attracting him? Uh, no, that would be a terrible idea. What happens if he wins the battle? Tools of judgment ready. I am a supreme patriot. Truth be told, dude, I don't want him to attack here. I want him to go away. <laughs> I'd love him to go to Longship Graveyard or Pack Eyes Bay. 
Don't go attack me in my territory here. Minus one of my battles is where we are most likely to lose a, this campaign. Okay, sometimes if you put heroes... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you put heroes right near the coastline like this, it disables them from being able to actually land. Ready. Yes, for now. The Empire. Okay, you stay here. Forward. I trust no man. It shall be done. Ready? Onwards. Show me the accused. Yeah, if you put heroes on the, the location where they can land, it can prevent them from actually landing. If he's just out on the water over the end turn, over the next turn, we've got him. Because he can't see this army or this one. He'll just see this one and think, oh yeah, I can beat that. But then I send three armies at him. You can't use lightning strike, which I don't know if he can lose, use lightning strike, but it looks like he's put about 20 points into the blue line, which usually indicates lightning strike. Okay, so once again, just having a look to see how this war is overall going. She's down to 38 settlements. Almost brought her down to half. Um... You know what, just to make doubly sure, you can never have too many witch hunters. We'll put even more in these locations just to really make sure he just can't land. Ready? Yeah. Like if he wants to go and land, he could land over on this side over here. But he wouldn't Yeah, we could force march them over there. Reckless points got walls. Okay, main thing here is just don't let him attack any minor settlements, obviously. Or he might want to land over here. In which case, this army won't be able to show up, but I'll have, I'll have these two. Maybe I'll recruit another lord here, because i got the money, just in case he lands there. Just auto-resolve army. <laughs> that should do it. Oh, one more unit, locally. Yeah, get that. Okay, cool. All right, checking the other soft spots where we could potentially get attacked. Okay. All looks good. All looks good here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Thorex still fucking around. Yep. That's alright. Take as long as he wants. How are we going over here? Yeah, keeping an eye on Tlaqua. Really doesn't bother me too much if this these forces here come around and, and defeat Rapance. Doesn't bother me too much. Alright, and checking for other like rogue armies and stuff. No, nothing there. Okay. They will be judged. Hmm. It's always my weakest armies that have to deal with the most amount of force. Uh, just have to deal with it. Okay, moving on. Yeah. Shade Slinger there, two dollars super chat. I finally caught up. Good to see campaign still going. No worries, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Hope you're enjoying the campaign. I feel like an elect account troop doom meme stack would be fitting for Carl Franz. Okay. When will you build a witch hunter army? Witch hunter armies aren't good. Not doing that. Another thing I could do is uh, give Katarin a peace treaty, wait 10 turns, and then resume hostilities, so that uh, we basically get the jump on her again. Which I would consider doing if the war starts going a little bit sideways. Which it currently isn't. Zinch still alive? Yeah, it just takes the AI ages to get rid of Zinch. Looks like that settlement in Ulthwan that Zinch had Finally got captured. Alright, I didn't see what Castelton did. We've got them set to, to show us their movement. A 
Remove the community bug fix mod networks. Yeah, you, they usually need a little bit of time to update that. We've actually got a higher concurrent view account today than we did yesterday all the day before. We're at 2,600 on YouTube. What are we up to on Twitch? 620. Well, that's a bit lower than before. But that might be because we were on bloody 720p for a bit. Still, welcome to the stream, those of you who just showed up. Welcome to the toughest war I've fought so far. Well, at least in a while. I mean, Vlad was pretty tough. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so they didn't take the bait, but that's okay. You summoned me. Agreed. I've cast the runes. All right. Next stop for us into Crackerdrac. Here to serve. Your word is my command. No need to rush. Okay, but we do need to sell hell pit. Welcome, my countrymen. What happened to your money? Yes. What's next target after Kislev? Probably Tlaqua. Maybe. We'll see. I command here. What? Is that where heretics lurk? Yeah, that's okay. All right. He's just staying put. That's fine. That's fine. If he wants to just stay put, I don't have a problem with that. Tools of judgment ready. Do not test my will. Never. Show me the accused. I trust no man. Pick up the pace. Okay. That should that should block all that stuff. Yeah, keep him there. Actually, put him in ambush dance as well. So they only see that army there. That's fine. So a lot of resources. Four full stacks. Basically keeping an eye on Castalton. However, we can afford it. And he's one of the most dangerous legendary lords for us to deal with because of lightning strike. And the fact that Katarin has now fallen behind over here and is getting stuck. That is great. That's really good. Okay, the Twisted Towers. Good, they didn't build the fences there. But we need to check what's going on over here. Nothing's coming. It is time. Good stuff. Just nothing out this way. Crystal Spires. Cool. You should be able to capture that, no problem. Should be able to auto that. Legend, have you tried the Victory Conditions mod? No, I haven't. They will be judged. Next up for him, Port of Secrets. And we need more now, witch hunters Sigma. for him to get intel. So we saw that there was an army here that just hightailed it out of there. There it is. Honestly, that is not a big deal that they did that at all. Just make sure that there's nothing coming over here to counterattack us at Tribe's Laughter. I will do anything for Sigma. We'll catch up to him eventually. Or not, doesn't matter. Heldenhammer! Death to the faithless! Yeah, I got 17.4 million in the bank, which I use for bribes and stuff, gifts when I need to finagle the um, diplomacy, which I do all the time, by the way. All the time I'm doing that stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, over here, Twisted Towers. Very well, I will do this. I haven't had to fight a battle manually with um, Balthazar Gelt in a while. Makes sense that, that the Kislevites are going to put most of their forces in Kislev proper. But I've got the resources just to attack them wherever they're not. So I'll do that. By Sigma's right. Don't worry. Wait for... Can you... Mm. 
Sigma grant me strength. Onwards. Good stuff. Show me the accused. Also, another good thing about having all these witch hunters around here, them targeting our heroes is much better than them targeting our armies. That's for sure. I trust no man. Seek out the heretics. Yeah. If they just want to stay there, that's fine. I'm happy to keep my resources here like this. Awaiting orders. Huntsman General, ambush positions. I live to serve the Emperor. Because eventually they will have to disband their armies if they're gonna pull up this much here. Seek out the heretics. The one over here. I serve only the ice core. It is treason to command me. Because yeah, they can't reach us, we can't reach them. Whoever captures Prague dies. That's basically the name of the game there. What orders? Alright. True servant of Sigma. Yep, these armies are fine. They will be judged. Moving off. Alright, I got some territory I gotta give away. The fetid catacombs, that's gotta go. And state your affairs. Very well. Are you still sponsored by Manscaped? I need your coupon code money. Um, I am still sponsored by Manscaped, yep. And just click on the link. There's no code. Just click on the link in the description of a Manscaped video, so any tier list video of like the last two years. And uh, that should give you 20% off plus free international shipping. Hope you enjoy. Alright. Everything looks good there. I think we're done with this turn. We're, we might get to turn 300 this episode. So once again, looking at her strength, she's down to 34 settlements. Cut it, her, cut her down by half. Which I wanted to take her out entirely in this episode. I, I'm not going to be able to live stream for. I might be able to do 10 hours. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, you'll go around this way to the Blighted Grove. They'll go around to the Cliff of Beasts. Yeah, no point landing over here because I can't transfer the settlements over to Thingy Me Bob. All of this looks just really good. Yep. Okay, checking for new rogue armies. Haven't seen any in a while, which is fine by me because they annoy me. Okay, moving on. Twenty percent off overpriced product is still overpriced product. Okay. Then don't buy it. I don't care. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. I think it's a great product. If you don't like it, I don't care. Like the only thing I'm worried about is if it's a shit product. Because I would much rather get sponsored by an overpriced good product than a cheap piece of shit product. By the way, guys, today's stream is sponsored by Total War Pharaoh. Have you played the latest Total War game, Total War Pharaoh? It has weather effects. Oh, it's only a hundred bucks. <laughs> Check out my link in the description for 50% off and a free blowjob. Sponsored by Creative... Not sponsored by Creative Assembly, by the way. I'm just, I'm just being silly. Pharaoh is overpriced still. <laughs> That's why I offered 50% off. Hey Legend, I really need to dis I really need a disappoint $60 experience. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, if you want a disappointing $60 experience, my recommendation would be check out Total War Pharaoh. <laughs> But 
But that was the answer that you were expecting. Yeah, they keep wounding my guys, but if they keep wounding them, it's fine as long as they don't critical success. Nothing happened this turn. Once again, they just keeping their forces on the border. And that is fine. This army came out of ambush chance. That's fine. Yes, that one ran away. Protector of the weak. Sigma lightens my steps. Step to it. Okay, I think we can justify For having Sigma. one turn of taking attrition Your if it means getting a little bit command. faster along through here. And tribe slaughter. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fine mark tag. Agreed. It was a hundred grand. <laughs> it seems like the more money a faction has, the more they're willing to pay for these settlements. All right, port of secrets is next. Sigma forbids this. I trust no man. Show me the accused. But yeah, don't force much. I'll have to put them in in camp stance next turn. Arch Lecter. Show me the accused. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Can I make it there this turn? Warrior of Sigma. I live to serve no, the so don't worry about that. Just go into a camp stance in and mosey on in. Protector of the weak. I will go. I trust no man. The trees tell me much. By the comet. By the comet. Okay, that's all fine. Not too much conquest this turn. Uh, we need to sell also um, the crystal spires. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fine mark tag? Indeed. Oh, I need to keep Oster yes. Mark around. Seek out the heretics. Right, you need to move in and camp stance and get some more replenishment. Mark. Moving off. Good. Ready. Yeah, you should be fine to move in and camp Sigma stance this turn. My steps. Raise Sigma. I don't agree. All right, two settlements to go here. Folly of Malifax. Though I do have the authority to discuss matters. All right. And the Twisted Towers, I think it is. Good. Agreed. All right, checking my regions over here. Everything is looking pretty good. You come down here as well. I'm seeing a lot less Marathi lately. A lot less Marathi. Marathi will listen. She's down to two settlements left. She is finito. She's done for. Finished. The AI is going to get her now. I am good. Relation with him is going up. Iron Brow is going up. They're the only ones I'm worried about. Everything King else is fine. Let's face it, I'm going to have to fight Castelton again at some point. Let's put that down. Okay, pretty uneventful turn there. 34 settlements for Katarin. In fact, I don't think I took a single one of her regions this turn. It's just progressing towards the next load. The Empire. Yes. Yes, for now. Yes, for now. They will be judged. Well, this is looking just freaking great. No they will be judged. Show me the accused. Scrunch Crimes did a two pound super chat. Seeing less Marathi, there's a mod for that, mate. Fair enough. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Be Beckel E. Kurt. 
feel like I'm saying something. Couldn't, but anyway, uh, thanks for the member uh, subscription, dude, on Prime. Now, uh, what was it? Yeah, subscribe with Prime. Thanks. Tools of judgment ready. Okay, we're now up to 945 subscribers on Twitch. All right, what are we doing next? I think we're done with this turn because yeah, I'm not pushing forward here until this softens up or until they push on further here. But these armies seem to have free reign to hit Stormvrak Mount, Monolith of Bubonicus, then they'll hit the Tower of Torment, and that's where I'll have them stop and just be disbanded. This one, Port of Secrets, Tower of Flies, Volcano Heart. And then they're getting really close to meeting up. They'll probably meet up about, about here. At that point, we should be fine to set sail from Bilius Cliffs over to here if they've also conquered up this way. But in the end, it's just, just free real estate. Two more turns until he's fully recovered. And if Castalton wants to just sit there, I am happy for that to occur. I trust no man. All right, check the usual stuff. Oh, I got an idea. Praise this is a ruin. Why don't I just go and occupy it, but not build it up? Because they don't seem to be occupying these settlements, and I might be able to trade it for something or other later. Because, yeah, they'll start ruin drilling this stuff fairly soon. Because this war is over. Ready. I can't borrow his army. Could borrow this one. To go and do some ruin dwelling out here for us. Yeah, I'll claim it so they don't just don't have it. Can I help you? Armed and ready. Uh, if you say so, beardling. Okay. Yeah, they can't get us. Yeah, I'll just go ruin drill the stuff, but don't build it up. Just like we did with Joy Shank. Okay. Okay, so down here. Looking at Looking at this. Yep, progress of a kind. Mm hmm. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Just need to check this stuff down here. Yep, all good. Moving on to the next turn. So, pretty uneventful turn there. Have you ever achieved the no defeat total war playthrough? No. I could, but it would take an absurdly long amount of time. You'd have to do it with a faction like Beastmen or the Changeling. So speak. Okay. I will hear you now. Be warned, my mood is dark. It annoys me when she does that because now I don't get to see her next move. I kind of wish there was a button, or like a, like a radio button in diplomacy that says reject all offers so that you could basically prevent the AI from opening up a, um, diplomacy with you over the end turn. So your last target will be the donuts since you can't transfer the settlements? Probably, yeah. Yeah. So we focus on where we can transfer settlements first, and then when it comes to the donut, we'll just have to use an absurd amount of force to occupy it, or just blow everything up. Just turn it all into a ruin. What I can do is like raise the settlement and then occupy it so that it's it's owned by me, but there's no garrison there.
Okay, that all seems good. Nothing happened over the intern, I think. Castelton, yep, just sitting there. And that's it fine. That is totally fine. Because, you yeah, know, that's a good army that's sitting around doing nothing, and I can outspend him. Now. One more turn. I can definitely outspend Seek him now. So, I'm not sure where Katarin's going. Ready. This will bolster the nation. That's a little pink. Does the air occupy properly now? Huh? Fight for our nation. Oh no, that's Ostermark. Part fifteen tomorrow. What happened to part 14, dude? <laughs> Why not part 16? It shall be done. It shall be done. Show me the accused. Okay, can we make it there? Yes, we can. That's good. I'm sure there's nothing over here. Good. Every time we take a settlement away from her, she's just... That's just more money that she can't afford to pay her troops with. That's exactly what we want to be seeing. Yes, a sound plan. Hey, Legend of War, congratulations on the baby announcement. No worries, dude. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. Yep, real excited. Seek out the heretics. The nation calls. Alright, Port of Secrets is... Yeah, we can stay there for this turn. Alright, can we make it Servant here? I didn't think faith. we would be able to, but that's I fine. Do anything for Sigma. Champion of the faith. Move on in. Begins. So that army, which they recruited over here. Just... Who calls? Yep, you got this right one. Hope. Cool, so we attack that settlement next turn. This is just gone really nicely. I am the Initially I was a little bit worried, not gonna Sigma lie. Has heard my but everything seems pretty good now. So we've got one more turn left on that. True servant of Sigma. Oh, I wounded my fucking hero. How much? Oh, I got intel here. Gairan whispers. Onwards. Doesn't seem to be much out here though, and these are strong armies, so we should be fine. I'll just recruit some more witch hunters here. If you lose, we get to name the firstborn. Um, no, my wife would not approve of that. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Yeah, honey, look, I know we had this really normal name picked out for our kid, but I lost a campaign, and so now they want me to name, I have to name our child, Marathi Big Tits McGee. Yep, seems fair. Yep. Yeah, sorry, I gotta name our kids Silostra Deerfan. Yeah, at school. You know. You know. Billy, chair here. Jane, here. Silostra Deerfan, here. Why were you named Silostra? My dad. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that to my kids. How much did your dad hate you? <laughs> Alright. We should be fine up. We got intel out here, right? Rune Lord. I'll cast the runes. What? See, so yeah, we're not going to develop it up. It's just because Marathi... The war against Marathi is over, pretty much. 
I thought I'd gobble up some territory that's ruins before somebody else gets him. Otherwise, we're just going to have to fight for it later anyway. Okay, looking down here. It looks like Thoric got beat the fuck up again. I just can't seem to get to Occam's Forever Maze. Weird stuff's happening with um, Tic Tac Toe. You stay put. We're not at war with him, but I just have to keep an eye on him. If he does go to war with us, big time army recruitment needed. Got defenses here, so we should be fine. Alright. That appears to be all we can do. None of these settlements we need to sell this turn. And once again, this is just this is just an absolute stalemate here. And that's fine, because eventually our other armies are gonna catch up to here and they're gonna be surrounded. So that's fine. All right, I said I was going to recruit Always some witch hunters here because we have a lack of intel. Who calls champion of the faith? Doesn't matter if they get assassinated. They, they probably will. But just Ready. get them out there. I need to see what's going on out this way. This is all looking real good. Castalton's not doing anything. As long as that maintains, I am fine with that. Lock them down in some places, because we just could out-resource them. They can't do anything about it. If Kislev wants to win, they have to be aggressive. Not passive. And if they're aggressive, I'll kill them. So I've won either way. Okay, that seems to be it. Just checking our soft spots, making sure that there's... No surprises. Cool. Moving on. So, what? The Empire. So. Disciplined. <laughs> Come here, baby. Disciplined. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes I feel like Zinch is not going to be defeated unless I get in there and help out. But he's not getting any stronger, at least. At this point, the expedition will ask you to annex you. Actually, that's an interesting thought. They might annex Ostland or Ostermark. They might do that. They could do it. Hmm. All right, here we go. What are you doing? They don't know what to do, so they're doing nothing. Iridesa Horror getting replenishment instead of training is huge. That is huge for Zinch, absolutely. Because this would be such a pain in the ass to replenish with Switch, like uh, with Zinch. You fight one battle, like great, ten turns to get the full strength from in Sumer. green territory. So I'd constantly just fight battles and try not to lose my like get units killed. That's what made Zinch really not fun to play, because of how long it took to replenish your forces. Have you seen the Sweet Baby Ink drama? I don't know anything about that at all. You can prefer to tell me, but I don't know anything about it. Roughly how many hours back did you start the Kiss Level? Pretty much at the start. Oh, this whole episode is the Kiss Level. Every turn, 
Somebody gets wounded. Two people get wounded. Let us begin. The Empire. Show me the accused. I will marshal the men. Damn. Sigma compels us. Let us move. Okay, pour the secrets. Here you go. Approach and make your offer. But I make no promises to my ascent. I will. 2.6 view viewers, six hours in the stream is pretty good. Yes, it is very good, for sure. Yeah, this is a much better turnout today than other days, for sure. But now I'm worried because people are showing up because of the Kistle White War, but tomorrow, what are we going to do? There's no more Kistle White War. Maybe, maybe it's War of the Beard tomorrow. The Empire! Also, let's have a look at the statistics of the campaign at the moment, give you a bit of an idea of how things have been going. So, if we have a look, currently hold 160 settlements, currently lost 455 settlements somehow. Oh, that's because like, every time you trade a settlement, I've traded settlements back and forth a lot. So, hi highest, how much it says I've spent? Total income has been 44 million, so I've spent a lot. Now, there it is. Total expenditure, 26,558,835. Expenditure and upkeep is the highest. Six hundred nineteen victories. That had nine heroic victories. One of them was today, I think. And then no defeats, obviously. To serve. Seek out the heretics. I trust no man. Cool. There is Ready. just that no is issues here. Nice. It's all just free real estate. She couldn't defend her territory out here. What does the emperor bid? All right. I need you to Let pick up the pace through here, so don't Pray use in camp stance. They don't take much attrition anyway. I am ready. Actually, let me see I if. Yes, I could force march you here. No, not until Cause guilt tends sound. to take a lot of damage in order resolve. Moving. Yes. The and he hasn't oh he has fully recovered. But this will help taking less damage. Wait if you declare war on everyone. That will make things take a lot longer if I do that. Because that That means I have to pay attention to every single army in the world. It would just be a huge mistake. That's not the goal of this campaign. Alright, we own the entire province. Alright, so Cliff of Beasts, what hand it over. Do you bring before the scouts of the Empire? Okay. Then... The Blighted Grove. Yes. Good. See, now he wants Confederation again for some reason. Looking at Castelton, cool. Alright, Carl Franz is ready to roll again. Alright, we need to check to see where the border is. Sile encampment, okay. That's where you're going. Just, oh you fucker! You got rid of my... Oh, you got rid of all, both of my fucking heroes! Raise your weapons. Pretty sure there's no armies out here. Oh damn it! I wanted a bit more than that. The nation calls. We better recruit another one next turn. Is it time? So yeah, we'll move him in through Nagalfali Plain, which will probably draw Castalton away, because I don't like him on this coastline here. And as soon as he's left the coastline, I can go and attack Crimson Harvest with multiple armies, no problem. By the comet, you make fools of both of us. What orders? Cracker Drack or Winter Pyre. So, 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 so. Tools of judgment ready. Aye, 
I trust no man. Seek out the heretics. I will turn my gaze on you. All right. If I go to Winterpyre, I was hang on. Cracker Drag is worth a fair bit of money to her, but I need to make sure that we've got Ostland over to here when we start sailing down to Monolith of Flesh. So what we can do is get to Altar of Spawn and then double back around to Cracker Drac and start making our way through here. I think that would be the best call. All right, I don't think I. Oh, we're not taking attrition through here. Oh, because we're in camp stance. Never mind. Ready to serve. Guided by. Good Sigma. and sell Lair of the Troll King. Come then. Only Sigma's God Ulrich can join. All right, that's good. Then over here, this is fine. Just you know, keep an eye on things. But for the most part, this is all looking fine. My armies have slowly been pulled out of ambush stance. Because I want them to try to capture Prague, but they're not attempting it. They see my armies and like, oh, player too strong. <laughs> but it's fine, totally fine. All right, this looks good. Big freaking daisy chain of heroes out here. Tools of judgment ready. They will be so yeah, Gelt, or not Gelt, um, Toddy and Volkmar, they'll go to Bilius Cliff and then they're sailing to Monolith of Flesh. Which we'll need to make sure that um, these settlements are owned by Os... Oh, if I capture the Forbidden Citadel first, then they don't need to worry too much about it. Yeah, I'll send him over here and then I'll double back over this way. Yeah. Okay, I don't see anything else that needs to be done. This all looks pretty clean. Any settlements I need to sell? Nope. Not that I'm seeing. Okay, all good. So Kataran now has... 27 regions. From a starting territory of 71. Her army over here. She's not at war with the Hunts Marshal Expedition, so she just can't take him back. That being said, we made Ostland and Ostermark go to war with her, and they just never, just never fought back. Never did it, for some reason. And that's fine by me. Alright, checking the usual stuff. So, this one here needs want? to go to... Ooh. Oh, okay, so is this password? They're not interested in the Phoenix Gate. Looks like we can take White Peak. Cast evil out. Okay, now when it comes to White Peak, we should blow it up. Good, we're still actually here. And then we'll occupy it. Because it'll have no garrison there whatsoever. So if Rogue Army comes over here, attacks White Peak as an example, they can't do anything. No, just nothing there. And then we'll take Tor Anrock, this one over here, go to the Phoenix Gate. Then I'll hand you back to... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to hand you back to Clan Angren. It's time for Clan Angren to go broke. <laughs> Me owning their, ter their armies will make them go broke. All right, all of this is looking good out here. Yep, Thorek looks like he's about to get kicked out. Tic-Tac-Toe was defeated, which means I don't need this army here anymore. Which saves me a fair bit of cash. Okay, all looking all good. All right, let's move on to the next turn. Just double checking to see. Yep, okay, moving on. Let's double check this again. Yeah, it's all good. Good, good, good. So, Gilt will go over to the Forest of Decay. And then head to Bilius. Actually, 
I might head, send all three to um, one of the flesh and let this guy here sort out all of this. So he's got three more settlements before he'll swing into Norska. All right, moving on. Is Cathay side all done? Yep. Yep, everything from the World's Edge Mountain east of that is completely finished. The only thing we need to watch out for are rogue armies or beastmen or, or savage greenskins that might show up. That's it. Which, you know, could happen. Yo, is FB or Insta down for everyone else? That's what I've heard, that, that they're both down. Between Dark Elf and Kislev, which was harder to fight? Definitely Kislev, man. I didn't think I got any, like, battles that it was actually possible to lose against uh, the Dark Elves. Like, we've had some real clutch fights against Kislev already. Although, Marathi. Marathi was an exception. She was very powerful. Only Zinch left. Zinch is the Zinch and Marathi are the last disorder races factions left. Then it's just the order tide. So there's lizards will probably be the easiest to get rid of, but not the most. It's just not worth it. Then the dwarfs we could be made to to mess them yeah, around. Peace, for that is all I am. Can take my time and slowly piss off either Thorek or probably Bella. Eh, I don't want to deal with um with over here. Taking on Thorek here. Yeah, I don't. I've got Ostermark to transfer it over to. Yeah, probably Rapants would be next. I'm just not sure. Well, nothing happened over that end turn. If we have a look over here, yep, he has moved. Bring me to my men. Moving off. Mhm. Mm I trust no man. I serve the Helden Haber. Protector of the weak. Yep. Okay, tower flies. To strengthen the Ooh. empire. Just absolutely gobbling up all of Kislev's territory here. Alright, I don't think we need to move in in camp stance, which should be fine. Oh, actually, it shouldn't really make that much of a difference. We should still be able to attack an extent from this distance. Make sure Stormvrak Mount is sold. Approach and make your offer. But I make no promises to my ascent. On it! Okay, so that's finished. Well, st we st we're still gonna deal with this. We're still gonna deal with this. So. Yeah, you know, that's there's some pretty strong armies here. Not gonna lie, that has to be dealt with. We're not gonna get out of this without fighting them. But by taking out all these other settlements first, it will strip them of their income, and they might start disbanding some units. Volkmar. By the Heldenhammer, Sigma watches over me. It is for the best. How much land does Katarin have left? Probably about 25 settlements after this. Yeah, not much. Not much. Our friends should be able to order resolve that, right? And Emperor. Summon the Elector Counts. Men, I will fight with you. 
Oh, yeah, no problem. Good stuff. And that's deprived her of another iron resource, so she's not going to get that upkeep cost reduction. Need to sell Sarl encampment. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all... Very well. Good. Okay, then Carl Franz needs to double back over this way. He doesn't need to go to Monolith Flesh. These ones will just take Altar of Spawn, then they're going to double back to Crack a Drag, Struck Drucken, and start hitting them here, where... They're capable of fighting these guys, a bit at a time. Uh, maybe it's not even worth taking these guys out of ambush stance, because there's a hero here, it just keeps pulling us out. Their pull-out game is strong. Just keep intel around to see what we can see. Alright, so yeah, looking at Kislev's territory, they now have 23 settlements. Where was Katarin? She's all the way over here. What? For Sigma! By the comet. Okay, let's send Gelt over to Monolith of Flesh. I am Volkmar. So he'll land over there, capture that. These guys will set sail. Awesome. I command here. Arch Lecter. They're still refusing to do anything. Praise Sigma. Cool. All right, let's have a look over here. So good, we got to access Master the Phoenix the Gate. Craft. Take it. Cool. Very nice. And then we've got this one over here. So that means we've got four settlements in Ulth One that have absolutely no garrison. Cool, cool, cool. I think Marathi is completely out of settlements now. No, she's got one. She's got Galleon's Graveyard, and it is... They're heading towards it right now. And then it's just a mop-up job of her Black Arcs. Because without any port, or any more port settlements, she won't be able to produce new ones. It's over for her. We could maybe go and capture Torilir. Maybe. I wonder if Rapants and Luan Leonco will ever confederate. Heir to the Empire. So let's have a look here. So if we have a look, so, everybody should be loving us again. Yes. Yep, yep. Champion of the lady. Definitely yes. not. Right, does she want peace? Yeah, don't give her peace. Uh, Iron Brows Expedition. Yep, very happy with us. Clan Angrand, happy. Don't care about these two. So it looks like there's a few missions. She'll have to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, at some point we're going to have to fight Katarin. So, put that down for that. I was hoping that Katarin would go to take some of um, Albion, but no, nope, she never did. Alright, that appears to be the end of what we can do this turn here. Just checking the shenanigan faction, which is Zinch. Thorax keeping him pretty busy, but... Yeah, his army's got destroyed. You've got to get in there and smash up their recruiting settlements. Like, just send an expedition down to Demon's Gate and blow it up. And also at um, the Goddess Crater. Sorry, Godless Crater. And Fate Weaver's Crevasse. Because that's two, uh, sorry, three tier five settlements. Oh, and this one. So you've got four tier five settlements. you got to go blow them up. Too bad we don't have something like Croak to go and sort that out. That'd be good. Alright, moving on. Yep. After Kislev, you're gonna genocide the lizards. Um, don't know. I don't know if that's the best call. Because what we, what we want to do is not necessarily take on the weakest faction, but take on a faction that we can just transfer all the settlements to a vassal, or just gobble up, and just have a, a easy-to-manage territory. 
So... Okay, actually, Tlaqua, yes, we could actually go and take on Tlaqua because they have what? territory next to Ostermark. That I could work. Turn my gaze on you. That would actually work. Yes, blessed is this action. So yeah, Tlaqua, yeah. No As for Last Defenders, probably no. Franz, many call me Emperor. Cool. Clear Southern Lands, clear Southern Chaos Waste, clear Donut. Yeah, we've still got Bretonia as well to deal with. Watching you while Meta is down. Fuck watches a meta. Does that count as a defeat? Does what count as a defeat? Google is down. Google's not down. Yeah, Fealty's been going down with them, but that's fine. Did anything happen? Looks like, like even if even if that like gets destroyed, I'll just go over there and uh, rebuild it. But I can't risk random, impossible battles. Can't risk it. Zuck got zucked. Zuck got cucked. <laughs> I don't know. Your word you got is zucked. My Did you make Facebook? Yeah, fair enough. Hi, Legion. It's really nice to see you stream. Sometimes I wish you streamed daily, like back in the day, but I'm glad you stream it all. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Good to be here for now. Alright, next stop for them is Tower of Torment, and then they get to be disbanded. Seek out the heretics. After Marathi's gone, can Belagar do a good job against Kairos if you give him a mission? He might. Thing is, the AI doesn't really have much tendency of traveling a long distance to fight an enemy. Then again, he did go to Ulthwan, so maybe. Let's have to wait and see. Tower of Flies, hand it over. Approach and make your offer, but I make no promises to my ascent. Empire's blessings, yes! Good. All right. But, uh, monolith of flesh. We shall be victorious. Well, I was a little bit worried about that steam tank, but it is still technically alive. Because <laughs> they're dead. Who's next? Probably lizards. Tlaqua. To battle. Nice. To strengthen the empire. The Righteous Hammer of Sigma. The Wicked Flee Before Me. Bring me to my men. Very nice. Here to serve. Sigma <coughs> is with Excuse us. Excuse me. of the faith. Indeed. Show me the accused. Alright, Cracker Drax there next stop. No point moving this one. Warrior of Sigma. 
Yeah, they'll need both of them if we want to order us off that. Okay, Forbidden Your Citadel will be handed Marcus. over to to them, but we need they to scout ahead a little bit. Who calls? I am Franz. They will obey. Scott MC did a ten dollar super chat. Uh, which I could sorry, wish I could catch more live streams, but being in PST time zone is rough. Love your content, man. I wish you could catch more of my live streams. I appreciate that. Oh, you doubled up on the super chat. Uh, I appreciate. That we basically did a twenty dollar super chat there. Um, I'll give you. I'll give you double double likes and double hearts for that. <laughs> I wish there was a button that I could press refund super chat because I don't think you meant to do the same super chat twice. It would be really good if I could just like refund super chat. Okay, Forbidden Citadel. Maybe if you ask YouTube, As they'll you um, so. they'll refund it for you. What about Forest of Decay? Which one's Forest of Decay? Oh right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's he's gonna sort that out. That's so he's gonna go to Forest of Decay and then go to Billy's Cliffs. I already planned this out. It's all good. The nation calls. It's all good. Who calls? By the silver hammer, yes. So these were those ones that got Step wounded before by assassins. Seek out the heretics. No, do not lead me astray. Now onwards. Cool. Who calls? Jade wizard. Tools of judgment ready. Good stuff. Good, 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 Show good. Show me the accused. Yes, for now. Seek out the heretics. Protect All right, I think that's it for us this turn. Uh, we should sell the black rock. Speak, but be wary of what you say. I very well. Got you. Just making sure. It's all good. Billy's cliff can also go. The expedition. Uh, no, actually, I still need that. There's no armies. Um, you never know. Like, uh, it'll take longer to get back, but it's, it's worth it. All right. All right, so we just connected the Hunts Marshall expedition to, or we're about to, to Ostermark. No so if we ever look at this at the moment, we can see that they have met each other. So we're giving you the Tower of Flies. Oh, I've... I already had done that, but there was a friggin' agent in the way that looked like it was my settlement. Yeah, it was doing this. Was like... I don't know. <laughs> so... Yeah, it was doing something like this. Looked like it was my settlement. It's all good. What? On March, the nation calls. Hunt them out. Yes. Scott MC did a $5 super chat. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, have another heart. Okay, so yep, nothing's going on here. Nice and quiet on the so... eastern front. Good. So uh, she now has 19 settlements. Good stuff. Yeah, I said I would Champion. come around over here and grab Tori Lear. Hmm, okay. Hunts can confederate them, can't they? Yeah, but that's not really a big deal. That just means that the Hunts Martial Expedition will own a lot. Won't really change anything. It, do you know what it will change? It will allow me to get Becca. It will allow me to get long campaign victory by trading settlements. So it's not the worst thing in the world for that to happen. 
if he does confederate them. So. But yeah, Kislev doesn't appear to be recruiting any more armies. They've just they've used up all of their income here. And they're just dropping down further. Alright, checking the usual soft spots. That's it, checking the usual soft spots. Everything's looking good here. Good. All right, moving on. Any new enemies? Nope. Good. Moving on. As this list gets smaller, it's easier to spot out any anomalies in it. The nation calls. When does a game like? such as this become boring to you? Has it been entertaining throughout? Well, yeah, because it's always a challenge. I have to be on edge 100% of the time. If I if I slip up and get overconfident or don't protect my borders, then it's over. You know, getting the whole map without a single defeat requires a lot of attention. Why have you stopped construction? Maybe there's some good landmarks? No, look, I'm. whenever I get something that's got a landmark, I make sure I built it. It's just, most of the construction now is just, it's just not important. Like, I might make an extra four or five hundred extra income, just can't be bothered. When I've got near 18 million in the bank, why bother? Katarin finally moved her army. Yeah. Well, now that she is just completely overwhelmed by the situation, she is just doesn't know what to do. The AI is not good at situations where they feel completely overwhelmed, which is why we're getting a complete breakdown here. Disapplied got wounded. Yeah, I think there was a fire wizard that got wounded. That's fine. Give Marcus a million. Why? Oh, no, a Jade Wizard got wounded. Which one? Okay. Well, okay. Well, you know, he'll, she'll, yeah, he'll come back fairly soon. If they're going to wound anyone, I'm glad it was that one. Sigma. True servant of Sigma. I go where I am needed. Looking good here. I trust no man. I am prince and emperor. Mm. Let me just make sure there's nothing here. Yep, nothing here. I You're free to go, you. friends. Go take it. Ambushed. Good shit. Okay, now we know Katarin's coming around this way, so we need to make sure we're in encamp stance as we progress this direction. Yes. Take up the pace. Monolith of Flesh needs to be handed over to Ostland. Yep. Surely an agreement will be reached. Monolith of Flesh. Are we not all sons of Sigma? All right. And also these settlements over here. Altar of Spawns. And then Winterpire. So be it. Very nice. I need to pee. I'm drinking too much tea. Ready. By Sigma's right. Should be able to reach there next turn. If not, no big deal. But yeah, should be able to reach. Pre 
Praise be to Sigma. Ready? Is that where heretics lurk? They will be judged. All right, there is nothing in the way between Tower of Torment and this location, so I am just going to force march all the way through. Ever vigilant. Ever onward. Over the intern, I'm going to go take a leak because yeah, I'm starting to really need to pee. Okay, Monolith of Bubonicus. There you go. 120,000. Okay, so that's the last settlement for them. Come bringing over here. Over here, this all seems fine. They're building up on the border. Not really. Kind of. Moving off. Armies on both sides there. Your account seems stable. Yeah, yeah, people enjoying themselves. I trust no man. We're getting pretty close to actually Don't finishing this as well. Because we should have in total about yes. 400 settlements. At this point. Alright, is there anything? Oh yeah, this one over here. Should just be able to order this. Because I don't have any garrison. And I'll have this army just stay here. Because it will be a low tier settlement that I might be able to use to make a trade. But yeah, we've got a, a bit of a foothold in... In this area. It's like, oh yeah, I've held on to this area before, briefly. So that's good. So Marathi, it, Marathi's finished. She's got no territory left. She is Dunskies. All right, that's good. That's some area that I don't need to worry about. Over here, it looks as though... Yeah, there is nothing to worry about here right now. And Thorek is continuing to invade. That's good. All right, like I said, I've got to go and pee. So I'm going to just hit the end turn. And while the end turn's going on, I'll be doing that and I'll come right back. We moved. Hang on. You need to come down over Ready? here. Is there anything I haven't sold? Oh, I need to sell Volcano's Heart, although it seems pretty safe out I here. Will listen, but my time is short. Right. Yeah, it's hard to concentrate when I need to pee this bad. <laughs> so this would be a great time to lose a battle. Uh, there's also no Nuggle File. Your plan's fine. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna hit and turn there, and I'm gonna go pee because otherwise I can't concentrate. I'll be right back, guys. Oops. It is time. By the silver hammer, yes. Who calls? Tools of judgment ready. They will be judged. So? By the comet. at peace, for that is all I ever want. Okay, so I'm back, and... Oh, even he's at war with Tlaqua. That's interesting. Hmm. Castalton moved north. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. See that right there. There's actually there's Katarin as well. I'm 
TNT. Okay. So yeah, I can see that they're the ice queen trying to counter us. No. Alright, Katarin's army is dog shit. But there's 20 What's units in here, so home? what I need to do is back off. I'll fight her out in the field, I no problem. Not with not with Castalton as well. Suck shit. My Fucking Castalton, you piece of dick. To the That's what happens when you move north, you fuck. <laughs> we'll see the motherland again. Ever vigilant. Later, cocksucker. I will listen, <laughs> but my time is short. As you say, sir. There we go. So even if he comes back down here, he he can't get me. I'll keep the army here until we're finished. Summon the elector. Alright, Nagel Farley plane as well. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this Matthew Wilson did a five pound super chat. Thanks for the stream. On sick leave and watching you dumpster Katarin has been a nice distraction today. Drink that tea. Thanks, I, I appreciate that. Okay. So yes. Yeah, I wouldn't mind fighting Katarin, but I Let's doubt go. that she will engage with us. Oh no, look, anti large infantry. Um yeah, but these ones are trash. And these ones just keep moving across here. You summon me. What? My order and wherever Katarin isn't, that's where we'll be aggressive. And where she is, we'll be defensive. And she just won't be able to do anything about it because I out... I just out finance her. She can't do anything about it. Yes. This will bolster the nation. Alright, this kicks her... Almost out of the, the Northern Chaos Waste. Oh no! Ulrich's will. I don't want to fight it manually. It's just in guilt. Fight for our nation! I think they're taking more attrition than me. Show me the accused. War calls! So I'll just besiege you, because I don't need this guy down here. I'll just see if next turn they'll, um... Yeah, I've got that. Uh... Can't really do much else with it. I guess we'll just have to educate out. Otherwise, otherwise we've got to fight it manually and pff, fucking siege. They don't stand a chance. I don't need these guys down here right away, so it's fine. Be a bit lazy with it. Your word is my command. Now. Don't be lazy. Well, I can afford to be lazy because it'll be quicker. We only need to besiege it for a couple of turns, I think. I obey only the wind. Praise be to Sigma. Honored to serve. Ready to serve. Yeah, it's fine. I know the other army didn't show up, but it's fine. Because they don't have anything that can counterattack us. We'll replenish real quick. And it'll be fine. Because, yeah, we've got a good amount of intel and they're just not here. Alright. You might as well move ahead a little bit. That way we can strike at Strucken next turn. I trust no man. Come on. Can we make it? Can we make it? No. Alright. Let's we'll count this turn. Seek out the heretics. Hey, look at that, turn 301. When was the last time you did it to turn 300 on a stream? Long time ago. Probably probably the Lizardman campaign. The, this is Total War Last Defenders campaign they did ages ago. Ooh, Tower of Lycian is a ruin. Mine, 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 <laughs> What orders? Oh, they occupied that. But yeah, just leave it as a ruin. Alright. 
and I'll send this one back up to here. Because they'll be able to grow it reasonably quickly with these guys as well. Because we've got a fair few warrior priests here. They'll, they'll grow quick, fairly quick. Which is nice. The Empire. But yeah, don't build these settlements up. And yeah, Marathi's stuff is pretty much dealt with. No more bullcrap from her. Looking out for Zinch shenanigans. All good. Are there any new factions? Nope. Looking good here. Alright, Katarin has how many settlements left? I will call it 16. Very nice. How often have you seen the AI confederate Eltharion? I have never seen it happen in any of my campaigns. Not once. I know what you're referring to, but I've never seen I it happen. Mojo Cat AMVZ, two dollars super chat. How impactful are Vigor Loss Reduction effects? They're effective on things that have high move speed, right? So if you're using cavalry and they're not max tier experience, then reduce fatigue loss is very useful. But if you've got max tier infantry and you're like just going to send them into melee, it's not very impactful because units get exhausted really quickly in melee. So it doesn't make a huge impact. Uh, unless you can make them completely perfect vigor if you can make them perfect vigor like for example um i think with warriors of chaos you can make chosen to be uh completely um have no uh, basically perfect vigor then that's definitely worth having because that'll just make them good fighting throughout the whole battle uh, but yeah getting like 10 to 30 percent it's not that big of a deal whoops okay so crack a drag and build some gemstones for you. All right, that all looks good. And on this front over here, yeah, there's just seek out the heretics. We're not doing anything. Yes, blessed is this action. Show me the accused. All right. Okay, looking good. Let's move on to the next turn. Oh, maybe if I build equipment in this siege, that might help a little bit with auto resolve. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Raise your weapons. So they'll probably get some attrition, yeah, reduction. But I should be getting a lot less than them. Alright, moving on. And Tlaqua is... yep. Yep. Okay, moving on. I wonder who is on the chopping block after Kislev? Probably southern... southern lands down here, I'd say. Tlaqua first, then probably Rapunz. Then Thoric Ironbrow. Then maybe Belagar. I will hear your petition, but make no promises to And then probably finally Corone. Salt of my units. Belagar has something like seven armies camping in the donut. Yep. That's fine. 
He likes us. He's not going to betray us right now. That's okay. I was just using him as a scout. That's okay. Right, that did some damage, but we recovered from it. And there. Okay. I serve Orsan. Moving off. Who calls? Let's see if they bring their forces down to protect Varg Camp. I doubt it. Yes, blessed is this action. The Empire. Alright, the Forest of Decay. We took a little bit of attrition, but I think they took more. Can we order it? We'll wait another turn. They're taking more attrition than we are. I trust no man. By the comet for Sigma. Show me the accused. By Sigma. Forward in his name. You are known faction. Huh? Number of factions went up to 17. Did it? There's someone here that we haven't met. Ah, oh, fuck. Rebel faction, all for one. No, no, no. No, I got rid of that. Yeah, heaps of growth. Um, yeah, there's somebody that we haven't met. Boys of the Forbidden Coast? No, that's not it. They're not on my list here for search factions. It's the rats, Karn. Let's see that person. Unless Karn is... Oh, Karn was there. Oh, there's a lot of characters. <laughs> it searches our own as well. Uh, okay. Probably a rebellion. Mm, rebellions don't show up on that. It is a rogue army. It has it has to be a it's either a rogue army or a green skin or a beans. Those are the fucking options. It could have just spawned like in the middle out here somewhere. Because I don't have line of sight over the elect accounts that could show up there. Unfortunately, I don't know because if if it's in our territory, we should get a notification about it. Beastmen and Southern Waste. It could be. Could be. Could be a Beastmen faction. 
just don't know. Hey, Radiant Tash, how's it going? 100% in the middle of Ostermark or Marcus territory? Yeah. Well, if that if that's the case, it's not a big deal. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, because, like, having a look at the search, it's just not there. It can't possibly be in my territory. And scouts in all directions. Yeah, or just just uncover the entire map. Uh, look, we'll hear about it. Hang on. Let me see. If I look at factions and see who's at war with everyone, this faction will make itself known pretty quickly. Speak. Iron Brow. Ice Queen of Kiss. Just looking to see who's at war with it. If anything. Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Nothing I can do about it in the meantime. All right, crack a drack, sell. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all sons of Sigma? Of course. Okay, what else do we need to sell? We own Shock Draken, but that's okay. We'll sell that next turn. Warrior of Sigma. And oh, here we go. These guys here. This is the end of the road for them. Wolfheart's mechanic? Hmm, that's interesting. So Wolfheart's mechanic. Let's have a little look. Shouldn't be, because he hasn't been fighting any battles. Should only show up in Lustry, I think. Is that Wolf from Hurtvig there? Jeez. Into battle. All right. Well, there's nothing much I can do about that, so we're just gonna have to Sigma wait it out. Actually, uh, if we have a look here, they. Yeah, it, no, it just time. keeps getting ahead here. Sigma, grant me strength. Who calls? I die before betraying Kislev. Castelton's army is not a doom stack. Not compared to what she is disbanding units, I think. I think she's running out of money. Alright. We'll just keep it like this and we'll just see how things play out, because this is working out pretty well. Is it time? March on the witches. Tools of judgment ready. Okay. Alright, let's uh, check this again. Yep, move on to the next turn. Look, I don't know where the faction is. If it's like freaking right here in our tax camper bad, for example. What what can I do? I haven't met it, which means it hasn't met me. So it shouldn't declare war on me. Yes. I trust no man. I serve Sigma. Oh, yeah, for Seek one. out the heretics. Ready? Now. They will be judged. So. It'll, it, these kind of armies will usually pop up in the middle of nowhere, declare war on the, whatever faction it actually did pop in, which I have a feeling it's Ostermark, because just odds are it's there. Somewhere in the middle of, like, the Dark Lands. Declares War starts dishing out some damage, and then we know where it is. And we can send some armies to go sort it out.
Castalton's disbanding armies. They're out of money. We've bled them dry now. Oh shit, I forgot to sell that other settlement. Friends of the Empire. Can't. Not right now. Excuse me. So I got fully assassinated, but that's okay. <laughs> They're really wounding my characters. They're just I've got so many, they can't possibly stop me now. What? Yeah, these armies are getting smaller. Unhand the Supreme Patriarch. There's no money coming from here because they have a rebellion at the Monolith of Katam. That couldn't possibly be. No, that couldn't possibly be it. They'll just get rid of it anyway. Okay, let's have a look and see if anyone has so, been declared war on by some rando faction. By the light of the what? Master Rune, ready. They are one. Teradan, Sine. So when we're looking for this, yep, it just won't show us anything that we haven't become aware of. So if I can't do anything about it, what, no point whining. If they're out of money, shouldn't they be taking bankruptcy attrition? Okay, so the AI, when they run out of money, they disband their units until um, until they can afford it. So every time we take a settlement from them now, that's actually making money, they will disband a few more units. Okay, we need to get rid of the Tower of Torment. Approach and make your offer, but I make no promises to my ascent. Sigma's will. Those are 17 factions, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I counted them and they were not seventeen. Yeah, look, these used to be full stacks, they're just bending. No higher power than I. Okay, rather than go through here where it's a bit dangerous going near Yetich. What we do is we sail to Frozen Landing, where it's not dangerous. So, ever onward to battle. <laughs> no. Helden Hammer. And you seventeen. Well, there should be 18 factions then. See? There's 18 factions. And Hunt's Martial Expedition is somehow the weakest. Awaiting orders. I will do anything for Sigma. Going forward. Purge the heretics. Going forth. Our paths have crossed. I shall pull them from the earth. Okay, cool. So we need to sell Shitakan. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all sons of Sigma? Fine! So yeah, that is looking 
a lot more manageable over here. <laughs> yeah, look, these are all full stacks. They just they can't afford it anymore. She's out of territory. So she's making 740 from here. If we can take this. There we go. Just had to besiege it for two turns. No one got wiped out. Cool. Lazy. So 700 and... Oh, yeah, she got no trade agreements. We made sure of that. Alright, I don't think I need these armies here anymore. Yeah, we don't need these armies here. It's good. To strengthen the empire. Warrior of Sigma. Ready. And we found it. It's the College of Pyrotechnics. I want you to go to war with the Ice Core. So yeah, we found them. We found them. It's the College of Pyrotechnics. Um, don't declare war on them this turn. At least we know where they are. That's the most important thing. Yes. All those people. You're number 17. Oh, well, don't. You look stupid right now. That's okay, just give me a super chat and make it up for it. <laughs> yours. So, I trust Did no you know that donating money to streamers forward. increases the size of your penis? <laughs> really? No, I'm just kidding. Um, the nation yeah, there's no iron there. So, yeah, we'll swing around, hit them in the back around this way. She's just hemorrhaging cash. Reason to command me. The Doomstack Rogue Army? Yeah, course. yeah, but honestly, it's fine. We'll be able to handle it. The Empire. It's fine. Praise Sigma. And these armies here, they're just decaying. They'll probably disband another unit or so. Okay, so this guy here will head down this way soon. I'll just spend a turn. Okay. Alright. Is there another one? Nope, this is that one. Okay, cool. And then looking over here, just making sure there's no shenanigans. Good to see Thorak down here. Come on, somebody fucking take out the settlement already. You take him out here, and then it's half of it done. It's taking you freaking... Look at this! How the hell did that happen? <laughs> you know what? Force war might have happened. Yeah, he hates me completely now. That's fine. He's, he's finished. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything else we got to do here. Just keep advancing on these settlements. She is now down to 11 settlements. And the amount of forces that she's got, she can't possibly afford them, especially given that most of these territories are shit. The last good settlement she has is Volksgrad. And she's obviously heavily fortified that. Confederate the college? Yeah, I wish. Thomas did 100 and okay. Super chat, I'll take your word for it. Start, sorry, Thomas Person. No, thanks, dude, I appreciate that. Yeah, 100% guaranteed. <laughs> anyway, it's, yeah. I'm obviously bullcrapping. Um, Mun, Mun Dangerous did a $5 super chat. I appreciate that despite all your knowledge and control of the game, there are still small moments that induce panic. Thanks for the great streams. Thanks, dude, appreciate that as well. Yeah, well, it happens. Yavia, sorry, Javier Ramirez did a tenderless subject. How long until I see results? Hmm. I think it varies from person to person. <laughs> it also depends on the size of the super chat. Here's the thing. When you do a hundred dollar super chat, I get Ligma and then it increases your dick size. So mine gets smaller. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do it. I'm pretty sure people get I'm joking. So is she going to disband some units? No, she decided to ban disband them from over here. Mm. 
She did, yeah. She disbanded three additional units. M Par Pastor did a three euro super chat. Thank you for the extra inches. No worries, dude. You'll always have a massive dong in my side, in my eyes. <laughs> Appreciate super chat. Yeah, we defeated these armies by not fighting them. A new regional power. Doesn't matter. Another one bloody assassinated. It's the only thing they can do now. Show me the accused. Yeah, look, Katarin keeps getting weaker. Castelton didn't this turn. They've left Volkred Volkred undefended now. Oh, they keep assassinating my dudes here. The trees tell me much. Oops, don't do that. I Jason Lilly became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Yeah, we got borrowed money for uh, money uh, movement from last turn. Make our way down to Temple of Heimkill. Following Sigmar's path. Yeah. Show me the accused. Servant of the faith. The great outdoors. Tets up. We're there. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Praise be to Sigmar. We can finally maybe advance on Volksgrad. So what we do there is basically just send one army. Or two armies to attack it. Occupy it, sell to Oslin, disband those armies, and they don't counterattack. Alright, we have to sell Frozen Landing. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fine mark tag? Indeed. Does it keep track of how many heroes have been assassinated? I think it does, yeah. Let me have a look. Heroes, 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 heroes. Heroes lost. 231. The thing is, when you disband a hero, so when I do recruiting and disbanding, that counts. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. So, Varg camp. Yeah, just ignore Katarin. Sigmar has shown us the path. See ya. Just ignore her. By Sigmar's right. On march! I am the supreme patriarch. Empire's blessings, yes. And continue to take away our territory. All right, Varg camp. We got to sell that to I you. I listen, but my time is short. So be it. He bought that for a dollar. So when they're done with Monolith of Katam, Serpent Jetty, swing around, attack Trollfjord, make your way up through here, and we've basically got a pincered. I trust no man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Tools of judgment ready. Alright, this one come down this way. Pick up the pace. May need to force march it. Get it out of the uh, chaos way sooner rather than later. Cool. All right, the Chaos Wastes are completely sorted. All right, we'll give that settlement to... I'll get more money from Ostermark. It doesn't really I will matter. Listen, but my time is short. What's it called again? The Forest of Decay. Very well. Nicely done. Okay. Now she only has... 11 settlements. Yeah, we didn't take any settlements from her this turn. So she's probably not going to disband anything. This army here is getting stronger. 
come on. Join war against ice cores. Mm-hmm. Just checking down here. I don't think Zinch has really got the capabilities to send anything at us. But we always need to check because of anti-player bias. Over here, this all seems good. Yeah, I've been borrowing this for a while because I wanted to bleed out his um, income. Which I think worked. Yeah, his strength ranking's not that good. Considering how much territory he's got. Cool, that's all fine. Alright, moving on to the next turn. We just need to check... Oh, there's another one. No! The nation calls. <laughs> Good thing I checked. Protector of the it's alright, we know how to sort that, this shit. because he'll probably run away in the first round. The wild makes warriors. All right, how many do we need to recruit here? Seven units, we should probably get 10. 10 sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Huntsman General. I'll ignore that. Close in and kill. Captives are a burden. Huntsman General. Stupid rogue armies. Fuck off. All right, they're gone. Just have to hope another one doesn't show up in ten turns. Then again, I should have elected count state troops, so. That's another backup. Alright, where are we going next? That's it, I think. Let's move on. They will be judged. Hey Anthony Lorenzen, how's it going, dude? Is it time? See, now if they put a bunch of armies in Volksgrad, that's fine. Strike them and kill them. What's she doing? Okay. I reckon I'll just need to send two armies to go sort that out. Greetings from Sigma. Nope. Still seventeen. Okay. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the ice court. It's just the last few settlements are pretty heavily defended, that's all. Imagine if um, Vashnar's Conquest shows up again. So that got handed back, that's fine. Any new factions? Not just the same ones. Cool. All right, then. Unhand the Tsarina. Okay. Great. I gotta deal with her rebellion. This will bolster the nation. Blocking my way. V 
the instrument of Sigmar's will. Yes, a sound Okay, that. Toddy should be the one to yes. occupy it because he needs the most replenishment. Forth. Guilt is fine. To strengthen the Empire. Okay, the wizards need to be taken out. Alric's will. To arms. I am God. Moving. Because yeah, they got extra defenses here. Maybe I should bring in Gelt as well. It is war. Any idea where the College of Pyrotechnics, Pyrotechnics are hiding out? They can be pretty spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know where they are. They're right here. I obviously can't attack them right now, but I know where they are. Into battle! Okay. Cool. What brings you here? I call thee. Relics of power. Great treasures, come to me! All right, next stop is Serpent Jetty. Knowledge is power. Good stuff. Good, another armor of destiny. Got heaps of those now. By the comet. <sighs> the Ice Queen bows to no one. Okay, now what I think I'll do is I'll stand a little bit closer here and get Katarin and Castelton to charge at me. I'll back off, but that will allow... We'll just bring them further into Norska this way. They'll take a little bit of attrition. I don't know if it's going to matter. Okay, now we send... Not you. We send a couple of armies to attack Volksgrad. If one is enough, great. It is not. Because, yeah, I can replace this in two turns very easily. So we send two sacrificial armies over. True servant of Sigma. Yes. Two sacrificial armies. Because this is going to strip them of more money, so they just can't afford these troops. Cool. Loot and occupy it. Disband both of these armies since I won't be able to get away from their forces. Like I said, I can easily recruit new ones of these. These were always meant to be like just temporary armies anyway. Alright, here you go. Ostland have Volksgrad. Finally got it. What orders? Okay, I can't quite make it My down here, but that's okay. Begins. Get it next turn. Now, of course, they could easily just go and capture this back, at which point we send Chapter another four three. armies at them. They can't replace their units anymore. They're out of money. I can afford to outspend them bloody a thousand to one now. But what I can't afford is for them to be the attacker against me. That's what I can't afford. Let us move. Who calls? Still haven't gotten rid of this yeah. last one here. They should be able to manage that. Okay, then over here, still nobody going towards Occam's Forever Maze. Can I help you for the wisdom of the way? Okay, check in for more enemies. No, okay, good, looking real good. I don't think there's anything else we need to check. As long as, yeah, if a rogue army shows up in our territory, we always get notified about it, so that's good. Seek out the heretics. So what is she down to now? Eight settlements? Nine settlements, cool. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, what? Uh, 
Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Where's the other one? Am I blind? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, 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 it's right here. Just didn't see it. Okay, all accounted for. Moving on. I am blind. Moving on. Warrior of Sigma. I beg to differ. What? Who are we going to kill off of this? One of the problems with fighting Rapunz is she got a lot of armies. Hmm. Might be easy to get rid of the dwarfs first. Even Belagar. Okay, she's doing it. We'll see. If order resolve wounds for me, I'll still do that. But I don't think it will be. Because I get some reinforcements. That's fine. Yeah, so what? I'll just get re recruited again. See you. See ya. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, she probably can afford these armies now, but there's no armies left in this part of Norska, so that's that's finished. And you can see here there, they don't want to attack Volksgrad. They're taking attrition up here. They're huddling, they're huddling up together. Oh no, the end is here. The Empire has come. Shade Slinger did a photo subject. This campaign has been very interesting. It has shown me that you can get away with more diplomatic shenanigans in what than in Warhammer 2. Love your content, mate. Thanks, dude. Yeah, absolutely. They really did improve on diplomacy in Warhammer 3, but in a way that you can't really abuse. Corone, because you have elite armies up north. Corone, yeah, maybe. Corone's not. Yeah. Maybe. Think about that. The The problem is getting Corone to, uh, like, actually dislike me enough to cancel his treaties with everyone else. Without everyone else getting super pissed at me. That's the problem. Champion of the faith. It is time. Ready to serve. Cast evil out. Great Kishna, we return. Corinne also gets you Albion for that extra wins you probably never need. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, and I probably won't need to feed that territory to my vassals either. Can keep it for myself. What orders? What happened to the rest of you? I know they keep getting assassinated, but where? Oh, here they are. I trust no man. Wait. You need fire? Okay, yeah, just you just keep assassinating that one. So we got four armies here. Here to serve. Royals bow to no one. Even if this one was to lightning strike us now, it's Sing no. Right they can't do anything. It's it's too weak. Huntsman general. Awaiting orders. I'm creeping up on them now. I will go. And where's that life wizard? Did it get wounded again? I think it did. Tools of judgment ready. The end is nigh for you, Katarin. 
It's over. I command here. Yes, to unite the provinces. Corona is way less space than anyone in relatively close regions. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest problem is that they've got some territory in Ulthwan that I don't want to have to fight for. Do you wish They're still pretty powerful. Let's have a look at who's the strongest, or who's the weakest, actually. So, Iron Brow's the weakest, then Clan Angrand, then Rapance. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's actually Can pretty weak. Of all my allies, he's kind of the weakest, apart from Last Defenders. Yeah, it might be right. <coughs> Excuse me. There's also a landmark here, which gives beasts a fairly bit for the good money. <laughs> okay, and then... I am ready. You should be able to do that on your own. From what I can tell, you handed Kislev with ease. It wasn't with ease, I just did it quickly. I knew what their weaknesses were, I knew what my strengths were, and I made use of it. I didn't give any quarter, there was absolutely no mercy. I was lazy where I felt like I needed to be lazy. You know, didn't need to fight every single battle manually, because... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I just knew I didn't need to. Okay, Monolith of Katerm. Surely an agreement will be reached, but are we not all sons Agreed! Good stuff. All right, well, this one is really beefing up a fair bit. My cavalry-based army should be able to handle it, even with 19 units. Still takes four turns to recruit them globally. If there was a unit that I could get in one turn... Nah, just leave it. Because we should keep moving now. Don't sit around. Finish the job. Don't give it a chance to recover. All right, that's good. And checking other areas. All right, so if we were to... Okay, so here's the problem. We would have to find some way of having Caron dislike us. So gifts given to factions that he likes, that's going to not go away for a really long time. This is why I'm thinking that it might be better to do Clan Angren, because it is so easy, so easy to make Clan Angren hate us. So fucking easy. I'm actually more lean towards Clan Angrand. Because, yeah, there's um, five settlements here, and then there's Ulth one. So, what we could do is just send easy. Like, just, to, like, crap armies to auto-resolve these ones. And have our main fighters on Ulthwan when the time comes. I'm leaning towards it being... Um, it being him. The big thing we got to watch out for are armies what that are want? actually here. Like this one. So if they could just send them all to Ulthwan first, that would be awesome. Uh, can I borrow this one? No, I don't have enough points. So yeah, I'm leaning towards Clan Angrand. Now, the reason why I'm going with the Dwarfs is because they're really friggin' uppity and they don't forget <laughs> about slights that are made. And I, I need to have a bit more forgiving factions for these last few ones because I'm being kind of a dick. Alright. Looks like we're all good here. Let's move on next turn. Oh, hang on. I just need to check Zinch again. Because there's also Thorek. Because, yeah, they still haven't forgiven the broken treaties with Ostermark. But Thorek is busy, whereas we're kind of done with Belagar. And he owns most of Ulthwan. I've already got one army here. That should be able to handle a bit. We'll build this up as quickly as we can. Champion of the faith. I don't need these artillery anymore. What I should do is get 
more warrior priests here. And I just so happen to have some. Cleanse the Empire. Yes, son of Sigma. Yes, righteous fury upon them. Moving off. Okay. Absolutely not. Because, yeah, the artillery, I just don't need it. But, yeah, if we put hero armies, we've already seen just how easy it was. Remember how easy it was to fucking kill Karakodrin? It was a joke with the hero armies. They can't handle it. Kiss they have done now. It's clean up job now. It's it's over. The war is, is concluded. There's no way they're going to get a defeat on us. Alright, so another thing that we could maybe do is start cancelling some treaties with Belagar. So that the other factions don't get too angry at us too early. So I could, I could get rid of the trade agreement, for example. And he'll be upset about it. Corona will be upset about it as well, but only only for a short amount of time with those other ones. Uh, that trade agreement is worth five grand. That doesn't really matter too much. Because obviously breaking the military alliance is meaning... No, we need the military alliance to borrow their army one last time, I think. What? What if I told... No, I, you know what? I don't want Belagar to be sailing down all this way. But what if he was? What if what if all of his armies were sailing <laughs> all the way down to the Chaos Wastes? Say here. What if all of his armies sailed all the way down to Demon Gate and he just had no armies left in his border? And then all of a sudden, a bunch of Empire armies come and just take them all and he's stuck in the Chaos Wastes. That'd be awesome if we could manage that. Shade Slinger did a two dollar super chat. Any plans on doing another orc or rat campaign soon? Uh, I don't have any plans at this stage, but we'll see. Forgot about that army. Uh, Godzy Tiger, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. You can start raiding him. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Not yet. <laughs> They're just sacking it. They don't know what else to do. Friends of the Empire, come. This is the the final, like, <laughs> that somebody does right before they die. <laughs> this is, that's basically what this faction's doing. It's like, going, I don't know what to do. <laughs> He's got me in every fucking angle. I can't do a bloody thing. Yeah, this is that seizure right before someone dies, basically. They just this is this is from a gameplay perspective, them going <laughs> Okay, he says they says that they're going, so that's good. Onwards. They're like I'm assassinating so many of their heroes I can't do anything. of the faith. Your word is my command. Ready? Okay, Temple of Heim... Oh, okay, that one actually belongs over here. And... Show me the accused. Show me the accused. Sell the Temple of Heimkel. and make your offer that I make no promises to my ascent. He's actually making more money now, so that's good. Alright, so next stop for those two is Novchozi. Could have sworn yes. an army went over here, but I'm not sure. Alright, can we make it to Yetich from here? I live to serve the Emperor. 
Moving out. Huntsman General. Move out. Apparently that army is super strong in order resolve. For the Emperor. Yeah, we can make it over there. Popcorn became a member for 22 months. Just dropped in to say good luck. Gonna rewind to the start. No, it's dude. Hope you enjoy. All right. Covering ground. Huntsman General. I serve Sigma. To battle! Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Faith shields us. Okay. Huntsman General. Advancing. Quicken your stride. Base camp for now. Sky Lightning Striker. Doesn't look like it. Ever vigilant. I will go. I serve the Heldenhammer. True servant of Sigma. Your word is are any of these lightning strikers? No. Their armies are too small anyway. Moving out. I will do anything for Sigma. It's over. It's just over for them. They can't do anything. The Empire. Attack! Doom keep. Hand that over. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now, what brings you here? With All the... right. By the comet. Wind of Shaman. I think we should have these guys here be the ones to attack Ready. the um. Onwards. Raise Sigma. Uh, the College of Pyrotechnics. They will be judged. Do not test my yeah, they just got nothing left. It's just, it's a, oh, there's an army. Right, try to me. slip. Okay, here's something. They could send these armies, all of them over here. So it might be a good idea to block some of them. They will be judged. Seek out the heretics. Ready to serve. Get these Champion ones back the away. Faith. Back off. Yeah, I didn't see that other army there. Back away. My journey begins. This guy here oh, can make I. it. Oh shit! Arch Lecter. No healer in this one. Huntsman General. Huntsman General. Interesting. If they could send all of their forces up through here, that could be one hell of a fight. I'm fighting for my life there. to proceed hmm this guy's on force march and these are not good against the single entities that are here at all I may have made a little bit of a boo-boo so what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna risk it I'm gonna get rid of all of this don't need it this this army over here will sort it out and these guys here, what we do is just respec them to get them out of the army. Emergency regiment of renowned army. There's too many things that could go wrong here. 
I also, I already used up all my regiments of renown. Yeah, I think I may have actually been over aggressive here. So, it's fine. I was totally fine. You know, this army will be gone for just three turns. Not a big deal at all. But there's an army that I... Oh, damn it, didn't mean to do that with him. There was an army that I wasn't anticipating being there. Okay, need to sell Yetich. Approach and make your offer, but I make no promises to my ascent. Yes. Ready to serve. Yeah, because basically those armies were completely surrounded. And some of, even though they're only half stacks, they're actually very dangerous. And these armies were pretty shitty. Praise be to Sigma. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get them out. No, not even if ordered. Because, yeah, what they would have done, just gone completely around Volksgrad and just come for me. Servant of the faith. Ever vigilant. And the funny thing is with this, is that they'll actually end up being closer to our territory. Oops. We're born to hunt. Yeah, they actually teleport close to our territory, so we want to get them over to um, Clan Angrand. Huntsman General. That'll be the next target. Yeah, after we've done Clan Angrand, then probably Corone. Because, yeah, I'm really worried about the temperamental nature of backstabbing when it comes to dwarves. If we get rid of the dwarves first, because, yeah, if you do any shenanigans, which we're going to do a lot of shenanigans, they just don't forget. Whereas the other factions, they forget really quickly. It's like you break an alliance and they're like, eh, you're still alright in my book. This is a bit annoying, though. Doing this. Huntsman General! Okay. Yeah. That was that was a, a bit silly. A bit silly. But it's okay. What are they gonna do about it? You know, their armies are spread out. There's they can't beat this one here. What are they gonna do? So keep those guys there. They won't be able to attack us. Yeah, they can't attack us from here. Especially if oh, okay. Tools of judgment ready. No higher power than I. Yeah, no way. Alright, that's all good. Alright, anything else we need to do? I think we're done with the turn. Like, I'd hate to have come all that way just to get sort of um, attacked in that location of everywhere and would be unable to win it, especially with armies that are not good, that are only there for auto resolve. That would be very bad. Alright, and we've got these characters over here, which are going to Ulf 1, to attach into that army that we've had since the beginning. It's basically a dog's breakfast, and turn it more into a, um, a warrior priest army. Which will be a lot better against the dwarves. Okay, that all seems fine. There's no way they can attack us. They've only got a handful of settlements left. Just check for any shenanigans going on. Nope, all good. Moving on. Where will they respawn? At the closest settlement that I own. So maybe at Karakongor. Is the army marching west in range to threaten your territory? Um, well, they're at war with all of these guys here. And they'll lose all their territory before they get there. But that's a good point, and we should maybe keep an eye on it. What do you food your dog, bra? Here we go. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that's fine. And look, they refuse to attack Ostland. They'll sack it, but they don't occupy it.
Katarin will also be uh, popping over here soon, and so will Castelton. That army is taking attrition. Did I see the hotfix patch? Yep, yep, it was, you know, nothing particularly interesting. Still haven't fixed the bloody Chaos Warrior tech tree. Ostermark, sorry, Ostland is coming. No, no! Actually, no, that could work for us. <laughs> the nation calls. Approach and make your offer. But I make no promise. Next time I give you a settlement, you're going back to war with her. Which will be very soon. Now. Now. Oh, I forgot to give up Serpent Jetty. I'm getting Approach sloppy. And make your offer. But I make no promises to my ascent. <laughs> yeah, you're going back to war with her. Disobey me. Yes, my lord. By Sigma's right. Shade Slinger did too. Let's chat. The last thing you want is becoming complacent and loss. Yep. Yep, I agree. That's why I didn't risk it. Even though they're only half stacks, they're they're really good half stacks. And I didn't want my shit stack getting fucked up. Moving out. No, I can't take metaphor. Let us begin. Yes, that will do. Maybe we should fight steam tanks with steam tanks. Wouldn't that be interesting? Who wants to see that? Balthazar Gelt should be the one to deal with this. What? All right, you can stay there and continue recruiting now. Balthazar Gilt is going to finish this. So yeah, if they come at us with this, I'm not worried. These guys can handle that. But one thing that we don't want to do is be standing inside the settlement so they besiege with one army and attack with the others. So if they want to attack Volks, sorry, Snov Chozy. If they want to attack Ostland, go right ahead. But I won't let them separate my forces without using lightning strike, in which case they won't win. Servant of the faith. My will is bound. Yes, General. I will not obey. And you guys just make sure that they don't get away. Stay here. They're not getting away. Sigmar's path. I trust no man. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Don't worry about that. Okay, we've also got this guy coming in. Probably should move yes, in camp stance for a bit. Okay. So Katarin looks like she got what three settlements? Two settlements left. And then it is dwarfen time. I think that's pretty cool. Sounds like Power Rangers. It's dwarfen time. <laughs> and then he dwarfened all over the place. What? There is power within prayer. Alright. All right, all right, all right. So, it looks like we're going to do this sooner rather than later. Men of the Empire, what brings you here? Uh, I don't need your money anymore, you filthy short person. <laughs> so, yeah, he didn't even care that much about it. But no more trade. So yeah, Belagar is next. The broken trees with Clan Angren was not a big deal. So that's good. It probably was a bit of a big deal. Yeah, big deal with him. How would you like to break... Break your trade agreement with Clan Angren. In exchange, I'll give you a city. How does that sound? He's willing to do it. Interesting. Okay. 
What if Clan Angrand was Rules given a city? Men of the Empire. I'll what give you Carcassonne you if you break your military alliance with Ironbrow. I mean, I'll have to reconquer the city, but that's not a big deal. Uh, why don't we Why don't we do something like the Wood Elf shit? That they don't matter. So let's see. What if we did Crag Halls of Findle? Yeah, I don't give a shit about Crag Halls of Findle. I don't want you to be allied with Belagar any. Uh, I don't want them to be allied anymore. How much do they like each other? Not that much. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, who cares about this? It's not that's no advantage to them. And that way when I'm betraying him. I'll do it. Um Thoric Ironbrow isn't gonna care. I'm listening. Okay, he hates them now. By the look at this. True king. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. We should do another one. Okay, what Clan Angrund. Let's see. I'll Vol, give you another piece of shit settlement over here. So how about Vol's anvil? Because. That one will be easier to capture than Waterfall Palace. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I want you to break your trade agreement with the Iron Brows Expedition. What else you got? That never works. Uh, break your trade agreements with... Yeah, that's all. That's all. Just just piss off um, Ironbrow's expedition as much as possible. I want them to cancel their treaties with each other. Because I can easily get this territory back. That's not a problem. Fine. Okay, he canceled his trade agreements. So now, if we have a look... Thoric Ironbrow really doesn't like him that much. And if I have a look... Yeah, the broken treaties with... Okay, now he actually dislikes me because I have treaties with Clan Angrund. Could you break you your treaty busy? with Clan Angrund? The wait for no one. Okay. Alright, we'll maybe give him one more settlement, make, him, make them actually really dislike each other. No, we'll just um, leave that be. Leave that be. Okay. Leave that be. That's fine. Ever vigilant. I'm not going to cancel my military lines just yet. And I'm not going to start recruiting just yet. Because as soon as I break the military lines, we've got 10 turns. So there's plenty of time to raise a lot of armies. All of the settlements over here are not defended. They've got like, no garrison. So it doesn't matter if he goes and recaptures them. Okay, what over here do I need to sell? Nothing yet. Yeah, say in that settlement this turn. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, all good. Let's move on to the next turn. Just double check to make sure there's no more. Yep, okay, move, move, move. They will be judged by the comet. Who needs Kairos faction mechanics when you have territory to give away? Well, you got to get the territory in the first place. Warmaster Malok says, FYI, a legendary war. Real name is Jeff Fate Weaver. <laughs> yeah. What alignment would you say you are? Chaotic neutral? No. I, I would. Where, where are the options? They're going for it. No, they're not. What are they doing? 
Yeah, like I said, they just go, I don't know what to do, so I'll do random shit to confuse people. <laughs> what do they want? No. Lawful or chaotic? Neutral. Uh, I'm probably lawful, I would say. I just... I don't know. Like, you shouldn't judge me based on the way I play video games. A lot of people do. Like, ah, oh, he's just like Hitler. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know? Um, I say I'm lawful good, but whatever. Who cares? You just, you, whatever you think I am. Where is this? Nangal. It's really annoying that I can't go and check to see what's going on, so I just do nothing. I can cheese fealty. Not a big deal. So it's easy to do. Awaiting orders. I live to serve the Emperor. Did they lose Nangal? Yeah, it had a large garrison there. They really should let you go and check to see what's going on over there. Praise be to Sigma. So they've got one settlement left here. And they sacrificed this one for the some Empire. reason. Maybe we can split up given the size of their armies. Really? I mean, I'd win, but... Really? True servant of Sigma. Faith shields us. Ready to serve. Really? I guess it's a minor settlement battle that does it. Look at that, they're taking, they're, they're actually broke. They're not willing to disband any more units, they are full on broke. I guess I gotta fight this manually. Should be easy, but... <sighs> fight battles manually. Chaotic neutral? Fair enough, whatever, I don't care. Like I said, I don't think you should judge me based on how I play video games. Shade Slinger did a super chat. Why do you start your streams looking like a total Chad? It's a complete accident. But thanks, super chat. <laughs> Alright, I could start over here and just deal with their reinforcements as they come in. Faith in the comet. Sigmar calls. Ready for war. See how strong these guys can actually be? Holy crap. Okay, pull out of that fight. That's not going very well. 
Pull out of that fire. That's an order. I have my order. Something's going wrong with that. Like, we'll be Watch fine, but there's something's going wrong with that. I think what's wrong is that they're not standing side by side. Yeah, when they're in a blob like this, they fight so much better. I just put them in a line, that was stupid. Shouldn't have done that. It's working, it's working. Yeah, they're just they're just a lot stronger than I thought they would be, that's all. Ooh, you are slowed down, holy crap. Here needs a heal. Ready for war. Yes, General. Sigma exultant for Helden Hammer. Prepare for combat. All right, cool. Reinforcements have arrived. They'll be able to handle this. In more wins. Let the wind of life flow. Yeah, there's elemental bears. They can hit pretty hard, actually. The empire is yours. To battle. It is an old Try to bring these guys out. Looks like some of them might get wounded if we don't. These guys take over. Now. Eager for battle. My goal, Moran. Eager for battle. Sons of Sigma, attack. Wow, this army here only barely handled themselves. Just barely. <laughs> I guess all these bears. Alright, let's get in over here and start the battle there. But that's a lot of their bouncer power used up. So yeah, the Empire doesn't have any units in the same tier of that kind of stuff with Kislev. Like, they are so much stronger than a steam tank. Alright, it should be a fine to bring you in, start capping some points or something. Should have plenty of reserves. Did 
Definitely they the worst of this battle so far. Infantry based armies are just very easy for them to deal with. But those single entities what they've struggled with the most. And they've been army lost already. So yeah, it must have been like 75% of the bounce of power was that um, reinforcing army. Obviously better than what Order Resolve yielded. But yeah, there was a little bit touch and go there to begin with. I don't think anyone got killed. There were some close calls though. Yeah, no one got killed. That's good. Alright, so that's another one of their armies gone. We know that they're broke. They've only actually got one settlement left. They've got no settlements out here. So they'll need to capture one of Ostland's territory if they want to stand any chance. We already took out another one of their armies. So there's only two more running around, I think. That was probably the strongest army, the remaining ones. Yeah, that was that was a fairly strong force. Why don't you put any items on the priest? I could, but it gets time consuming. And I don't have enough items for everyone. And it doesn't make that big of a difference. It definitely does help. Like if I put an armor of destiny on all of them, that would that would make them significantly stronger. I just don't have that many armor of destinies. And I'm just not feeling enough under pressure to worry about that too much. Alright, that was their last settlement out here. There are two... Oh, wait. I pushed that one out of the way, but I didn't pursue it. Praise be to Sigma. True servant of Sigma. That's fine. She didn't have lightning strike. This one can't reach us. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I should... They don't reach it. Oh, there's another one here as well. So they've actually got three armies. Alright, what they could potentially do is actually um, besiege the settlement and attack the other army. I don't think that would be a good idea. So just give Plesk away straight away. I don't think we'll get any replenishment, but it'll be okay. Alright, they've just got one city left. But Gilt needs to take out the College of Pyrotechnics first. Tools of judgment ready. This is wise. Moving. To strengthen the Empire. We march! So he'll fight the College of Pyrotechnics and they'll take on the um the Prince. very last settlement of Catarins. So that's awesome. What do you require? Let us forge our faith. As you say, sir. Step to it. okay, it's not urgent. Sorry about that. Okay, let's have a look over here. So we cancelled the trade agreement last turn, but relations still going up massively. Hmm. Because I need him to cancel all of his alliances. I guess I've just get. Oh, yeah, that's it. Because I've given them gifts with those settlements. Uh, okay, maybe just don't do anything for a little bit. We still got that military access. Thorak doesn't like them that much, so any trespasses we do against him probably isn't going to bother him that much. Okay, all good, and we've still got this other army on its way. What does the Emperor be? Probably not gonna get back in time to help. How should we proceed? Not sure what to do with all these captains. Seek out the heretics. Yeah, that's a huge front sorted now. Let's have a look at how many settlements we've got. Let's get let's get the calculator out. So we've got one, two, seven plus 35 plus 128 plus 161 
451 settlements. So there's only 100 settlements roughly to go. That seems like about two episodes if I keep going at this pace. Check it down here. They finally took Occam's Forever Maze. Very nice. That's a big deal. Even if they lost a minor settlement over here, capturing that major settlement is a big deal. And they're beating the crap out of Tlaqua. He's finished. And as always, Marcus Wolfhart is not recruiting new armies for some reason. Don't know. He just doesn't want to do it. Speed. Can confederate him whenever I want. But yeah, I can't. Hang on, let me let me try something. If I got you, I can give you orders. I know I can't move him anywhere. Oh, I've actually already given him an order. He just won't do it. I can't assassinate these characters or anything. He recruited an army before. Maybe he... Re I don't know what's going on with him. It shall be done. I just don't know what's going on with him. Anyway. Let's move on. Them losing the minor settlement so doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. The Lost Palace had a Zinch Revolt occur. Nice. Second settlements because you don't know what else to do. Yeah, I'm not going to let that guy cross over the river and get into my territory. So we need to make sure those armies are blocking that. But there's no territory left for them. So what they'll probably do next turn is start capturing whatever they can. So we just need to be ready to recapture some of these settlements for Ostland. Is Marathi still alive? I think technically she is, yeah. I never saw her get Welcome wiped out. Brothers from across nope. Are you going to wait until every faction is dead to start confederating? Um, I'm not sure. I think I might actually confederate Ostland. Next time it's offered. Because there's no danger to it now. And I'm not feeding any more territory to them. So I think next time I'm offered Ostland, which should actually be fairly soon, I'll confederate them. Thak was destroyed. Oh yeah, here's all of those um, Empire Captains. Ooh. Okay, hang on, here's the thing. If I... Sigma grant me hang on, strength. I need to make sure I besiege the settlement. For the heir of Sigma! Because yeah, otherwise I'll be fighting these two guys at the same time. Rogue army. You mean this one? Yeah, it's just we're, we've been aware about this one for ages. I've just been trying to get over here. Raise Sigma. Yes, sound plan. What wind of Shaman? I will. You dare come at me, making demands? No. Steam tanks versus steam tanks. My steam tanks are better though. I shall be victorious. So I want to do a fool's action. This is going to be. I think this is the first time a tank on tank battle here. I am the supreme patriarch. Th they don't stand a chance. Because Hellstorm rocket batteries can't really do any damage to us, plus we can heal. So, this will just be for you guys to have some fun watching this. 
No, there's a genocide for us. Well, there's still the last defenders, so there's still that opportunity if that's what you're really excited about. The Battle of Kursk incoming. Yeah, this is the largest tank battle in the history of Warhammer. Except this time, the Germans are going to win. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh. Balthazar Rommel Gels is going over there. I know Rommel wasn't there, but whatever. Thing is, we've got quite a lot of missile resistance. They don't have any of that. We are sick of and we can heal. Like, what are they supposed to do, really? They're not even touching us. Our tanks are just so much better than theirs. They keep going for this guy here who's super resistant to their shots. Wow, tough battle! It's a Pyrrhic victory. This was a letdown. I don't know why you were expecting that this was going to be a tough fight. They only had seven tanks to our... 17. We had ten more tanks than them. Our tanks are better. We had the technology. Gold Chevron on all of them. Gelt's bonuses. Healing. What could they have possibly done? Even if they had a full tank, like 19 tanks, they wouldn't have done anything. It would have been, would have been, uh, maybe they would have scratched us a little bit more, but I you know, don't know what anyone was expecting out of that. Thank you for the World of Tanks. Yes, that battle was sponsored by World of Tanks. Not really. That is Katarin's last region. She is out of here. Well, well, she'll probably occupy a couple of territories out this way. It's not quite done. All right. Well, we've got to finish recruiting there. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Now for them. Back down. Oh, I never sold Troll Fjord. Um, well, don't sell it yet. There's no armies out here. Uh, we send them to Ulthwan. So all of our best armies are going to go to where all of... Yeah, Shemarathi is still here. All of our best armies need to go to where all of his best armies are so that we can go and fight them, get rid of all of his armies straight away, and then just gobble up all this territory. Yeah. Alright, we're not done yet. Okay, so there's this army here. I'm not sure where he thinks he's going, but if he crosses this river, we'll be able to catch him. 
Where did all of our... Yeah, here they are, Karakongor. I think I had a confident one, I can't remember, but I'd much rather disciplined. I don't have one. So you'll do. Champion oh wow. Look we'll where put him. Yes, General. Get training. Oh, is that his life wizard? All nice. It's his life wizard. Treasures come to me. Drill. Oh, please tell me it remembers that I told him to auto spec them. Oh, I can do all that again. Weapon practice. Doesn't have to be done right now. Direct me. They'll be marching all right. Sir. Weapon all right, we got to get these guys to Ulf one. They'll be marching all right. Not you. Yes. Sir. Get training. Arch lector. Get training. Drill. Yes, general. Drill. It will be an honor. weapon practice. They'll be marching all right. They'll be marching all right. Weapon practice. Belgar won against Marathi. Yes. Finally, he... Well, sort of. It's it's not quite over yet. There is still this one here, which... I don't know what to do about that right now. But it is still there. Yeah. We may need some armies. Well, hang on. They're going a long distance down here. Not if all of their armies were down there. Give them enough time to get down there. Hmm... What about you? Oh, no, I don't. I might actually go after Bretonia first. Because the problem here with Clan Angren is that he likes me too much. Look at that, he's heading towards 849. We need time for that to go away. Whereas, I think Bretonia doesn't like me as much. He does like me, but. Okay. How do you how does um Thorek feel about you? No diplomatic contact. Okay, that's great. That makes things easier. Okay, maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. Maybe I should be going after um thingy first. Cause yeah, I can just I can just give him gifts in the meantime, Clan Angren that is. I probably shouldn't have done this in hindsight. Then again, I'll get some territory, maybe buy it. No, no, don't worry about it. Okay. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Your word is my command. Alright, just get down here. We just gotta sort of anticipate exactly where these armies are gonna go. They're gonna be homing in on a settlement. We just don't know which one. Looks like the other army that was there. I reckon that one will go and occupy Frozen Landing, and this one will probably run back over this way. I'm not entirely sure. These two armies here can be disbanded once the war is finally over. Got this dude here needs to go down south. Okay. What's this? Flame off. I don't really have anything to do with you now. Follow the flame. So yeah, we don't need to give these settlements I over to Ostland. We don't need to, because... I'm going to confederate Ostland. There's no more territory to hand over to them. Next opportunity I've got, I will do it. Okay. Alright, any new enemies? Nope. Okay. So yeah, next up is... Hmm, okay, well, all of his armies are actually in Bretonia proper. So that's where... It's not as far to go, then. Maybe you should meet halfway, then. Oh, his Marathi's there. You, you just stay there. We'll, we'll figure something out for you. Yes, son of Sigma. Because yeah, Bretonia is the weakest of my allies. It will be done. There is power within prayer. Devotee of the lady, what is your behest? All right. I think what we should do is consider borrowing we an army of Corones. So he's got to pay for it, but maybe. Hang on. Your coming was foretold. I need to keep track of all of their armies. 
So we need plenty of our scouts over here, which will just take quite a while to get there. Seek out the heretics. Tools of judgment ready. What about Ostermark? Ostermark has territory down here, which I need to feed to. Um, I, I need to feed them this territory when we come to it. So I, I can't confederate Ostermark yet. We're not done with them. Uh, if the Hunts Marshall Expedition confederates Ostermark, Ostermark, then that could work. I don't know if they'll do that though. All right. Anything else here? All right, we'll, we'll slowly mosey our way over there and try to figure out how we're going to screw him over. Yeah, because Katarin is now defeated. Sell them settlements for them to build up. Yeah, but they got, like, no money. No like, who cares at this point? Who cares? Would having only legendary lords be immortal make the game more challenging or less fun? Well, why don't you play Warhammer 1 and you tell me, because that's exactly what happened in that campaign. Immortality was something added in Warhammer 2. So, in Warhammer 1, you can get a lord to level 30, and if he got killed in battle, he was dead. Permanently. The end be tomorrow. There's too many settlements still to go. I don't think I can finish this in another nine hour session. <laughs> so Chalakwa is gone. And Ice Court is about to go. It's just these last two armies. What does the Emperor bid? Into battle. You could also assassinate lords with one more one with your agents. That's true, yeah. I'm glad that they took that away because that was so annoying. Oh no, another one. God, another rogue army showed up. For war. Seems to be showing up a lot of these guys. Praise be to Sigma. I serve the Heldenhammer. Receive. Quicker, man! Praise Sigma to strengthen the Empire. Alright, that should... I'm not sure if that's going to give us enough movement. Best. Let's get another one. Will do. Yes, okay, now... Yeah, three more turns until the Regiment of Renown get back, but we'll get a couple of them, and then State Elector Count Troops. So what's that? That gives us... 9 versus 10. Didn't end up needing all that movement. Oh! <laughs> no, leave them be. I forgot about Gotrick and Felix. I really don't need them, and then they're not helpful for this campaign now. Alright, Doomseekers are gone. Good. That's the only one that's shown up this turn. Alright, so we've just got this one army here to deal with, which, if I was to attack, it does say we'll reach it. The Let's see. 
Alright, that should be the... Oh, God, it's not the actual end of Katarun. Ever vigilant. Here to serve. <laughs> Fucking hell. Onorkin Senli, what a ridiculous question. Fucking hell. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I live to serve the Emperor. Protect right, stay there. The They're not going anywhere. There's, it's, oh, hang on, hang on. Servant we got you. See ya. See ya, Katarin. You're out of here. The update broke chariots, just a bit of attrition and you lose one unit. Yeah, it's always been that way though. Ice courts destroyed. Alright, Katarin's gone. Yes. Okay, Katarin is gone. It is time to get Okay, this one here. See you, don't need it. Let's see you, don't need you. Hang on, you got some items here that you don't deserve. Title, ch title change time. Well, the entire episode, nine hours, was dedicated to fighting Katarin. I think it was pretty fitting. Oh my god. Angry uh, Dyatlov, you timed him out for 86,000 seconds. <laughs> How long is that? That is, is that like a whole day? 86,000 seconds. Here to serve. I live to serve the Emperor. Sigmite Arch Lecter, guided by Sigma. Alright, next stop. Corona, I guess. Uh, I actually don't want Frozen Landing. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I'll still confederate them next opportunity. Because, yeah, there's nowhere left to feed their territory to. They're not going to help us any further. It's 24 hours? Okay, cool. No, you know, you're totally right to time him out for that. What a, what a dumbass question. What a moron. We got time. Why do you get time out? Um, I, don't, I don't think I want to repeat the question. Basically, uh, imagine someone with like no IQ asking a really dumb question that's also really offensive. So, yeah, I'm just just a really stupid, 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 stupid. Just that doesn't deserve an answer. That is fortuitous. How should we proceed? Champion. Clearly not a very smart person. At once, sir. Get training. Sir. Drill. Which was? It's not worth repeating. Just use your imagination. Or don't. It doesn't matter. Alright, and there's the last one now? there. They'll be marching all right. I serve Sigma. What? No, he didn't ask about like I'm not gonna talk about it any further. That's it, we're done. I will do all right. your bidding. So, Karun. Karun, Karun, Karun. What are we doing with you? We've nearly got enough allegiance points to borrow an army. But borrowing an army for 10 turns when we're about to cancel yes. our treaties with him. Is that really a good idea? Welcome. How fares the Emperor? Okay, that's going down. It was going up to 800. Now it's going down. I think that's because... Yeah, look. Military actions against um, the Ice Court have been forgotten. Everyone's just forgotten about the ice court now. He'll get over the gifts given to the Hunts Marshall expedition pretty quick. And all the others. He'll get over that. Treaties with the other one, so that means... Okay. We want him to not like us. But we only want him to not like us. So... So, so, so...
But I gotta wait until my armies are here or else he'll, um... He'll threaten me too much and I can't have that. And while that's going on, it's good to see Clan Angren actually going down that way. Why they didn't finish off Marathi's yeah. last one over here, I don't know. Okay, we need a few of these witch hunters which are hanging around in Ulth 1. How about, you're not really needed at Toralir. Why don't we send you over here? There's a whole bunch of settlements. You're tasked with taking on the Bretonian assets on Ulf on 1. When it comes to, like, territory where they don't have any armies, this is where we'll put our just rando ones. Um, UK Rocket did a 5 dollar super chat. Hey, Legend, please don't thank me for the super chat. Thank you for not thanking me. Thank you. Ah, do what you want. Um. Moving on. <laughs> Just, you know, I do it. You know what? It feels really weird to not thank you, but if that's what you want, so be it. I think Karl Franz's army is going to really struggle against the superior Bretonian cavalry. Yeah, we need to be careful about using Karl Franz. The hero armies should be great here. Because they're not great at dealing with this stuff. Looking for some discipline. Let us forge up. My brain was just like, does not compute throughout all of that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with a cancellation of trade agreements. Hang on. Because I still want to keep line of sight over him. Okay, if we have a look at that, that doesn't hurt relation that much. Will repast be a problem if you attack Karone? Let's see if they've even met each other. I mean, they probably have. Let me just check. Uh, not so much. Not so much, because... Alright, let's see the other way around. Let me have a look. Like, she really likes me, and she'll get over the fact that we cancelled treaties with him pretty quick. It's the dwarves that don't get over it. That's the problem. Yeah, it's the dwarves that don't get over it. Alright, well, is there any more enemies? Nope. Okay, and we just need to start getting everyone I am to the locations where they need to, to go. The Empire. It is for the best. Grand so yeah, I was thinking Clan Angren at first, but I think I it would actually be better to go with the other one. Yeah, Carl Franz is... We gotta keep him at arm's length with this one. Don't, don't have him be aggressive. Because if they're, um, like, that army would be fine against. Luckily, Bretonia is not that good in auto-resolve, and we now have bucket loads of money. Alright, let's start, let's start building up on the fronts. So, start to, uh, yeah, start getting armies everywhere. I want this to just be such a stomping. Um... I am just going to spam Halberdiers. Because they got good melee defense. They're relatively cheap. Yeah, just Halberdiers. And if we ever have to fight a battle manually, these ones won't be able to do anything to us. Nah, he will. Alright. Time for a stomping. Well, it's going to be annoying getting all these witch hunters over there. Yes, for now. I guess I don't need that many, because he doesn't have that much territory. We're, we're only looking at... We're only looking at 18 regions. This is child's play compared to what we just went through with Katarin, and we're more powerful now. Cool. Alright, moving on. Yeah. Yep. 
You won't have anyone to sell settlements to in Bretonia, correct? Just going to have to defend them? Yep, that's correct. Yep. There's no one I can sell them to. But it's fine because that's where my territory is anyway. So what we're going to have to do is really make sure that when we declare war, every single one of his fucking armies is gone. Going to need a siege attacker. Oh, no, nah, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I could just use a Empire Captain, it'll be fine. Uh, Empire, um, regular Empire Lord. When will you confederate the other elect accounts? I'll confederate Ostland when it's offered now. Yeah, Ostland will be confederated. We have no further use of, for Ostland. Ostermark I still need. Once we've taken the Southern Chaos Wastes... Shit, good money. So yeah, when we attack... Here, it needs to be so friggin' aggressive. We can't let this war go on for ages. But sh the Bretonians are just nowhere near as powerful as what Kataran was. Their the armies that they're building are mostly trash. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Ready. Shit, you better yes, fucking move it. Plan. Oh shit, that guy. <laughs> be fine once we get into Allied territory. My order agrees. So now we're no longer. It's no longer about moving. East or west, it's about moving south. The entire north is ours. The most northern territory that we don't have control over is Albion. So like I said, when it comes to this over here, we don't need to have military force here because there's no armies there. We just want to make sure their ability to counterattack is completely fucked right from the get-go. Who's ready to watch me go broke? Hey look, there's about a million friggin' halberdiers appearing on our border. True servant of Sigma. The Empire by the Comet. For Sigma, my order agrees. Do not test my will. On march. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. Oh, I know what I can do. I can borrow one of their armies that has heroes in it and we disband the heroes. Valiant Lord. You honor eh, where are your fucking heroes at? King Luan Is that it? You don't have any heroes? There's one. Devotee of the lady. Well, shit. If, okay, if that's what you want to do, that's up to you. I could also maybe borrow one of Belagar's army. Oh, I don't know if there's going to be enough time to get it. Borrow one of Belagar's army to help us out here. But yeah, if we have a look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven settlements that have armies around them. So seven times four, 28. 28 armies is what I'll need. <laughs> That's at most. Okay, Carl Franz should be done now. What? As is my right by I wonder if Carl Franz should actually be with the army that hangs out Captain in Pace. Albion. There's walls there. Alexander B did a five pound super chat. I'm a lawyer and I've had your stream in the background for most of the workday, so you're basically a lawyer too. They will yeah, I don't think that's. I don't think that works we that way. But okay, I appreciate no appreciate the super chat. Show me the accused. Are you sure you're a lawyer? Because that, yeah, that sounds like some serious bullshit. Yeah, you must be a lawyer. You make fools of both of us. March on the witches. Tools of judgment. Yeah, we want to make sure that once we've cancelled the alliance. Pick up the pace. A fool's action. 
We've got full sight over what they're doing. We also need to make sh uh, keep track of any armies that might be floating around anywhere, which at the moment doesn't seem like it. Ill considered. Okay, that all seems good. So how many of these hero doom stacks do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five it seems. Ready to serve. Praise be to Six. Sigma. Six hero doom stacks. I will do anything for Sigma. Yeah, that makes sense. Two Sigma Empire Captain Lieutenant. ones and now. four. Yes, blessed is this action. It shall be done. Uh, warrior priest doom stacks. Yes. All right, that seems to be all we can do this turn. Let the supplicant come forward. Yeah, things are decaying a little bit. Don't, don't, uh, don't cancel that yet. He's got a mission for me. Hmm. No. Got the green knight here, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I might borrow this army in two turns and disband his paladin because it might be immortal. Doesn't seem like he's recruiting more force. It is forbidden. Okay, here we go. Silver hammer, yes. Seek out the heretics. Is it time? By the silver hammer, yes. From the heavens. I hear you. They will be judged. Definitely rooting for the lizards there. One zinch gone. Alright, we've got 14 factions remaining. Four of which are rogue armies, three of which are elect accounts. Yeah, pirates. I did say, it's time for Ostland to go. This will increase my income. There's no need to keep them anymore. Like I said, as soon as I don't need to, to do that feeding territory, I'll confederate them. Okay. Done deal. I just gamed... The big dick of Norska over here. Your orders. This guy isn't mine. What's his um his trait? Cunning. I will marshal the men. Uh, this army here has already been recruited, so why don't we and since it's got loads of experience, we'll bring it to Hang on. It needs a siege attacker though. We'll send it to Albion. Praise Sigma. By Sigma's right. Sigma right, Arch Lecter. Uh, Shade Slinger, the default of Super Jack. You have the gold to burn, might as well spend it. Can't take the gold to the next campaign. Also, good on you for breaking the Aussie stereotype for drinking. Alright, thanks, do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm going to be spending it for sure. I'm just. It takes time to actually spend this kind of money. But, yeah, I'm going to spend it. Doesn't look like Lewin's got lightning strike. He might. It doesn't look like it. Servant of the faith. Honored to serve. Okay. Here to serve. Now, he's probably built up these settlements like absolute shit. I'm gaining Erengrad. Kislev and Prague. That's good. 
what we need here is actually uh, right scar building so I can recruit that faster. You can go. It's garbage. Arch Lecter. Tools of judgment ready. Hunt them out. Disagree with that. They will be judged. Okay, one of these. That is, that is. I didn't recruit that yes, dude. Right and he'd be way higher level if I did. If he was disciplined, I'd keep him, but he's not, so you're fired. The nation calls. So, you know, it's going to be interesting is that we're going to have um, Henry. Henry the Massive, or is he over here? I live to serve the Emperor. Fighting against. Um, Corone. I mean, he is part of Rapunzel's faction. Alright, you'll hang out here, and you'll gobble up this territory. We've got some of these guys on the way. The nation calls. The Empire. Who calls? So your artillery will be replaced with a full hero stack. We've got a siege attacker thanks to Enri. And then I'll also get rid of the Light Wizard. I'm not going to need that anymore. Actually, you know what? I don't need the Master Engineer because... Okay, I'll take the Master Engineer out and I'll put that in an um, army somewhere. Somewhere else. Yeah. So, yeah. A whole bunch of Warrior Priests coming in there. I've also got the Light Wizard and Beast Wizard. That's the starting wizard there that we had. I don't know what we're doing with him yet. Alright, we need every bit of intel going on in here before we um, cancel the Military Alliance. Trust no man. Now, forward. Summon the Elector Counts. Yes. Take up the pace. I will cast out all evil. It is best to move. He doesn't have the capital of Ostermark for long victory. That's correct. Yeah, I need to get back a fence. So, if we got a confederation with Ostermark, it would give us long, com long campaign victory. But that's not what we're trying to do. It do it's Never not worth it right now. It is time. Oh god, look at that. Step to it. Good thing you'll get replenishment here. So Prague, not particularly a great settlement for us, but it's better than nothing. There's probably a lot of commanders we need to pop down. I'm not going to focus too much on... Look at that, they didn't build up the Joy Shank at all. I'm not going to focus too much on all this. Too much busy work. Don't need that. Don't need that anymore. It's unlikely going to ever come under attack. Gems is good. Yep. Yep. All good there. Wouldn't worry too much about this stuff. Just every now and again. Pop in some funds in here. We're making significantly less money through trade, but that's probably because I cancelled two important trade agreements. Yeah, that, that probably is what did it. Alright, that should do it. Uh, what's this? That's not my wizard. Get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's Valmir von Rukov. Really experienced units. Alright, I'll keep you for now. Get on down this way. What's this? Are we trash? Get out of here. Onwards. How should we proceed? This doesn't look like my dude. Just freaking get rid of him. I'm not even gonna check his items, who cares? Alright. So basically I'm hoping that we just have so many armies on his border that we just auto-resolve every single battle and he's just gone in an instant. Like we wanted to do with Ungrim Iron Fist, but didn't succeed in doing. Almost succeeded in doing, if it wasn't for me being silly. So yeah. Alright, any new factions show up? Nope, okay. Just quickly go and check down here to see what's going on with this. Check to make sure our allies don't hate it. Okay, okay, so here's an issue. Um, his relation with me is going down too much. 
Okay. Luckily, he doesn't. He hasn't met. Um, what what's it called? Yeah, they're only friendly. The axe thirsts for war. What brings you to my mighty forge? Can you just give him a gift. I... That'll just keep things going for a little bit. He'll he'll waste the money anyway. Right. Moving on. of judgment ready. So yeah, we'll need our doomstacks to deal with their strongest armies. Our Things like Lu and Leonko, for example. The hero stacks will be best for dealing with that, but all their undefended settlements we prepare just standard order resolve armies. Shouldn't be a problem. Ironbrow has been a problem for a while, to be honest. He's both a problem and he's useful because he's dealing with Zinch. He's taking forever doing it, but if we got rid of Ironbrow, I would have to fight Zinch, and Zinch is honestly the highest risk of us suffering a defeat because of Teleport Stance. Anyway, what should happen fairly soon is that Belagar is sending forces down there to go and kill Zinch. Problem is then, he'll be in multiple different continents, three different continents. So when we do come down to attack him, that's going to be tough. But I don't want to fight Zinch at all. So what is, what's the other alternative? By Sigma. Going so, for example, we'll definitely need our hero spams here. Like, they'll easily be able to handle this. When we break the alliance, they'll lose those units. Ready. No battle. Do not waste my potential. The wicked flee before me. The nation calls. To the provinces. Alright, I want you to globally recruit a cannon. Just so that you got a siege attacker. Ready, moving off. The Empire. Seek out the heretics. Alright, we've now What is your behest? Okay. Grab this and then Could steal his items. I'm not gonna bother too much though. That guy's level 49. We're gonna disband him. You can actually disband your ally's hero by pressing Control P. But what we want to do is just own it for a couple of turns. Don't put it anywhere weird. I don't want a, a repeat of what happened with um. Actually, you know what? Put it. Put it here. My magic is yours. What I'm hoping here is that they start actually disbanding their armies. I trust no. Because they've actually got to pay for that now. I don't have to pay for it. And since we've got this alliance anyway, might as well get some use out of it while we're getting into position. Another thing about Zinch that could be quite good at uh, keeping him around is that when Zinch is gone, the AI factions are still going to be looking to expand some way, and they kind of look towards the player sometimes, so... While we've got a common enemy, they're not quite paying much attention to what I'm doing to the alliance block that we created. By the I'm not going to bother with every single witch hunter. They don't have to be... Uh, just whatever, just go for this guy. Your word is my this guy looked like he was respected and simply got any points into it. We want to go down the blue line because there's Your extra experience in there, which is good. Hunters, where it's at. Getting Emperor's Finest is also good. Don't worry about the rest of them.
You know what? I'll give you two cannons. How does that sound? What? Yes, for now. Now, onwards. The guild approves. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this guy. Okay, this will definitely make this army here stronger. Sigma heals us. Yes, righteous fury upon them. I serve Sigma. Thirteen, twenty, seventeen. Okay. Who calls? I will turn my gaze on you. Good, no new factions popping up. By Sigma. By the comet. Who calls? Okay. Are we selling off all the furs? Okay, don't bother with the fur resource building then. And the landmark, I believe, is tier 5, yeah. Which is not overly important. It's not that rich of a settlement for us. Way better for Kislev, obviously. Looking good. Yep, get our guys down here. Check on Zinch. So now it's probably a good time to um, ask questions. Okay, hang on. Uh, could you not fucking over like the others, trade settlements, and then occupy them all at once? Yes, that's the very last thing that we do, though. Before we declare war. It's the very last thing. And so we've got to establish the right infrastructure for that. So, for example, if we have a look at him at the moment, he, his relation with us is going down, so we want him to go down slowly. If we gave him Blackstone Post, could we get that to betray... Like, cancel his alliance with Clan Angrund. Yeah, we could. Okay. We also have to make sure... You know what, I might even break the alliance next turn. Because I think we're we're getting pretty close to position. We just have to make sure... The main thing here is making sure that he doesn't declare war on us. So he has to kind of like us just a little bit. Now if we have a look at Clan Angrund, hang on, we've got to look at the Dwarfs. So that's going down to 568, that's fine. This one's going down to 94, that's okay. Alright, moving on. So yeah, doing this kind of shit is right on a knife's edge, because if you do it too much, too soon, they declare war on you. And then they get the jump on you, and that's not good. You want to get the jump on them. You don't want Karone, especially considering we have territory yes. that borders him. We don't want him to cl declare war on us. So we have to. This is why we have to make sure we're in position before we betray him. Because as soon as I cancel my military alliance, we're probably going to lose at least 200 points of relation immediately. Do you think this was easier with the Empire because the like the Count Confederations or with the High Elves because of their more powerful faction? This would have been way easier with the High Elves. The High Elf campaign was way easier. The the only reason that I failed it is because I got fucking overconfident. Which is why in this campaign here, super cautious every step of the way. But that campaign was so much easier than this one. Um, El Capuan did a 2.49 euro symmetry at High Legend. How to recruit the Dwarven Engineer. You have to get an alliance with a faction that's got the Dwarven Engineer. Um, Friends of the Empire. Borrow their army. Ensure that their character is at least level 20. Get them wounded in a battle, and then they'll be yours forever. Isn't cancelling treaties with Kroen going to fuck up your relationship with Iron Barrow Expedition? No, they haven't met each other yet. Let's 
Shit, don't get that one very often. Yeah, they haven't met each other. Hung Warband. Okay. Slaughter the sheep. Okay, well, if I declare what? war on them, Belagar should go sort of out. No. Black black Bjark Black Rider. More like Bjark Dick Raider. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so yeah, he should just turn it around and kill that straight away. I don't have any garrison here, so it doesn't matter. And I've got defenses here, so if he runs over this way, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Protector of the weak. Hi, lad. What can I do? So yeah, you just act as a scout for now. What? March on the witches. All right, so let's get rid of this. Control P. <laughs> Wish I could get rid of the rest of these units, but no, it doesn't let you. But it gets lets you get rid of the heroes. Um, that also got rid of all their items. Oh, tormentor sword! I'll actually keep that. Thanks. All right. To get that tormentor sword, I'll need to. Just give me one moment. It's easy. Yeah, I definitely want to get that tormentor sword. That's great. So we need a weapon. I, I can't for the life of me understand how the Tormentor Sword is considered a common item. Yeah, it's this one here. And then the Trickster's Shard is considered friggin' green. Like, what a load of garbage. The lady is with you. I don't care about Armor of Fortune that much. Yes, blessed is this action. Is it time? Praise be to Sigma. Honored to serve. So, army's ready to hit at Montfort when the time comes. What does the Emperor bid? True servant of Sigma. A champion of the faith. What orders? Yeah, just got to get everyone into position. Bef the reason why I didn't have to do that so much with Katarin is because we had buffer states. But I don't have any buffer states with um, with this. Because if Katarin declared war on me early, it would have been fine. But like, this army here... I am the blood of Gilles. Mm, we'll see. Can I help you? In these dark times, we should stand together. First thing I should do, soon, is try to get him to break his military alliance with um, Clan Angrand. Because they're the ones that get all uppity about it. Slendy did a 10 pounds of a chat. What would you say is the best army for Malagor? Uh... I don't know, to be honest. Anything. He's the sort of a one-man doomstack, so he doesn't really boost any units by any specific amount. Um, he's, he's got a sort of generic skill that does, but honestly, I kind of give him a bunch of giants because you get a get a bunch of giants together. He increases the missile resistance, I think, of his entire army, which is a big problem for giants. So you want that missile resistance? Yeah, I'd say giants. Yeah, beastmen giants. Seek out the heretics. I trust Thanks no for the man. super chat. Appreciate it. I trust no man. Sigma compels us. I command here. By the comet. All right. All right. So yeah, dealing with Lu and Leonco, these armies Sigma will not be acceptable for that. We have met before. I mean, there's a chance I could just auto resolve it because it's two full stacks, though. 
so I mean these ones here aren't that great in order to resolve. And it's Lou and Leon Kerr at level figure fifty. Probably not gonna cut it. Doesn't matter. Okay, Hung Warban should just be immediately killed by Belagar. So tools of judgment ready. Now they will be judged. They will be judged. Seek out the heretics. The nation calls. Now. Who calls? Show me the accused. The nation calls. Hmm. We're definitely not going to have any shortages of um, witch hunters. See, one of the good things about having those witch hunters is, I reckon what they'll do, all of his heroes, instead of attaching to armies, they'll try to assassinate all my witch hunters, which is fine. I only need it for intel. Blocking's kind of not really been successful when everything is level 50. I'd love to see Rapance and Thorak Ironbrow fight. Later, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't worried about that. I should cut you down. Okay, it's all fine. And he still, of course, doesn't have any territory. Still stuck there for friggin' 200 turns. What are you gonna do? Grant me this had better be good. Champion of the faith. Cool. Praise Sigma by Sigma's right. Sigma compared. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a big fight over here. You summon me. Pick up the pace. Never yield. This is wise. Okay, and if we've got enough armies on the border, it, it sort of deters them from declaring war, so I think we can maybe... Oh yeah, there's Grung Zint over here, that's easy. Maybe consider... Cool, extra income. Yeah, I'm running low, I've only got 20 million gold now. I need to get these guys over to here. Doing a bit of trespassing on his territory shouldn't be too bad. Yes. Servant of the faith. I will marshal the bed. Okay. I await to advise. Step to it. So he's got eighteen settlements. Wait. Yeah, 18 settlements. I can't believe they still haven't finished off Marathi yet. How's Belagar going? Has he arrived yet? Getting close? Where the fuck are his armies? Come on, man. Short -sighted. I think I... No, I think we may need to... You know what? It doesn't matter if he doesn't do it. Wait. I could have sworn I saw his army going up down this way. Who's he backstabbing next? Corone. 
Step forth, true friend of the Angrund clan. Yeah, it's fine. I can always give him gifts. Just make sure he doesn't fully betray me. All good. So the Empire. I trust no man. They will be judged. Show me the accused. It shall be done. Who called? Alright, that's all my armies, I think. <coughs> By the comet. Uh, what am I recruiting this turn? Yeah, I got another one over here. By Sigma. He's definitely not recruiting more units. I don't think he's disbanding because it would be good to watch him disband experienced units. But the problem is he might replace them with higher tier stuff. I mean, that would just mean you have to pay more for them. Okay. All right. Anything else we got to declare war on? Nope. That all seems good. We got our heroes over here. We need to attach. A time to heal. Sigma heals us. Cleanse the Empire. Shield of faith. Yeah, I can totally take this army over here and finish off Marathi, but it does keep Belagar kind of locked here, which is good. I mean, he could take her out so easily. He's just being weird about it. Yep, he's pretty happy with us. That's good. And the war, the eternal war against Zinch just never friggin' ends. Yeah, I could have sworn they were sending armies down that way and they just decided not to. I guess it's because of Cult of Pleasure. If you got rid of Cult of Pleasure, they go down to Zinch. I'm not sure if I really want them to do that. How many, let's, let's count how many armies we're going to have to deal with. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Nine armies. Okay, moving on. Yeah. Could you make peace with Zinch for a while so you can position your armies next to his? Uh, probably not. Ready? I don't agree. It shouldn't be that difficult because what I, this is what I would do. You make fools of I just start at one edge of the uh, the chaos waste with every single one of my hero of stacks, and ready. then just make my way across fairly carefully, making sure that you know we got plenty of intel. They just can't teleport stance on top of me. Getting that back. Why tag up Matthew? The dwarves have fun. Eh, we'll see. I think you had your own army. No, it was a borrowed army, but it belongs to Corone. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to kill that army. It's only going to last three turns. I'm not fighting any one anytime soon. The Empire. I reckon when the time comes, what we do is we occupy a Citadel of Lead and then recruit an another army immediately there when we capture it. Then we use two armies to attack on Carter, and then the, the rest of that is easy. Prophetess. Alright, hand it back. It's time to cancel the military well, alliance. How fares the Emperor in these dark? I shall. 
Okay. That's what I kind of figured it would go down to. That's okay. Um, Got to lower the... Yep. There we go. Okay. He still kind of likes this. Now we have to check with the dwarves. As usual, they're the biggest problems with all this kind of shit. King. He still likes this. Kind of. Okay. I can work with that. <laughs> kind of. Let me just see. Gisero is not a good settlement, right? If I was to give you Gisero, would you cancel your alliance with Clan Angrund? No, but if I put some military buildings in there, you would. So our initial attack would be against Gisero. What? Here to serve. All right, we'll be trespassing a little bit through here. It's going to piss him off. Mm, is that really wise? I'm not going all the way around. Well, hang on, we got ten turns. Do you reckon you can get around there in ten turns? Our neighbors in the east deign to visit. Maybe just don't do it this time, because the the relationship penalty will will get better over time. So just chill here before we send anyone through. That being said, the trespass penalty will you can go through there in a single turn if you do it that way. Just just chill. It is time. What? Move. Who calls? I think Carl Franz can be designated to attack Grung Zint. Volkmar the Grim. Okay, I want full line of sight everywhere. Complete agent blockade over all of his territory. We need to see every little action that he does. If he moves an army somewhere, I need to know about it. Yes. Yeah, we have got enough witch hunters I trust no man. to ensure that. Okay, we uh, will hit Montfort easily enough with the two armies we've got there. Paravon, Massive Orcal. Yeah, okay, let's get an army ready for Massive Orcal. I will do anything for Sigma. So I reckon this and maybe just a bit of artillery. So we got Siege Attacker. I'll get a whole bunch of armies for Massive Orkal and Paravon, yeah. And we'll just keep recruiting until even we're in the negative, because we've got 10 turns now until the war, okay? So, new countdown. War of the Baguette. <laughs> Is that racist? It's very racist. I should probably not do that. That's how you spell it, right? You ask for a boo. Speak, and I will see yes, if I it within it right. my power. I get with 1G? Fair enough. Yeah, I wasn't sure. It's not racist. Well, you know what? what does the Sometimes I just gotta be careful. Just gotta be careful. Alright. Well, we need some armies hitting Leoness. Well, yes and yeah, no, we do. Well, we got heat blood still coming. Uh, 
Okay, moving on to the next turn. Let's just make sure that there's no shenanigans going on. All good, moving on. So hang on. To the provinces. Okay. Ready. Now. I refuse. What? You make fools of both of us. So yeah, what we have to do now is wait for the the ten turn timer to expire without Coron hating our fucking guts. That's really important. Because if he declares war on us, not good. Well, we slowly get into position. However, we don't want him to like us. The less he likes us, the easier it's going to be to get him to break his alliance with, with uh, Clan Angrand. Why Halberdier spam? Going up against Bretonia. Loads of large units. What, what else should I get? Peace, for that is all He's I not declaring war. Yeah he, yeah, he wants it back. He's like, come on, come on, let's be friends again. It's like, I saw what you did to Katarin, I don't want to see that happen to me. Well, it's going to happen, bitch. It's too late. <laughs> uh, that three grand, yeah, I don't think that is important. Demigriffs? Honestly, demigriffs are not necessarily better. Hugely more expensive. So if we have a look, Demigriff Knights. I live to serve the Emperor. So you're looking at Demigriff Knights with Halberds, looking at 600 upkeep compared to 232. So you just get more of them. Plus, look how long it takes to recruit them. We need to recruit en masse. It's not about quality, it's about quantity. You ask for a boon. Speak, and I will see if it is within my power. What? Okay, it's fine. Shadeslinger did a tool of super chat. The popcorn is all gone. Another awesome long stream. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. Alright, uh, this army here at Albion, I I don't think I should be landing here right now. To yes, stay out on the water back. and wait. Welcome. How fares the emperor? Because it's, it's it's a bit iffy there. We don't want to have to give him any gifts. What do you want? I'm not gonna have enough um, of this to borrow one of his armies. I will do anything for Sigma. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Ready to serve. Going forth. So two armies should be sufficient. True servant of Sigma. I serve the Heldenhammer. Isn't it a prestige attacker? How long am I going to stream for? Not much longer. I've got things I've got to do. I mean, it's 10 hours into it. I'm just getting things set up a little bit. Also, 9 turns. Yeah, not much longer. So Carl France is going to strike it. Reluctant to send... What happened to the other army that was here? Oh, they moved it over there. Yeah, that's where it is. Um, just wait. What does the Emperor bid? My Sigma's right. Yes, my lord. We march! Not too worried about building up armies here. I don't expect to take him out in a single turn. Just t I intend to take him out quickly, that's all. Awaiting orders. Alright, most of my armies are in position. We've got full line of sight over his territory despite having cancelled the alliance, so that's good. Got a witch hunter over Show here that I want to bring up to here.
So maybe these armies here, I should just accept that I'm not going to be able to destroy them straight away. What we should really consider doing is getting rid of Luan Leonker. If he's wounded for a couple of turns, that's a big deal. What is your behest? I'll need a fair few armies in this spot right here, I think. You ask for a boon. Okay, look, it's only going down to 127. We can. Why does it bring me all the way down there? It's so annoying with diplomacy. We can start moving these armies one at a time through here. 117, yeah, it's fine. Why? <laughs> Why does it do that? Okay, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Alright, check for new factions that have shown up. Cool. Yeah, we can still afford probably about 10 more armies. Remember to build in Geese Road to sell it? Thanks, dude. Remember that at the beginning of yes. next turn. Still got plenty of time. Zinches control on your mouse? Who calls? Yeah, maybe. I will not obey. So that means eight turns left now. Twitch says you stream almost six hours, huh? Actually, there's been 10 hours. I had to turn off the stream on Twitch because it was only 720p. Before. Protector of the weak. Praise be. Okay. Looking at this again. Do you wish the lady's mm -hmm. favor? Okay. It's going down to a hundred. Let's say probably wait another turn. So we got eight turns left until we can declare war, right? You ask for a boon. Speak. That can't be right. See if it is That's not correct. No, it's it's eight turns. So annoying. Okay. Ready. We march. Alright, we've got another army over here. So these two will take massive Orcal. That should be name. easy. Keep pumping them out here. Doesn't have to be high level lords. I serve the held and hammer. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, they're splitting their forces up a little bit. Moving around a bit. Okay, we should also turn Corone camera back on. See what they're doing. No armies out over here, that's fine. Honestly, armies over there don't matter so much. Rathy just not doing anything. Okay, over here we've got the righteous hammer of Sigma. Mm. Let us begin. Yeah, all three of these armies will strike at Corone straight away, and that'll ensure that no counter attack from there is going to happen. Yes, my. Champion of the faith. This army here on its own should be able to I defeat Lu and Leonko the on their own. Oh, it's a minus number battle. Lu and Leonko is obviously a really strong fighter, though. Okay. 
Where are we going? Garrisons are mostly infantry, greatswords are not an option, better order resolve, I think. Yeah, um, I don't think it's going to matter in terms of cost. It, it'll be fine. Like, you're right. It is time. Could do that. Sigma. I just don't think it's going to matter. Because the armies that I'm I'm actually recruiting, they're, they're not going to be fighting the difficult fights. It's going to be the heroes that are doing all the heavy lifting, as per the usual. Looks like uh, Zinch is actually getting the upper hand there. Oh, okay, I see what they're trying to do. Hmm, he's trying to regain ground out that way because he kicked Thoric Ironbrow out of the Southern Chaos Wastes again. The Storek just fucks around constantly. Lord of Bretonia. Yeah, why the hell are you not invading the um the Southern Chaos Wastes wastes? You don't even have any forces here, just get on with it. God damn. Alright. So these two armies have to reclaim Gisaro. They will, the as long as you don't get lightning strike, they should be able to handle that. This one looks like I it's heading towards Grung Zint. It's pretty clear that uh, that they understand what's the about to happen. Favor? Yeah, relations keep dropping. Shadesling, I did two little simple chat. War of the Roses 2.0 to begin next stream. Yeah, pretty much, yep. Thanks for the chat. War of the Roses. Wasn't that like an English civil war? Awaiting orders. Praise be to Sigma. Your coming was foretold. I will marshal the men. Praise Sigma. Moving off. True servant of Sigma. Champion of the faith. I live to serve the Emperor. I will marshal the men. Yeah, because we're dealing with Bretonia, the infant having anti-infantry is not what I need. I need to make sure I've got good anti-large infantry. In like, if I had to fight this, I would want halberdiers way more than I would want great swords because great swords are not great. <coughs> Excuse me. Protector of the weak. Who calls? Good. I'd actually be able to strike from this distance. Onwards. That's great. Great sword. Our neighbors in the it says one day. turn. Don't believe it. I think it's seven. Ready. All right. Now this guy here was supposed to grab a cannon, on. so he's got a siege. Oh, he is a siege attacker. Ah, eh, grab a cannon anyway. All right, any new factions show up? Our regiments of renown should be back now, so if they do show up, it's fine. All right, we also need to check on Geese Row. All right, uh, next turn. Let me build that just in case. Okay, uh, we should also be checking over here. Since Zinch is actually gaining ground against my allies. Okay, moving on. Great swords aren't great. See, they're screwing us with false advertising. It's like the launch of Rome 2 all over again. No mm. Siege of Carthage. This, this game's going to look so much better than this. This is just pre 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 alpha. <laughs>
It is good to see our allies of the mountains. Okay, this one's trade. That relation is dropping. If it drops too much, I gotta gotta break that alliance. Great swords are actually very good. One of the better anti-infantry units, 120 models. Okay, mate. <laughs> They also have like 20 melee attack. Uh, okay. Step forth, true friend of the Yeah, Uncle. things keep decaying further with him. Neighbors in the east to deign to visit. <laughs> it resets it to zero zero on the map. It's just annoying if they keep clicking back up this way. Oh yeah, I wanted some intel over here. Seek out the heretics. All right, uh, I think that yes. Hal Franz is going to struggle with that now, so we'll have Gelt also assist him Praise with Sigmar, that. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Where is he? Sigmar has shown us the path. Here to serve, servant of the faith. What does the Emperor bid? What is your behest? What does the Emperor bid? Okay. This guy finished now, recruiting, get over here. As you say, sir. Yes, a sound plan. Alright, 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 alright. So was it six turns now? Where should I recruit more? So this won't be enough to capture that. So got plenty of money, plenty of income, so it's really not that big of a deal. Also, I wanted to see how much they like each other. They don't like that they trespassed on my territory, that's good. Any new enemies? Okay. I'm thinking another army for Paravon. <coughs> You'll do. Doesn't need to be high level lords. Doesn't need a siege attack if the other ones have got it. Alright. Any new enemies? Nope. Okay, how's the things going with Zinch? Did Kairos get wiped out? It looks like he did. No, he ran away. There he is. Now is not yep, and they still just freaking refuse to go and actually attack him. Fucking hell. Oh, man. I might have to give them the head start with it. Alright, what I'm going to do... This is a little bit risky. Where's my other hero here? There's my useless one. I'm going to borrow this army of Rapances. Because it's actually not so bad. I'm going to borrow this. And I'm going to send it down to Gotrilex Gotri Glare Lighthouse, right? I'm going to capture that settlement anyway, for them, I got, so, the make sure I got plenty of intel, is. and then give it back, and then just let them fucking deal with it from there. Yes. Because this is getting ridiculous how little that they're taking this seriously. Because <laughs> as soon as I send, as soon as they have one territory, they'll rush to go and defend it. But it's too far away for them to give a shit right now, so I need them to give a shit about it. 
Okay, that's all I need to do this turn. Okay, five turns remaining. I refuse. If only if the moment you give them that way, they run away. Could happen. Yeah, good. I stay until one battle. Last time it took an hour. There's not going to be any more battles today, dude. We're, this is all set up for tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to have a civil war if this keeps up. Like I said, I know how to farm fealty. I'm not worried about it at all. Yes. Okay, we have to make Almost. sure that there are no bullshit coming down this way. They will be judged. Guardian. Shit, you've been taking attrition the whole way down as well. So I've only got you for 10 turns. That's not a long a lot of time. It's most likely there is not much in terms of military over this way. You're going to need to cross the ocean this way. In this direction. It's a good army though. You have to come around over here. And probably land at Mount Athol instead. They will be judged. Cut them out. The nation calls. Show me the accused. Men of the Empire, what brings you here? We still got time with that. Still got time. All right, how are things going with Petonia? You ask for a boon. Seventy-four. Speak. All right, giving away this settlement. Let's have a look. So, Gisero, giving that back, favor? and telling... Okay, this might work. And then some. 55,000 as well. That'll pay for our armies for a little bit. Useless friggin' settlement. We'll barely increase his income, so he's not going to get any more troops out of it. And breaking his military alliance with them is going to make them like me a bit more. Wait, hang on. Would it be better if we also got him to break trade agreement with Clan Angrund? Yeah, that'd be better. That way Clan Angrund really hates them. In fact, he might even just go declare war on them. Alright, do that. I am with you. Alright. So if we have a look now. Clan Angrund. What brings you before? Okay, he is way less angry with us way less and if we have a look here <laughs> it's fucking so annoying okay Valiant Lord. oh yeah clan angrand probably not going to be very friendly towards corone right now hmm okay Cool, cool, cool. Thing is, oh, if he... If Clan Engrund declared war on them, that would be horrendously bad for us. I am Belagar, true king of the Eight Peaks. Seems unlikely he'll do that for that kind of range. Of uh, dislike, but yeah, just oof, gotta be careful. Cause yeah, if he declares war on on them, I would have to decline, which means I will lose my reliability, 
My, way better for me to just cancel my alliance with him now. In these dark times, we should stand together. Like, it would be better for me to cancel my alliance with him now and just give him a bunch of gifts. If he's gonna do that. I don't think he's going to. I just don't think he's going to. He'll move- he'll start moving into position, if that is the case. He doesn't hate them, he just doesn't like them very much. Alright, another army. Move it Sigma into position. I reckon four. Why not? Champion of the faith. So yeah, big hit there, easy. Big hit there, easy. These ones here, easy. That's not an issue. Big hit there. Okay, it's just so far not looking so bad. Not looking so bad. It's just this army here and that one. Where there's no, um... Welcome. Yeah, five turns, like I said. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And of course, I'm a little bit worried about bringing this one across here and getting caught by a Zinchian army. That's why we got to make sure we scout. You know, having a look at their uh, military forces, most of them are on the other side, so this should be fine. It is a risk, because we don't have much line of sight. It's a lot easier to do this when you're playing High Elves. Because <laughs> you can see uh, the sea regions. Anyway. Any new rogue armies? No. Okay, moving on. By the comet. So? Yes, my lord. Some melee infantry can inflict damage without taking a tone. Just not great swords. Yeah. Great swords are very niche. And for an elite basically this is the the niche for uh, great swords. They want to go up against unarmored sorry, unarmored piercing low melee defense units, infantry. <laughs> so they punch below their weight, basically. Especially when you're playing on oh, what do you want? Okay, it is fair enough if you want to ask that, but I'm... Alright, relation with him should have stabilized a little bit because we gave him a gift. You should get paid more for playing 10 plus hours. Feel free to do so. <laughs> if you want. Nobody's stopping you. Alright, we got four armies ready for that one. Oh, I'm in the negative now. It's alright. Attrition. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My strength and wisdom are Big legend, there's a thing there. Sallying forth. See the location. What happened to my hero here? I thought I left someone there. Armored in faith. The Empire. The Empire. So, four turns left. Do a little bit of construction out here, because increasing my income would help a little bit. Yeah, look at all this dog shit out here. That's worth more. Not that we're at all in danger of losing any money, but I never developed these settlements after I got them off Ostland. Okay, so we've got four armies ready to strike a paravon. Auto resolve, that should be no problem. 
We've got way too many armies for mod fort there. So that's not good. We need to get some of these guys elsewhere. How about you force march through here? Trespassing a little bit. Out of his way. The nation calls. What orders? I will go. You come round over here, so you can assist over this way. Uh, we also need to do this. I forgot about this army. They've not been specced up because we hit the um, we respect them. So it doesn't take long, but yeah, you got to do. Oh no 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 not. Oops. Not with the wizard. Wait, why is this... Oh, this wasn't his original wizard. Doesn't matter. Luca Kovacevic did an RSD 500 super chat waiting for some more 10 plus streams. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see how we go. I appreciate that, dude. So they'll be leveled up next turn. Alright, we still have friggin' five armies in this sort of general area. To the provinces. This will bolster the nation. How are things going with them? The like I said, we just need to make sure they don't the It's okay. Yeah, okay. Doesn't seem as though they're going to declare war, so that's good. Alright, we need some more military force over here. Yes, my lord. Just border resolve stack will do. I have seen the two armies that we have here won't be able to beat this. We have met before. So we also need to recruit another army here. What's the quarry? And this time, well, how about we go with friggin' Huntsman? Why not? Matthew's still alive. Got eyes in a black arc. Yeah, it's right here. They're, I don't know. They're just... They're just staring at each other. I don't know, they're just being weirdos. So pious. Wouldn't worry about it. Alright. Alright. Blackstone posts their walls. No, and it should. Right, any new enemies? Nope. Okay, moving on. Wait, was it three turns now? Let the supplicants oh, come forward. Now we're going down here. I swear, one day Zinch is just going to show up over here, and I'm not going to see it coming. Good. With Kairos's armies in this general area here, for the most part, we know there's an army around over here. This should be mostly undefended. So if we just go and capture Mount Athol. Athol. Actually, don't even capture it. Just plonk their army in the settlement and say, fucking take it. Hopefully they'll bring the rest of their armies down there to go and... Because they could take out Zinch so easily. Zinch is weak, but nobody's taking him seriously. Zinch could have been killed a hundred turns ago, but the AI just fucks around when fighting Zinch. They're like, oh, it's Zinch, I'm not going to put in a full effort. 
Are Chorps the strongest maxed out faction via technology's Lord skills? Buildings, Hell Forge, and the Tower? Um, I, I don't think so. They're pretty strong, but I don't think they're the strongest. Depends on the criteria that you use to judge them. Why don't you borrow Dwarf Army and attack Black Ark? Because uh, I wouldn't win with one of the... That Black Ark has a serious beefed up army. And honestly, keeping Belagar just sort of pinned down there, there's nothing wrong with that. So, the situation isn't hurting us, so let it be. What happens if you use the Chaos Portal in the south? Nobody can use it, only Belakor, and Belakor's dead. Who did that? I called Hellbrass. No, that's fine, whatever. This is over there. Yes, blessed is this action. Pick up the pace. Lord and hero. Yeah, I'll land them here first. Give them a little bit of regen. That gives me some more time to get some more intel in this area. Before I land them over there. Like, I'm not going to fight the battle for them. But I just want to land them there. Jared did a $10 super check. Congrats on the baby legend. God bless you and your family. Alright, dude. I um, appreciate that. Um. Hmm. Sorry. It's just that when someone says God bless, I know it comes in a... Um, it's like you're, you're you're trying to be nice, but <laughs> what we went through. Mm. So I appreciate. It. That's all I say. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details because it's just like, I just it'll like whatever the mood is right now. It'll go. <laughs> so I'll just. It's just it was just a knee jerk reaction. It's all good. I appreciate you. Okay, now this one over here needs to get bay. over here. It is for the best. Oh, not that one. Oh, shit, let me get this one. I Good thing we still got three mark. turns. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Yeah, this one needs to go Bless back. Sigma. By Sigma's right. What are my plans for confederating Wolfheart? Um, I can confederate him whenever I want. Tools of judgment ready. Pick up the pace. Okay. Um, so basically, this army here will just reinforce wherever it's needed. Either this one or this one. Possibly both. It can actually arrive at both. Both fights, I think. So yeah, we have... Because that is a, that's a pretty dangerous army. And that one's semi-dangerous. And that's obviously him. He's very dangerous. We're pretty much ready. It's just a matter of... We could be more ready. That's all. Huntsman General. Right, I queued up a lot there. Okay. Nothing to do this turn, it seems. Minus 17,000, it's so over. Why are you afraid of Zinch? Because of teleport stance. Army of Walls and Blackstone. 
Yeah, well, I've already used up most of my global recruits. I've still, still got two turns left, but you're right. We should do that. I need to start wrapping things up now, guys. It's 6 o'clock in the morning here. I probably should have got off for an hour ago. Um, so the, the war against Bretonia will begin tomorrow. It shouldn't be difficult, but then as soon as we're done with that, Clan Angrind. Clan Angrind will be next. All right, so let's go chuck a host over on someone. Just bear with me. Let's see who is streaming. Just give me a sec. Okay, looks like slightly obnoxious Kiwi. Uh, recruit rank from the. No, stop that. He started streaming 18 minutes ago. That's good timing. Okay, we're going to chuck the host over to him. So yeah, we're in a we're in a pretty good position for for this. Yep, Katarin's gone. What if our last war is against um Zinch? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, because um if we okay whatever, we'll worry about that later. So let's chuck the host over to slightly obnoxious Kiwi on. YouTube. I'm just going to get it set up. And I appreciate all the support today, guys. I hope you'll show up tomorrow when we continue this. It may not be tomorrow. I'm be getting pretty worn out, but I just want to finish this off. I feel like there's two more live streams to go to finish this, but we're getting there. Anyway, appreciate all the support. Go and check out Slightly Obnoxious Kiwi. Go say hi to him for me. I need to go straight to bed. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to him if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys either tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure which one. We'll see. Probably tomorrow, but we'll see. Anyway, later, guys. Okay, and then on Twitch, let's have a look.